Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Tuesday stream here on the Sheen Chats channel. Today we have two, technically two. Um, I will be playing in co-op with Hadriel or Rick, the guy that I've been playing with uh, recently. He's been helping me create some builds and stuff. And we've got two status builds, so here's the idea. It's kind of complicated, but also not really. So, for my build... I do nothing status. Nothing at all. What's up, David and Dark Soul? How's it going, guys? Welcome to the stream. Good morning, David. Uh, so my build has no statuses whatsoever. My build goes for pure damage. Raw damage, right? And the way to do that is with the engineer for the turret. Fast, high fire rate with crit from bleeding. Um, extra damage from statuses up to, I think, like 30-40% if we get all the statuses. Extra damage from burning... Weak spot, crit, okay? The abrasive whetstone makes sure that we're always critting if the enemy's bleeding. And so the idea is that my partner is going to status everything. What's up, Bravito? How's it going? What's up, Green? Welcome to the stream, guys. And so the idea is my partner is going to status everything. And he can get up to, I think, five or six. He has all of them on his build. I am going to go for raw damage. So I have the handler because it has a 30% bump to skill damage, which is cool. And then, obviously, Engineer is Prime. I also have the Dog, which is cool. You know, you get that with Handler. Uh, he does apply Bleed, so that's kind of nice. Um, I'm running Attack Dog. This is a 20% bump in damage. So, on top of probably 40% extra damage from this, 50% after this, um, usually 80 after this one, and then, like, 120-ish here. Uh, whatever we have here, so extra 25. So we're getting like 130, 140, generally more damage. Percent more damage. And uh, both, we have to pop that right. So this can actually make the gun, which is you know, the turret, hit for over a thousand damage a shot. Which normally it can get like 623 if you get crit. Or we're hopefully going to get it to hit a thousand. It'll depend on bosses, obviously. But. What's up, Shee? What's up, Nathalian? How's it going? What's up, Tran? 930 in my place. Wow, Tran. But yeah, so I don't know when he's going to be on, but he's going to hop on with us eventually. Yeah, it's pretty solid damage right now. It's going to be really, really good here soon. Really, really good. We'll do, uh, we'll mess with her a little bit until... Like it's, I would definitely want Yesha first, though. As per usual. We're gonna do, like, a full run, basically. Uh, Forbidden Grove. We want the other one. We actually want the Golem this time. Weird, I know. See if we end up getting... Nope, Forbidden Grove yet again. Yet again. By the way, my Archon build I made last time, for those who are wondering about that, that will be out tomorrow. That is done. I finished her up last night. But no point posting it today because I was streaming, so I'm going to post it tomorrow. Are you serious right now? Freaking punk. You're going to give me the same one over and over? Wow. Okay. It's just rude. Blossom. Does anyone ever like starting on Lawsome? That's like my least favorite to start on. I just can't do it. I don't have the... Are you serious? <laughs> okay. Finally be R1, by the way. What's up? That's awesome, David. That's cool, man. What did you end up beating the final boss with? That is my question. Like, what setup did you go for at the end? R1 is so much fun. So much fun. And the last two bosses being the final boss of the main game and final boss of the DLC are so awesome. I love both of them. Sometimes the RNG is just not with it, you know? And it appears that it is not with us today. Good thing I hopped on early to, like, you know, get it ready. Ooh, Red Throne. Let's go. What's up, Gabe? How's it going? Went to check the PS Store and the DLCs for R1 were no longer on sale. Oh, really? I feel like Remnant 2 is taking over the channel from the hand of hour. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I've been playing, so. <laughs> I 
What's up, Lucas? How's it going, man? So usually what I do is pop this. So this is no statuses. This is just from me. I can melt stuff pretty well. Now I do get more damage because my dog bleeds, which is cool. But I'm telling you, the damage when we get the co-op going is insane. It is honestly unbelievable, really. Also, who doesn't like a turret? I, know, I love this thing. Plus, we can set it down. Shoot an orb at his face. You know. Nice. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Thanks, I play rolling by air raid vehicle. Keep rolling. <laughs> What's up, Strange? How's it going? Doing pretty good, Lucas. Doing pretty good. Very excited for today. I actually been enjoying the the co op, the co op playthrough we did Tuesday for the hardcore run. So I was like, yeah, dude, let's just hop in and do some more of it. Why not? It was a blast. That was honestly one of the more fun runs, especially since we almost died. I mean, it was really close. We were really close to death on that Nerud boss, man. It was actually scary. We didn't really have too many close calls after that. The king, I, I kind of overhyped the king. The king's really only bad in Apocalypse. Or Lawsome. I don't know why, but I didn't find him that bad this time. Also, the attack dog skill does come back decently fast. Kind of nice. All right, let's reset so I get all my mods back. Just kind of listen to Talratha was the most nail-biting part of the hardcore run. Oh, yeah. Talratha was terrifying. I'm actually glad we got him, though, because Chahala's way worse. I mean, Chahala's one that Shit. it's really hit or miss whether I do it first try. On Apocalypse, I never do it first try. This, <laughs> and I, not one time have I ever first tried all on Apocalypse. It takes at least 15 to 20 tries every time. Game stay streaming longer than other games. Second only to Outward with a chance of surpassing it. Yeah, no, it's just... Well, that's the thing I tried telling everybody was that I love the Remnant series. I really do. I love this little orb thing, too. I loved the Remnant series since the first one. First one was always awesome. I used to play the heck out of it back in the day. Back in the day, you know. First came out. This orb's weird. I mean, it lasts 20 seconds. It's very inconsistent on whether it hits me. I want to get Merciless, but the reload speed looks slow. Is there any way to make it faster? Yes, so Merciless has a really bad reload, but if you just run Gunslinger, it fixes it. And if you run the Gunslinger ring, that fixes it too. The one you can get from Mudtooth. Uh, I think it's actually called the Gunslinger ring. We can apply two. We can apply two statuses myself, I guess. I forgot to. I forgot we could do that. I'm mean, no one hooked me almost as much as Bloodborne. Oh yeah. We already have the good crit from this gun right here. I'm telling you, our damage is gonna be big. Yeah, I need to go back and play Bloodborne again. That game was so good. So good. I am wearing the crown today, too, because I haven't used it in a build yet, and I was like, you know what? It's time. That's really the only reason I have. Excuse me? Also, the iframes for this? Man, are they just big. It's easy to forget how good the iframes are on this thing until you pick it back up. 600 damage for a weak spot. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I did do that one. Yeah, Gunslinger is kind of required when you use uh, Merciless. It's just, it's got a really bad reload. Being able to nearly infinitely re-roll a campaign into adventures is a stroke of genius on the devs. Yeah, I think so too. Especially since you can just, even once you have your build fully matched up, you know, and built, you can still keep playing the game. One thing that my brother mentioned to me that kind of actually makes sense 
is Remnant 2 technically has more replayability just because of builds. But like if you're not into the builds as much and you're just into the gameplay, there's actually less replayability in number two because of the traits. Because in number one, one of the core aspects of it was that you would infinitely play the game for pretty much forever so you could unlock all the traits. And there were so many that it would take you forever. And that's kind of why you just kept going and going and going. If you weren't into the builds. Remnant 2, you actually don't earn really anything at a certain point. Which I never thought about, really. Other than Very Good Boy, why do you choose Handler? Uh, Handler actually has... It got buffed. Handler has a 30% ranged in skill damage. So, for Engineer, it gives you a total of 80% skill damage when running it. Which, you want as much skill damage as possible. That's how the turret, you know, does its thing. I have a four-day weekend, so I think I'll pick up Remnant 2 start getting more done. Nice, man. That was awesome. Three-day weekend for, for Remnant 2? Let's go. What's up, Yargo? How's it going? If we get Twisted Chantry, I would not mind. This build's okay against Twisted Chantry. I chose Tommy Gun. Yeah, I don't really need the Tommy Gun, if I'm being honest. I was using the Bone Saw. Bone Saw, the problem is, is the reload. And since I don't have my Acid Corrosion coming back instantly, I was like, eh. not really a fan of the reload. I tried running, like, Sniper or Huntsman or something, and it just wasn't feeling right. Hello, gentlemen. damage is what is he shooting right now i honestly still think there's nothing more fun than engineer they will never top engineer that is their highlight it is such an amazing class i'm gonna say that and then when the dlc's come out i'm gonna be like this is the best class they're never gonna top this <laughs> that's how it always happens you make engineer and medic for 2000 damage melee build on apocalypse mode Need the heavy gun. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, because I guess the heavy would count as melee. Huh. A neat idea. I'm going to try that. Where'd that guy go? I had thought of using engineer's melee at one point. Really from behind. I did get the Void Heart, guys. I finally grabbed that. Dog, by the way, takes insane aggro. I mean, it's actually crazy how much aggro he takes. Basically all of it. 2,000 damage. Huntsman Pistol. What's this thing even called? Sure Shot? I think it was called the Huntsman Pistol in the first game. I think it's for better builds. Definitely makes this type of game more fun than farming traits. I would 100% agree, though. Yeah. It's way more fun. The farming traits actually was more annoying than anything. It did add replay replayability, but it was definitely annoying. I really wonder if this orb is the most efficient thing. It's so good in hallways, but that's about it. I love this gun. Oh, hello, big boy. See how much the turret does by itself. The turret actually... See, the thing is, the turret against bosses is going to hit weak spot a lot more often. For some reason, by itself, well, against, like, minions, it almost never hits weak spot. I think it's just sort of a gimmick of the thing. Maybe because it's too low, the weak spots are too small. Okay, that guy's actually scary, so I had to pay attention. 
From a distance, the dog's yellow silhouette looks like a corgi. Oh, I can see that. Also gets buffs from melee rings for its damage and can one regular enemies and staggers more difficult ones. Huh. That's kind of awesome. How much damage does it do right now? Let me see. I mean, it does 500 damage. Why would you run Medic, though, instead of Challenger? Does it not count as melee damage and counts as skill damage instead? That might be why. Is that music? Music? No. For some reason, because of the cast speed so high, it, like, puts it down instead of actually putting it away. This is definitely Twisted Chantry. Like a more melee focused class for the DLC. We have enough range classes. Yeah, I guess. Ooh, it's Kayula. I guess that's true. There's only pretty much Challenger and then Medic if you want to go. Although I guess Alchemist too. Which by the way, Alchemist's last skill has so much potential. I'm really excited to try and make that into a build. They fixed turret targeting yet? I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if they fixed the fire turret. I actually don't think they have. Because the fire fire turret's goofed, 100%. The flamethrower. It's goofed. Get a damage buff, and it uses max encumbrance for melee damage. Oh, I know what you're talking about, yeah. Engineer with Challenger. Rampage is such a great skill. Yeah, Rampage is probably the most powerful skill in the game. Overall. Look at this thing just shred through enemies. It's just a beast, man. It's just an absolute monster. Like, you want to have some fun? Go melt stuff with a machine gun. Who does not like this? Like, it's just crazy to me. The dog keeps getting, like, eight buffs at a time, and I'm not sure why. The other thing, though, is this offers you the ability to have two minions on the field. Come here, little guy. Thank you. I definitely think this is the best one, too. The best turret. I love both of the other ones. The flamethrower, obviously, is amazing for elemental builds. The impact turret is hit or miss. It could do so much damage, but it's so easy to miss your shots. got insane range. What rings you running? Uh, I could pop them up here in a second. Come on. Walk into my lightning orb of doom. Okay. How is this shooting them that far away? It's like a medium range gun. What a reliable weapon. Sure shot? This thing's a beast. Challenger Archon or Challenger Engineer for veteran solo hardcore? Um, I like Challenger Archon better, actually. Uh, mods seemed easier to get more powerful more quickly. So I'm running Abrasive Whetstone. So when I get into co-op a little later on, it'll be really good because it'll be able to bleed everything. But for now, once my dog bleeds something, I get a ton of crit. Like a ridiculous amount. This one's not helping me yet, but it will later. Um, these two are pretty much just staples for every gun build. They're just absolutely insane. It's really hard not to run these two for highest damage. But yeah, those are the ones I'm running right there. Thought about running Archon Summoner using Space Crabs and Familiar, just a small army of minions. Nice. Yeah, I my new build coming out tomorrow is actually Archon Summoner. I don't spam minions, but you can do that pretty easily. 
Base crabs has a lot of potential for mod spam with minions. That's pretty crazy, actually. That's just since they count as explosions, so there's like some potential there to pair up three different builds, I guess you could say. The Archon Exploder with the minion build. Tragically, the familiar doesn't count as a summon for summon related rings. Yeah, well, it does. It does, but only when it's not attacking. So, it kind of is useful, kind of not. Yeah. I know what you mean, though. It only does when it's, like, flying over your shoulder, which I... Most of the time, it's going to attack. I did use it to get some serious bulwark against the Ravager, but that was pretty much it. It's not nearly as efficient for, you know, that type of thing as actual summons. Or space crabs or any other ones. I don't... Space crab... How many does space crabs count? Does that count for one summon or does that count for five? That's, I think it's five dudes you summon, right? I freaking nailed that guy. You know how many times I've died here? Not even from the elite, just from the little dude shooting me in the face. Look at that. Pray and pray, baby. Madness beam thingy counts as summon too weirdly. Yeah, the eye gazer. I have no idea what that one counts. That one doesn't even make any sense. I guess sort of like a mage summons. Like if you were a magister. I guess it could count. Man, turret is just walloping right now. Walloping. It just hits so many weak spots because there's so many bullets going out. Yeah, get the heck out of here. Alright, let's use our dog for a buff. Throw that bad boy out. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, 1,000 damage. I'm telling you, Sure Shot's awesome. I don't think Banded Mutator is great on it, though. That's what I'm currently running, and it's just not... It's not reloading the gun almost ever. It's kind of a waste. I think it'd be cool if there'd be a shield-type melee weapon. Like, quick click for attack, hold block, and a unique shield that could be thrown. I was actually thinking the same thing. Like, what if you kind of turned it into, like, pure melee gameplay? It's kind of the disadvantage of going for certain types of melee builds is you still have to dodge, you know, unless you're going face tank. It would be kind of interesting to be able to just block all the shots instead. Have like a shield and sword type of deal. Or maybe just a shield. That could be interesting too. Dude over there caught me off guard. I love the turret. So much fun. Makes you feel like a monster, man. I always open this door up just in case. I don't ever really even need to, but... It makes me feel better to have it open. Yeah, you're saying just a shield. Yeah, just a shield could be interesting. That could be interesting. Yeah, definitely DLCs will give us a lot more mods, I assume. I think in Remnant from the Ashes, I'm pretty sure DLCs gave you, like... Not bad. Twice as many mods as there were. Well, actually, I don't even know. It'll be interesting to see, because this game's definitely going to be bigger than the first. With how they did the other DLCs. Yay, we look really good.
There we go. Three statuses. He has Hardy, too. He has Hardy, and that's the damage we're doing. Look at the dog just take all the aggro. Alright, we need our overclock back. I got greedy with I got greedy with the sure shot. Did you see that? I was like, oh, I got another bullet. I think bandit mutator is messing me up more than anything else. It is cool to be able to get the bullet back, but it's like, ah. Uh, maybe, maybe don't focus on that. I wonder if bandit would be better on the uh, Tommy gun. Interesting idea. Mod damage? Nah, we don't need mod damage. Magazine capacity by 40%. What's that do? Does that give us an extra bullet? That does nothing. So that's that's definitely a great mutator for that one. Increased fire rate. Range hits increase next weak spot. There's one for reload. We could just use that. Oh, no. I already have momentum on it. Reloading increases damage. This weapon's next shot by 20%. There you go. There increases reload speed, too. Do I have Twisting Wounds on? I have momentum on currently. Uh, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave Twisted Wounds off just because I'm using. I'm using the dog. We're gonna try and rely on the dog to get the bleed as much as possible. Is that the one I put on with Slayer? Yeah, Slayer. Slayer is gonna be good there, I think. Alright, how do I wanna do this? I wanna pop my dog ability, then my vortex, then switch guns. Alright. Or, or go for a. You know. Rushing me immediately. Ah, oh, that one always gets me. I'm never ready for it. Kind of does it at random. All right, we're gonna put this guy down. Just wait her out. I need to wait for my overclock anyway. But we are not in a hurry. Ten seconds. Now wait for the gun, I guess. Ooh, we got 296 crit. We killing my dog, dude. Dang it, how do you <laughs> that attack's getting me every time? Slapping me in the face. See, even without statuses, it does so much damage. Oh, I did not see that. Dang it. I need to get out of this front area. And I need to be able to apply the statuses a little bit better. But a monk class focus on defense and counter? That'd be interesting. A monk class? Ooh. I doubt they'll do anything like that, but that could that that's a cool idea. They do have the bruiser metal knuckle type weapon. 
kind of plays into that. Hmm. Applying the statuses is really easy in the first phase. It's a getting them applied after. Since I'm, you know, not built for that. Gosh darn it. It's the turret. After running turret with engineer so much, it messes with your time. <laughs> messes with your time. You'd be like, oh, I have 30 minutes of a dodge. Little do you know, you don't have the turret in your hand, so you don't have 30 minutes of a dodge. Dodge is so much better. It's like twice the window. I wonder why. Like, why did they make it that good? I appreciate it. Reloading. Had no stamina there. Thank goodness he missed. Alright, now I think we're a little bit more ready than we were last time. As long as the bleed's on, we are getting something out of it. Wow, that's convenient. Are you serious right now? That's never happened to me before. What? Falling on my head. All right, as long as they aggro dog a little bit, we're fine. Dang it. Now he's on my dog. There we go. That's what I want. Wait for a little bit of ammo to come back. Overload. Yeah. Okay, the damage is already really crazy. I can't wait till we get all the statuses going, man. This is going to be really stupid. That guy also takes a lot of damage. Even with Hardy? Hardy makes some bosses just take nothing. He was still taking a lot. It's kind of surprising, actually. I wonder if I can take off... I can probably put on something better in terms of... Yeah, let me apply hot shot here. Then I can just apply... He, that guy's immune to fire anyway. It wouldn't help. But if as long as I'm running solo for the moment, let's run, let's run hot shot. That's another stat. Especially with sure shot, that's like an instant application of burning. Plus more damage. I'm not going to complain there. We also get to see how well the build works by itself. I do think... The thing about the hearts was I was going to try and use Void Heart. Because you get a really cool... Uh, reduction in incoming damage. But problem is... Just... It just still feels like it's so easy to die in that four seconds that I switched over to Tranquil. And we don't really get an easy way to use relics anyway. 
Although I will say this, the handler does get a trait perk. I can't remember where it's at, but it allows him to revive faster. 30% increased revive speed, which you think, oh, okay, whatever. Well, in co-op, revive speed is literally just the slowest thing I've ever seen. So 30% is a huge buff. It's honestly huge. Five seventy two damage with the sure shot. Kind of runs out quick on the pistol, though. Look at that aggro. I don't even fight me. He can almost kill some of these little dudes by himself, too. Pop the turret. For shenanigan purposes. I wonder if in... I was going to try and mess with Impact a little bit the other day. When I was testing to see if this would work. Like, Impact does actually work really well. But problem is... Unless you have a gigantic boss. So like Ravager or something. It's just not really worth it, I don't think. My brother's really good at aiming the thing. I mean, he can hit the a lot of the smaller bosses easily, too. But me, I mostly mostly stick to the bigger ones with the impact turret. The smaller ones, I just... I feel like I miss way too much. What do we have here? Oh, of course, that thing. I think that noise is supposed to indicate that they're there, but sometimes you, they make the noise and I don't see anything. Which is very confusing. Yeah, I, uh, it, a couple of different melee classes could be interesting. There already are actually quite a few different ways to play melee. The mutators add a lot of that. I haven't messed with melee too much because I don't really care about melee. I'm more into the guns. But these mutators are kind of crazy. Basic melee attacks increase charge attack, which could be huge for like a massive... Yeah, look, at max stacks, the next charge attack gains 100% critical chance. Pretty powerful. Increase melee critical chance by 15% and damage by 50% uh, when you're below 50% health. That's a huge one. Better against bleeding. Regenerate ammo. That one's more like a support type of melee. Charge melee attacks can't be interrupted. That's like my favorite one. That's my favorite one. Love it. It is fantastic. I use that on my other build to just literally just avoid taking any damage for during a charge attack. Learn to do that so easily. Is great. Two thirty four damage. I love to see it, man. I love to see it. Not today. Butterflies are going to get me to. I we do have the Golub boss, by the way. I don't know if I made that clear enough. The Ravager, I do it enough, so I was like, I'm going to go for the other one. What's up, Corey? Have you considered doing any speed farming builds? I have one that's pretty good and a lot of fun. Actually, yeah. Uh, I had one built, and then I never made a, a build video for it. <laughs> I had one built. Uh, I use it for Narud often enough. Let's see, should I try and apply this? Come on, pop. Melt. Absolutely melt. 732 damage. I gotta be able to hit weak spots better, though. I don't think the dog bled him either. Surfy goodbye. Yeah, nah. nah we, don't, we don't play like that around here, dude. Yeah, we don't play like that around here. here they come. I have no sympathy for that crap. It's 
machine speed farming build, trust me. <laughs> I actually used that one. That one wasn't even set up. Remember when I was like farming for the one ring? What was ring was that called? The Burden of the Follower. And that build wasn't even a farming build. I got through that pretty quick. You could put on the ring for extra haste and you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. You can actually do some stuff that applies to teammates too, which is really fun. Make both of you like a speed runner. Usually you'd run Lido's though. I like I don't really like the look of Lido's for a speedrunner, but you kinda have to because it has the most defense. Why did he curve around and where the heck did he go? There he is. Do any bow builds? Been messing around with the Moonlight one and it's a lot of fun. See, I have not done a bow build. Um and the reason for that is I kind of suck at the bows. Not gonna lie. I'm just really bad at aiming. Not really, like, that bad. It's just I feel like I miss the majority of my shots and hit a non-weak spot. And they get so much more damage from weak spot hits. It's only because I don't play with them regularly, you know? So you, I'd have to just pick it up and play a full run with it. I've messed with them. I think I've used every bow just goofing off. I might actually have them all upgraded. You know which one's really fun is the Sagittarius. I believe it's called. That thing is awesome. Unfortunately, it is probably the weakest bow because its mod is just not very reliable. It's very easy for it to just kind of miss, but it is a lot of fun. That's a lot of roly pulleys. That's a lot of roly pulleys. Those feel kind of clunky to me. See, they do to me, too. I think I just need more time with them. But, yeah, it's it's because I like the sniper. That's really the big distinction, is I love the sniper. I've always liked the sniper, and the bow is slightly slower than the sniper. It basically is a sniper, but just a little bit less speed. And it messes with me just enough. Also, trying to time the reticle to get, you know, popped off at the correct time. Sometimes I just don't pay attention. <laughs> Momentum driver, bisected ring, and swiftness. Then he's a toxic gas valve with alumni ring. Oh, that's a great idea, though. Toxic gas valve. Genius. That's a fun one. That's actually what my co-op buddy's going to run today. That's what he's going to run today. Because it applies a... I think he said that it does work with the AoE trait. Oh, dang it. I shouldn't have touched that. And so you can just... Use it and then blow up a whole gas cloud of, of enemies. It's kind of awesome. See, it's like halfway between a normal rifle and the bow. You're not wrong, actually. That's how most of the fusion rifles are. Omega is the same way, sort of. Yeah, I can see them. Because all the bows have that perfect charge mechanic where you have the time to... You have to time it right to get the bonus damage. Fail and you do less damage. Yeah, exactly. Good. Now, if you get used to that, it's it's huge, right? But if you're used to the Widowmaker, where all you got to do is fire, reload instantly, fire, reload instantly. I'll mess with you just enough. And that's really just from playing with Widowmaker in the first game so much. I don't think it was called that. It was just called the Sniper. That was my go-to, man. Anytime I had trouble, throw that on. We're done. That, that was it. The boss couldn't do anything at that point. Especially since in the first game, it was so easy to hit weak spots. Like, it's not even funny. Are we serious right now? How many of us die more to meatballs than anything else, do you think? Probably a lot. That's what, that's what I would assume, you know? Just die to meatballs over and over. Okay, he straight up disappeared. It's not even our max power, my guy. This is only this is only the pre-version. <laughs> Wait till we get to the good stuff, man. 
Oh, it's gonna be legendary. I think more to random dudes on Nerud. Ah, oh, fair enough. Fair enough. I just get shot on Nerud from 30 miles away. No, here's what happens on Nerud. I die one time, I get irritated, and I go to sprint through the game. Like, the whole area. And then I get swarmed by 30 bots, and I die three more times. That's that's typically what happens. And then at that point, I go, fine. And I put on Handler and uh, Explorer, just run as fast as possible. Listed in R1, the meatballs are the only enemies I intentionally melee. Yeah. You can't really melee these ones, because they'll just jump you. This is the boss, is it not? Yeah, it is. This could be tricky solo. We'll try it anyway. Without having the stats, this is a bit trickier. The rude's awful with the amount of ad spawns. Yeah, especially since some of those robots can just beep and spawn like five more robots. Come on, man. Give me a chance. Give me a chance uh, to do some ad clear, like please. Before. Just a second. Actually, you know you can go down this way to get around all this stuff? Found this out yesterday. I don't know this direct path. But apparently this goes all the way around, and I had no idea. I think you can skip, like, all of the conflict. Yeah, I barely made that, dude. I barely made that. That was terrifying. <laughs> um, Which way do I go? I think up here. Like the secret strategy. You know what isn't fun? Getting caught by an enemy on a ladder because you're just dead. Oh, I missed. There we go. What's up, N1? It's really awful. You're off work for the day. You want to farm things in game and you find out Sheen's live on YouTube. <laughs> What's up, N1? How's it going, dude? Can I jump that? No. Yeah? No. Totally. Yeah, I'd never used that before. That's cool. Alright, let's see if I can test this. It's going to be tricky to get this off on the boss, so I have to kind of get used to it. Who do I want to kill first? Alright, there's an elite. Okay, if the dog could go hit him in the face for some crit, that'd be awesome. Did not need to aggro that guy. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. It's gonna be a little tricky, but we can do it. Did you ever get the tree planted? I did! Guys, I got the tree planted! I forgot to say that. I, I actually went back to the tree and got a fruit last night for the first time. I haven't used it, but I got it. You know what I noticed? R2 uses a lot of assets from R1, but unlike Betrayer Gunfire, remembered to complete the rest of the game. <laughs> That's such an insulting comic. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, it it plays exactly the same, just with a lot of other different elements. So the tree, the there's like a couple different fruits that can spawn on the tree. The one I have is Celestial Thane Fruit, an ancient fruit that was harvested at its highest form. After consuming upon death, the hero will be revived with 50% health and be immune to status effects for 30 seconds. It lasts 60 minutes. So I'm assuming that you use it. And then it revives you one time and disappears. But I have not used it yet. Kind of a cool little thing. Okay, so here's what I gotta do. This is the tricky part. We die. We walk in this fight and die. Like every other fight. Because there's, no there's no reason. Watch. No reason. We're two feet from him. We don't do that around here. Grants you buffs. The longer you let it grow, the stronger the buff. Oh, that's cool. 
That might be why mine was so strong, because I didn't check it for like three days. Now we go back in the fight, and we have way more room to play with. Wait 15 plus hours before harvesting the fruit to get the celestial version. Gotcha. Oh, we see. My dog entered the fight. But I didn't. Pops that fat head of his, he's dead. That's right. Here's the hard part. Now I don't have any of my statuses. Jump, you fool. Ah, oh, I forgot to press the J. Ah, oh, I was like, oh, I need to wait. All right, so the damage is really good. I wonder if I should save my stuff. I'm going to try. Let's try something different. Let's try save all the elemental stuff for the big guy and see if I can get some extra damage in. Tree also awards a relic. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know about that. You have to, like, what, harvest it enough, I assume? Okay, I didn't do any of what I said I was going to do, which is, you know, that's great. Darn it. Timing on that thing is goofy. I think maybe I should just shred him. What do you think? I don't know. I just shred him and focus on the other guy later, or eh. This guy's always a toss-up. There's like so many strategies to taking this fight down. It's, I don't know what I want to use, you know? What if I just go straight for the big dude in the back? Nah. Oh, it's because he's got Skullcracker. Roast him. Ah, I love that. That's insane. Another one got through half. I did it right that time. He's on my dog. That's convenient for me. Sort of. Taking no damage. Oh, that walked off the cliff. I should jump. I should jump. I should jump. I'm going to. I did it. Nice. My dog dead? No, he's right next to me. Woo! 
Almost 3,000 damage. Jeez. Okay, dog is huge in this fight. Dog is huge. Look, he's taking all the aggro on the hands. I don't even have to do anything with those. Perfect timing. What a genius. Almost like I've died to this fight a million times. All right, we have to not die to bugs. Nice. Hey, Engineer is amazing for this fight. Amazing. I love that. Find the alt kill easier in this fight? Really? Yeah, I uh, always try to kill the golem. I don't know why. I've never been able... I've only ever been able to kill the main dude without killing the golem. With three people. <laughs> and in easy mode. I've never been able to do it in Apocalypse. It's tough. Damage is insane, though. I mean, I love it so much. Engineer is just a beast. This is definitely not efficient for, like, a status build type of thing. Because it's it's really tough to keep them applied. But for co-op, it would be insane. Absolutely. Absolutely insane. Golem's easier enough to ignore. He's slow, and you can start the fight by just swapping platforms. See, I I don't find that, actually. I find him very fast. He usually jumps on top of my head immediately as soon as he enters the fight. I've never been able to get him to give me three feet of space. He's always trying to jump on top of my head. I know a lot of people say that he's really easy because you could just shoot the big guy down. I've, I've literally never been able to. Uh, Brucey, yeah, still grinding it out for sure. For sure. I love this this crown. It's actually really cool. Let's go back and check the tree. I don't know if it does it give you anything else when you already picked the fruit, and it's in your inventory. You should use hugs and add movement speed for that fight. Oh, movement speed could fix it definitely. I don't think I have that. I don't think I ever have that trade on footwork. That's well aiming. Where's the other one? Swiftness. Yeah, that could that could help out a lot in that fight. Deceit, yeah. <laughs> that is what I use most of the time I have trouble. Deceit is so good for that. Here's a mature one. So this is a celestial, this is a mature. It does the same thing. Oh. This is a very cool mechanic. See, what they did is they added so many different, just small aspects to the game. They really just improve it overall. Kind of awesome, actually. What do I want in terms of concoction? Do I want to reduce skill? Ooh, reduce skill cooldown could be big. Does that affect the turret? I don't think it does, actually. Let me go check and see if there's any other potions I can use here. You wait long enough, you get the relic. Ah, gotcha. So I need to just not use that for a longer time. Okay. Who has the? Uh, let's... Oh, not him. All it's. Right, Ooh, you know what he does have though? He's pipe bombs. What can I do? I warn you. Great health conversion, range melee, life steal. Increased distance of evade. That one's actually pretty good. It's a, it's a pretty solid one. Movement speed. Here you go. Health, stamina, movement speed. Might use Dark Cider. I think I have Be Dark Cider. Come back for some stew. I have four of them. That's yeah, enough. Just a little bit more of everything. My son and I are slowly co-oping through this. That sounds awesome, man. 
Yeah, I've beaten it with my little brother, my other brother, and then Hadrio, who uh, I'm supposed to be playing with later. So, like, armors to have attachments, like the weapons, or have some kind of 2-4-4 four, four bonuses. I, I said this from the get-go, before the game even came out. I think armor is drastically nerfed when it does not have any kind of bonus. All RPGs, which this is not your typical RPG, right? So, it's, they don't have to go in any sort of direction like that. But all RPGs typically have some stats on armor. The one complaint I have with Dragon's Dogma, actually, which is a very traditional RPG, is that for a lot of the game, your armor sets have nothing on them. Some of them do. Later on in the game, all of them do from Bitter Black Isle, and that's when the game is really, you know, cool to experiment with armors. And so I think having armor that just does nothing except for resistance is just meh. Mainly because those who get better at the game don't need armor at all at that point. So it is borderline useless. Now it is nice to be able to use whatever you want for fashion purposes, but it would be nice to have like this grants one extra health or three extra health or like a minor amount of movement speed or you know, minor stuff. Don't give them actual buffs. Don't give them actual buffs like 20% more damage, because then that, that that problem you get there is that anything that has more damage is going to be used by everybody, because more damage is better. Or more defense, you know, either of those two. Those are just better overall. So make it like minor stats that are super, super flexible with builds. But the issue, uh, they probably didn't do that because they already have so many different ways of like messing with your build with the relic fragments and all that stuff so i think that's probably why they just decided to go away from it all together adding empty slots for modular attachments would potentially change up what people use too many people i see in apocalypse just running leto yeah and see that's what other people were saying is that because leto has the most defense it offers the ability to take probably two hits from pretty much everything in the game before dying Versus 90% of my builds, when I'm not using Leo, Leto, just get one shot. Because, you know, you're missing a huge amount of armor bonus. Huge amount. Does it make you get better at the game? Yeah, sure. but not really why you want it. 100% armor should have set bonuses, but there should be a transmog system so we can look out where we want because it is, unless you're using RPing Leto's Mark K2 is best anyway. Right, yes. I think transmog is something, something that I feel like should be in most games at this point. It's in all MMOs pretty much. If you play any MMO, there's pretty much always going to be transmog. It's kind of just a staple of the the series at that point the style of game rpgs however have not really done that i think diablo games usually have a transmog system um but yeah it's weird that a lot of rpgs just don't do transmog especially when armor oh wow i missed that armor is so valuable for a lot of the rpgs that doesn't really affect my love of the games but it's just kind of odd I can agree there. Alright. Get wrecked. Cyberpunk got way better after transmog. <laughs> I can imagine. Especially when your stuff's based on gear. That was what a lot of people, I think, complained about. In the first yeah, let's be real honestly the reason they changed the armor is because people complained so much in the first game about not being able to look however they want that's really the reason
Because some of the armor sets, like if you didn't like the void set, but you loved the buffs on it, you had to use an armor set that you hated the look of. Started in Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls, also known as the point when Diablo 3 was good. That's funny. Yeah, I played Diablo 3 after pretty much everything was out, so I wasn't... I pretty much only played it when it was good. I'm gonna go fight the guy over there, because I do need crystals still. Somehow I still need luminite, dark luminite crystals. Crazy. Twenty percent of a buff from the dog is actually huge for this class. It's really big. Cyberpunk was a good game before that, but that did bump the quality of life up. Dude, why did we start taking damage from that? It's so odd. It doesn't affect me at all, but it is very odd. Waiting for the platform. Where are you, platform? <laughs> Phantom Library is going to be nice. Um, let's see. You know what a fix really sucks on this guy? Let's just talk about that for a second. Minions. You know why? Because he already gets minions. So if he gets the affix for minions, there's like 14 little dudes running around the freaking screen. It sucks. The game of the year, Sheen. For me personally, yeah. I don't know if it'll get game of the year, but for me, it's it's my really the only game I cared about. And the game that I'll be playing most of the year. Most likely. You know what? Here's how to tell here's how to honestly tell on my channel when I really enjoy a game. Okay. If the shorts start to slow down, like the short content videos, if those start to not be as often, that's how you know. Because when I get really into a game, I want to make longer format videos so that I can talk more about the game. Like build videos, I, I can't get myself to go work on a short, even though it would only take me like an hour to get content out every day. Because I am so interested in making build videos. Like just talking about different weapons, getting stuff out like that. Making cool, weird things. That's how you really know that I'm enjoying the game. Just finished a run of AC6. Still rate Remnant 2 over it. Difficulty spikes in that game are obnoxious. I've heard... I've heard that many times, actually. Many times. Crazy thing is, this isn't really the most optimized build for a solo run, and it's working so well. This and Dogma. Yeah, this is definitely highlight for sure. The gameplay loop of this is so satisfying. That's why I like it. Where did the ball go? There he is. Freaking dudes are the worst. The worst. Get out of here. Thursday Starfield goes early access. I'm curious how buggy it's gonna be. Yeah, very. Especially early access. But that should be a pretty cool game. Either way. Whether it's going to be amazing or not, you know, who knows. But it should be at least fun for a lot of people. Why did that hurt me? I'm genuinely curious to know.
Stop throwing people at me. This is this guy's whole deal. He just basically bullies you. <laughs> okay, not what I meant to do. Woo! Nice. Can't wait for all the Star Wars and Star Trek mods to come out. Right. It's usually like three days later. Crap. Okay, now we're in a good position. Things are so hard to hit, man. If you're getting weak spots, you're melting. That's basically how it works. I didn't even over... Oh, yeah, I was gonna say. I did overclock it. What the heck happened? Now for the fun part. We have like an hour. Okay, Rick. I'll see you then, man. Planet's easily my favorite in the game. What's up, Denneth? Oh, yeah. Labyrinth is awesome, man. Labyrinth is amazing. See you, dog. Out of here. All right, is it buff? Dang it, I heard it too, but I didn't time it right. Yeah! Don't get too greedy though, we can still die by a little guy. Yeah, Labyrinth is definitely the, the most creative. I actually hope they make a DLC for the Labyrinth. That's what I really hope. I hope they make a DLC and they add a whole new area to explore. Basically make an entire world on the Labyrinth. That would be awesome. Like, they're obviously going to make more of the doors opened up for the DLCs, but what if we just got an entire area to explore in the Labyrinth? That'd be uh, so fun. So fun. Also, Krell Axe, best melee weapon. By far. I love this thing. Vegas Dogma 2, I have one hope that every armor has its own set. No more single armor pieces with no relation to each other. And we can mix and match. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Armor is such a weird state in so many games. It, it just is. It's in such a weird state. Like, you want to know perfect armor? In my opinion... The game that did the best with armor, and this is going to sound crazy to those of you who are longtime viewers of the channel, is Outward. <laughs> Outward does armor better than probably any other video game I've ever seen. Divinity Original Sin 2 does a good job too, but in like true RPGs like that, like Diablo style, they all have stats tied to them. But I love the way Outward did its armor system. I love it so much. It feels perfect. Because you have your certain armor sets that have insane buffs. And then they have negative stats to... You know, be like, okay, well this isn't overpowered because you have to deal with extra stamina cost or... You know, extra mana cost. Or you go with your mage set so they have no downside but you're squishy, right? Awesome. I actually never played Monster Hunter. Uh, so I don't have anything on that one, unfortunately. I never played Monster Hunter, other than one time, and I didn't play very long. It was like 30 minutes. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I know it's surprising that I, I of all people, would say that. Right. 
That is how I feel. The dog died in approximately three seconds, so that that's great. All right, so I've already gotten hit by 15 orbs. Not going great so far. There's so many orbs right now, dude. That was insane. I just got very bad RNG. There was like 17 orbs on me. I knew the answer since the, it might sound weird. Yeah. <laughs> I watched a beautifully executed game and the lack of plans for a sequel are nothing short of heartbreaking. I 100% agree. I don't know if it's a budget thing or if it's just the devs wanting to work on other stuff, but it's just, it's crazy to me they wouldn't make a sequel. I guess it makes sense after them giving away DE for free, kind of, but still. Crap, it switched! Alright, we're cruising, boys. We're cruising. Let's keep that going. Dog died. Dog got squished. We're all sad about it, but we gotta keep moving. Bad time for that. Okay. Okay. This is the sucky one, man. I don't understand. I should have gone to the outside and shot it. It only shows up then. It's the last one. Oh, that was close. That was close. It's because I always get confused on when it's going to spawn in. It always throws me off. What was I running? Ah, the typewriter. Ah, welcome back, Rick. You ready, man? Got to pay the troll toll to the bricks, yeah. <laughs> Undoubt's quiet time recently kind of worries me. The anxiety due to lack of information. Yeah, I... Ooh. It's kind of odd, actually. It is very odd. I would say they're hurting from Definitive Edition. Still. They didn't really make a lot of money on that. They actually lost money. And then they started new projects, which is kind of... Yeah, definitely scary. You have a bug hitting the windshield moment for the blocks? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You try the mechanics cog ring? I have, actually. I I could run it with this setup, uh, since I'm not using shins. Singed. Mechanics cog ring could be really good here, actually. Just for a little bit of extra speed and some bulwark. Not a half bad idea if I'm carrying the thing around more often. Especially since, you know, I don't have the fire right now. Oh. 
Yeah, look at the dog. He's getting like eight buffs sometimes and then they disappear. Weird. You can also shoot it on your way to grab the Chicago typewriter. Saves you some headache later. Yeah, I... Sh Honestly, that's the best way to do it, though, is because it saves you some time. I just forgot. How long do you think would Apocalypse full campaign playthrough take? Uh, depends. I know I said that wrong. What's up, Wither? So, for an entire Apocalypse campaign, I have beaten it eight, nine times now. Possibly more. Probably more. Usually takes me about six to seven hours. Now, I say that, but I usually never do any of the side dungeons. Why? Because they're extremely difficult and pointless on Apocalypse because you already have all the loot, so there's no reason to do them. If you were to do a full run where you are trying to get all the stuff, it would take you definitely twice as long. Probably... Probably 12, 14-ish hours. It's not exactly twice as long, but... It really depends on how much side content you do. If you do no side content, about six to eight hours, usually. Yes, but look at the aggro. The dog is just taking everyone. No, the doggo. I got enough of that. You want to increase your difficulty? Listen to someone play the game while you play. My anxiety has been getting triggered with all the alerts going off in your game. That's funny. That is true. That will happen. Best dodge in the game by far, man. It's insane. It's actually insane. Wonder how long people have taken to do an apocalypse speed run. I think someone beat it in like under ten minutes, but they were cheating using the turret to clip through walls, so I don't know what the actual speedrun is. What difficulty did you start your first playthrough on, and how long did it take? I started on Survivor, and it took about two streams, so 14 hours, approximately. 14 to 16. Trying to look for all the clues, learn all the bosses, all that stuff. I Anytime I play a Remnant game, which would be Remnant or Remnant from the Ashes, the first time you play, you always play on Survivor. Everybody argue with me about this, but it, it doesn't make any sense to start in anything harder. You know, none of the bosses, you don't know any of the game, you'll be constantly looking for loot, so dying over and over is going to suck. Um, and your gear is absolute trash. So there's no reason to start on anything but Survivor, unless you know you're going to be good at the game, then you can start veteran. After you've beaten the game, then you don't ever need to do Survivor again. Like, even when you restart characters, you can do veteran then. It's like... You obviously play whatever you want, you know? I don't care if you start on Apocalypse, it's good, but... It's like, people were trying to tell everyone to start on Veterans. It's like, Survivor's better to start on, so that you can at least get more comfortable with the game and get some gear, and then move to Veteran. You can even cut your campaign short, re-roll, if you think it's too easy. It's, you know... There's a lot of freedom with the difficulty. There's a lot of freedom. Still a final boss left for Apocalypse. I hate Nightweaver and Venom so much. Yeah, Nightweaver is a monster. Is a monster. She requires you to just get dodging down so well. What is this? And then Venom is just... You tell me. Venom is both a tank and a DPS boss. Like, he just destroys you. Not even DPS, he just does damage. Yeah, the prequel was called Kronos Before the Ashes. The first game was called Remnant. Uh, technically, it's not a prequel. It's technically the first game, but it's it's a prequel. No one, pretty much no one started with Kronos, so I, I call it a prequel. Right, the Red Prince? Oh, he's brutal. Oh, he's brutal. Um, difficulty, I'd probably give him an 8 out of 10. Honestly. What's up, Jamal? Thank you for the $10 donation. Very much appreciated. Appreciate your content. First time catching your stream. Awesome, dude. We're glad you're here. I just gotta find these. 
Thank you very much for the donation. Sorry, I don't have alerts on. I turned them off because they, uh... I, I need to fix them. <laughs> they also, they also uh, stopped working. But I appreciate that, Jamal. That's awesome, man. Very, very much appreciate that. I think if you played Remnant from the Ashes, Veterans better. Yeah, I don't I don't disagree, Lucas. If you are very familiar with the first game, Veterans is perfectly fine. Uh, for me, I hadn't played it for a long time, so I started on Survivor to just get more familiar with the game. But like I said, it's up to you, really. You know, you can start one on whatever you want. That's the... The advantage of having the difficulty options versus a Souls game where you're, you know, you're stuck with whatever. You're stuck with your skill level, really. You have it an off day, you're really sucking it up. Go play a little bit of Survivor or Veteran. Chill out a little bit. And design. How do you rate Red Prince's design? Uh, good question. Actually, really solid. I give it a 10 out of 10. That is one of the better bosses, design wise. Very, very cool boss. And very menacing boss. I wish we had more lore on the Red Prince, because he's freaking awesome. But let's be honest. I'm not one to stop and read lore, so... I probably know nothing about any of the lore there already exists for. I just think it's cool that he says... What's he say? He goes... I'm the only one that can defeat the imposter. Right? Kind of like, he's the only one that can stop the Imposter King. And yet he doesn't. And he just sits on his throne. Like, I'm the only one. How does he even do it? What's his voice like? I'm the only one that can stop the Imposter. But nah, I'm gonna chill here. Okay, this is it. I'm 100% sure he didn't say those exact words, but... It's close enough. Like, imagine having the power to overthrow the King and you're just like, Yeah, I exist. I'm not going to do it, but I could. That's the ultimate just move right there. No worries, good sir. Appreciate that, Jamal. That's awesome, man. Those games, you change your difficulty by going to ranged magic. Otherwise, what you see is what you get. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. You want to make Souls games easy? <laughs> Go strength, dude. It's so easy, man. Me and my brother, uh, we did a full playthrough Dark Souls 3 co-op. Right? Which you might be like, oh, co-op. That sounds like a, a hassle. Nah. Go full strength and use Vort's hammer or a club or whatever it is. Easy mode. Easy mode. You get invaded, doesn't matter. That weapon destroys invaders easily. It is an awesome way to play the game. And then our other run, which we're kind of in the middle of right now, is... A I'm doing Pyro. Which... Pyromancy is awesome in Dark Souls 3. Like, actually awesome. I was surprised by that. Here they come. Oh, I think I went the wrong direction. That sucks. Can I get around this area? I don't think I can. I thought there was a tower over here that I was supposed to go to. Might be on the left. Ah, yeah, it's right there. I kind of wish we had an armor set for the Red Prince with the crown. I totally agree. I totally agree. Why do we not have a Red Prince outfit? His outfit looks awesome. I just said this the other day. I literally said that. That's crazy. We are on the same page. What's your favorite boss? For me, it's the final boss and Phelan Farron. Ooh, what is my favorite boss? Um, Final boss is definitely up there. I would say best boss in the game, though. Overall, design-wise, story-wise, everything put together. Nightweaver. Nightweaver has the coolest intro. Uh, tries to scare you on the way there. Give you this kind of creepy, horrifying feel to it. And then once you get into her fight, she beats the pulp out of you for, like, the first 20 tries. Just absolutely shreds you for the longest time. And you're thinking to yourself, what have I gotten myself into? Literally the definition of why Narud sucks right there. Did you see that? I think five different robots spawned in. But yeah, Nightweaver has such a cool introduction. And then her boss fight is, I don't know. I love the arena and I like how it works and everything. Very, very cool. 
Very, very cool. What's your biggest donation you ever got? Uh, the biggest donation I ever got was, I believe, a hundred, hundred dollars. Well, technically, one hundred fifty from the same. The same guy donated twice in ten minutes, and I think it was one hundred fifty. Very considerate person. I ended up making. I think it was the guy I made an outward build for. He was very excited about it. Pyro's great. Yeah, the pyro is really fun. Here's the thing about the pyro that I did not expect. So in Dark Souls 3, the pyro has a very, like, very slow progression with you through the game. As in, as you progress through the game, it just continuously gives you better pyro. Like, after almost every boss, you at least get something, or every other boss. It was really cool to just see the, the progression that I got with it. Went from having just one fireball for a while to having, you know, two fireballs, a bigger fireball, and then there's a bigger one, and then wait for it, wait for it, a bigger one. <laughs> it's like the fireballs keep getting bigger. It's like, I wonder what my next pyro is going to be. I bet it's uh, a bigger fireball. Nice. I was right. There is 0% chance that he just hit me, and I am very agitated about it. Let me show him what I mean. The heck out of here, bugs. You know what? I'll say this, though. I'll say this. This is another boss. It's a side dungeon, right? But it has a very cool feel to it, because it feels more like a outbreak. Kind of like a zombie apocalypse, but more with bugs, which I actually prefer. I'm not a big zombie guy. I'd rather fight a bug outbreak or something like that. Like this right here. And it's also kind of unique because none of the world's like this. There's a couple dungeons that have bugs in them, but this is the main one. Dang it, I'm getting abused right now. Why? Why were you allowed to get that off? That's what I... Dang! Okay. Of course I have. A lot of Elder Ring sorceries are like that. Cast rock, cast bigger rock, cast a lot of rocks. Yeah. It's really funny. I guess we don't use turret for this. It's a bit clunky. Because I need to be able to turn around faster. serious right now okay left is the I think the direction I went last time was actually the correct direction somehow made a clip for getting the three drops in the flooding room I have not I don't remember exactly how I did that if I remember correctly you just have to turn the power on and then go into the room. And I've always done it in co-op. Well, the first time I did it in co-op. I don't know if I've done it solo. Can't remember exactly what the best direction to head for that is. All right, now what do we have? Because I know there's about a million people about to show up. That's where I died here. Having two minions is really nice. Not a main part of this build, but it's pretty cool. I did that to myself. That's a sad thing. Yoink! Out of here. Okay, this is the... 
correct way? Question mark? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. I'm about to try. Well, good luck, man. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. I remember getting all of them. I think there's two, three items in there. Hey. Hey. Remember all those times that I was hating on Handler? Everybody remember this moment, okay? Handler is awesome now. The buffs that they gave Handler actually makes it good. This is not how Handler used to be. So for anybody that remembers my previous statements, those statements are true, okay? <laughs> but Handler is good now. They made him a tank. He doesn't freaking die. He used to die in one hit by anything. Now he's just an absolute tank. He's a unit. That's what they say. He's a unit on the battlefield. Here's what's really gonna suck. How much how how much money you wanna bet? There's elemental resist on this boss. I'm not gonna bet anything, but there's definitely elemental resist. You found the rupture cannon yet? The pocket bulldog? Yeah, I I have found or er, no, I haven't found rupture cannon. I don't even know what that's at. I have the star shot, which is a nuke. This thing's hilarious. But I do not have the rupture cannon. I think it's the only gun in the game I don't have. Let's see what we get here. I was wrong. I expected worse. This is where we let the turret do all the work because this guy is such a pain to hit. Oh yeah, he's got bleeding. Alright, my turret's gone. Doesn't matter, it's fine. You know what's not fine is the lack of damage that he took. But, okay. Strafing doesn't work for you. Forgot about that. Holy cow, this ain't working at all. We need to apply status effects to him. That's what we need to do. Save the status effects for him. Out of my face. Oh, how I wish strafing worked. You punk. Only works if you have that trait. It does not work otherwise. I don't know if he's immune to corrosion because he's not getting it applied. But... Where'd you go, little bug buddy? Yeah, see, he's not immune, but there's currently a bug. I think it's a bug. I think it's a bug. Uh, where status effects just don't apply. 
They just don't work. They do actually apply to the enemy, but they don't show visually. And I'm not really sure why they do that. It has to be a bug. I don't see why it would be on purpose. Not my favorite setup for this fight. Here's what, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go fire tornado here in a minute. It is absolutely destroying the big boys, but... Alright, we're out of ammo, and I do not care to pick any up. Well, that worked. Sort of. Eat that, sucker! That's mod in the game! Where is he showing up at? Where is he showing up at? I do have kinship. The heck out of here, you little worm. Yeah, eat the flame tornado. Get out of here. I still wasn't like amazing damage. Can't really use the turret here. Eat a flame tornado. Run in a circle, because this boss fight is not set up for my build. <laughs> uh, brother. Alright, pop that. Overclock. Thank you. Should be him, right? I feel like he should take more damage the more things you kill. You know? Kind of cool. Oh, he has a regenerator. That's the worst to fix for this boss. That's why he's not dying. It's actually the worst to fix for this boss because, you know, he can run away and not take any damage. Classic me getting the worst to fix. <laughs> Luckily, we have what's called a tornado. That is super cool. I like that. We could just swarm to everybody into one circle. Well, he's going down. He's just taking his sweet time to do it. Yeah, have that time. <laughs> have that fire tornado again. Uh, this pistol's not necessarily the best for my build for getting that to stack up, but I'll take it. Overclock.
Why pick up ammo when you can take ammo in a box? It's the real question we're asking ourselves today. Now come... Where are you at? Oh no, fire damage. What am I gonna do? Too bad I have kinship. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> ah, I'm stuck in my own fire tornado. Oh. That's gotta suck. We're gonna wait for that dude. Pull them in, pull them in. Yes, I got one of them. I got two of them. Get the third one. Get the third one. Yeah, we got all of them. Let's go. That is awesome. Not every day you do that right there. He's just regenerating all of his health. This guy sucks. What a punk. Come here, you. Did my fire tornado of doom. Dodge over and over, hoping I don't get hit by uh, plasma. He left. He was out of there. Okay. Dang, Kinship's actually crazy, though. Wouldn't it really suck to die right about now? That's what would really suck. As I almost do it. Just gotta get my fire tornado. He is actually regenerating fast enough to not take any damage from the tornado. That's the crazy. Alright, now he's taking good damage. Sort of. He in it? He's in it. Oh yeah, dude. This is so cool. This like breaks the entire fight. I mean, he's just running away. I can't find him. Fire tornado visually is slightly impairing me. Slightly. Heat up fire. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Eat this sucker! Yeah! That was the longest hatchery fight since, like, the first time I've done it. <laughs> yeah, Regenerator is absolutely brutal on this guy, because, well, you know, he gets so much time to regenerate. On a lot of bosses, it doesn't matter at all, but for the ones that literally leave the fight, yeah, it's brutal. GG, thanks, Jamal. Oh! I jumped in the hole. Woo! Yeah, Song of Fear would have been good there, too. I could have switched to that. That's for sure. I actually might keep Fire Tornado on. I think it's pretty efficient, considering I'm using the pistol. One trick I found funny with this boss is to let him latch onto you and just melee or Enigma. He won't leave until you roll. Oh, I never tried that. That's cool. I guess you could get him in the Fire Tornado, but I don't know if it locks him off. I think it might hit him off because you're doing so much damage. That could be a useful strategy, though. Huh. Does he deal the death thing? The death ailment? I know all the other ones do. Yeah, guys, listen, listen, listen. This is the crazy thing. The amount of damage that you're seeing right now is like half of the damage. I'm not even joking. It's like half damage we can do. When we get our co-op partner in here, it's going to double. That's the crazy thing. 
Uh, hey, mate, have you ever played DRG as in Deep Rock Galactic? Yes. I actually, you know what's funny? I actually have, I think, three? I know two. I know of two videos on my channel of me playing Deep Rock Galactic. They are, like... They're going to be hidden down below a lot of videos, but if you search Deep Rock, you could probably find some of my really earlier videos on it. Oh, this is that boss. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I enjoyed Deep Rock Galactic. My only complaint with that game was that I don't like the activities that much. Specifically, the one where you have to, like, build a pipeline, it's just horrendous. Sometimes you get these environments where it's just not built for building, and if you're on the wrong character, it it could take like an hour to beat the level. It's, it's horrible. But the classes are really fun to play in that game. Really fun to play. All right. <laughs> Man, we're all waiting on you, Rick. <laughs> yeah, literally 2.30. Like, we're going to be hitting four something with the Tommy gun. And then at over a thousand damage with the uh, auto turret. Your player level also you've been on a lot of new amazing updates i haven't played in a bit so i don't know for sure i had not been able to do deep dives yet last i checked so i'm below that i was playing with pretty much every character rather than focusing on one which i may, may have not helped but. it's a really fun game it's a lot of fun to shoot the bugs i, I enjoy that Take this, Narud. This is actually a really crazy engineer build, considering I went into elements. Weird. The status bar gets too high, just roll and you're golden. Besides that, fire tornado and enigma melted in one go. Nice. Did you do that on Apocalypse? I might want to try that, actually. Sounds kind of fun. What's up, Christian? How's it going? Look at the dog. It's actually kind of nice to have the dog with you, you know? Just a, just a good little dude. I wish they gave us customizations for the dog. Like, who cares about armor customizations for your character? I want armor customizations for my dog. Let me give him, like, other clothes and stuff. That is awesome. That would be so cool. This is the item, unfortunately. Hey, that movement speed buff, though, whoever suggested that, that's actually a pretty good movement speed buff. I like it. I wish you could mount the turret on the dog. Oh, dude. They should add that as, like, an interaction because of using both classes. They should totally add that. Just, like... Have the dog sit where he's at and just throw the turret on him. Have him run around. That is such a good idea, Nathalian. Just want to name the dog? I can see that. There are people on that game that have 30k plus playtime and basically turn it into souls for themselves. For how good they are. Yeah. No, that game, that game has some crazy playtime for sure. I've seen some people playing that. It's, it's nutty. That's really what it is, though. Once you really get into a game, there's so much you can do with it. Especially games like that that have seasonal content. There's no way. How did that orb hit me? What a punk. This guy's so far away, it's not even funny. Just a laser. You literally just get a laser gun in the game. Like it just—it feels like a cheat, honestly. It, it feels like a cheat. You just get a massive laser gun that just spews bullets. How is that fair to any other class? How's it fair? Sadly, don't give dog flamethrower. Oh yeah, that would be awesome too. Give him something, some kind of turret. I don't know. Imagine if you could put the impact turret on the dog, and then he could walk around and just impact everyone in the game. That would be insane. That would actually be like a huge strat. 
Yeah, we leave. That's a good sign to leave is when robots start showing up. That means that at least 15 different groups of people have aggroed you and you're about to die. That's what that means. 100%. happened too many times. See? See what I mean? Like, 19 people have aggroed you. You should run, oh, of course. I'm 100% dead. Maybe I can pull it off. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm amazing. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Fire Tornado! Fire Tornado is definitely like top three mods just because of how usable it is. It's easy damage is the thing. Easy damage and then it has a lot of other... My dog died. Who freaking killed my dog? I will end you. Want some of this? For our lax to the face. I missed. I missed again. Wow, I'm good at this game. Wow, I'm really good. Alright, that's it. <laughs> Alright, I missed every single shot. It was awesome. There, I nailed that guy. Does that make up for the really bad gameplay there? Now we have a freak... Okay. Let's attack more people. I'm worried I'm going to get an elite. That's what I'm worried about. Elites on the outside open world of Arud means death instantly. 90% of the time. Aha! There's the bunker. Found it. Firestorm kind of messed up. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's a guy behind me. Of course, that hit me somehow. Get him. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, the tornado don't feel good on the dog, for sure. For sure. Tecto blade never dies. All American men need dog beer guns, yeah. <laughs> yep, you gotta have your trusty dog. No, a boat, too, Lucas. A boat, too. You gotta have your dog, your beer, your guns on a boat. And that is the American dream right there. That's the American dream, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Strap a nuclear warhead on the dog and just just send him over there. And be like, go. Blows up the whole universe. Survives it somehow. Wow. Still can't find the engineer. It's impossible, even on adventure mode. Hmm. How did I find it? It is tricky. It is tricky, Pew Pew. I, I'm not going to lie. The first time is definitely the hardest because, you know, you've never seen it before. So, it's a pain. Uh, you really just want to scour the edge of the map. And you got to look for... It's, it's really hard. I mean, you already know what you're looking for, clearly. But, like, it, it's pretty obvious once you've seen it. And you found it by yourself. But until then, it's not as obvious. I don't think it all... I think it does always show up. It shows up in a different spot. Depending on the world you roll. But I believe it's always in the second area? I don't remember. It's been a while since I got it. I remember scouring the map for a while. Before. But it will always be on the edge. So if you get like a speed run based build where you just get a bunch of speed armor and uh, explorer with the handler and just run around, it may be a little bit easier to find. I did not get my... Can I use Liquid Escape when you have a turret on a turret? I was in the second open map. Okay. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. What point in the game do you think you should get custom archetype? What do you mean? Like, should you get your second archetype, you mean? Or what do you, what do you mean by custom archetype? That's a lot of people.
think that's just the mechanic of that enemy. You can't strafe to the side. In Remnant from the Ashes, pretty much the, what you play the game as is you do this the entire time. You just strafe to the side, and projectiles can't hit you. You just don't scope to avoid them. But in this one, since you can't go into strafing speed without, you know, losing a tray point, it's a little harder to do. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Should you complete campaign first or already get it before you complete it? Hmm. No, you don't need to complete the campaign. Usually what I do is I'll beat, like, the first world, then I'll go get my secondary archetype, and then, um... After that, I'll just run with whatever. Nah, you could, you could get it beforehand, though. You don't have to wait till you beat the full thing. Nero. X. Ah. X. You know what's really cool, guys? You know what's really, really cool? So, in Kronos Before the Ashes, you actually got the Krell Axe. This was the axe you got. It wasn't lightning damage, though. But you got a Krell Axe. I don't remember using it very long, though. I used the hammer for the most part. What did I end up beating? Oh, with the scythe. I beat it with the scythe. The scythe was such a sick weapon. That was awesome. So you have found them. I wish they would have added... Did they even add a scythe? I don't think they did this time. <gasps> no, they didn't add a scythe? 100% guaranteed they add a scythe in a DLC. Guaranteed. You can count on it, for sure. What do think's best primary secondary archetype for Invader? Uh, Invader is better as a secondary 80% of the time. All that remains is yourself. Tell me. Eighty percent of the time, there are builds that primary is way better. Uh, but you gotta go into relic usage in order to do that. If I say no, that is your choice. <sighs> so I don't think I've done the alternate kill since that one time I got stuck. <laughs> Wow, I ran out of stamina immediately. Uh, and then was just stuck. So I definitely spammed dodge way too many times. I think the DLC would be a new world for those other shots, or also this boss is pretty cool design. Uh, DLC will definitely be new world or like an expansion of Labyrinth or one of the others, but probably new world, I would assume. And yeah, boss is definitely pretty cool design. Most of the bosses do have good design. Oh, he's immune to fire. Pretty good. Wait for our overclock to come back. I have the Tommy gun, dude. Can't even hurt me with these this time. Called I paid attention. For the last eight times you've beaten me. See the dog taking that aggro? Way too many ads. Need to get rid of them.
Oh, he ate my dog. This is actually one of the easiest ways I've ever fought this guy. Yeah, you can't do anything about getting stun locked, though, unfortunately. And the 84 guys that are on me, I've never seen this many ads solo. He just got a ton of health back. It's inconvenient. Statuses are busted. All right, where's my dog? My dog is dead. I'm gonna get you, buddy. That's why there's so many enemies. He died. Genuinely hate this attack. Come on, bud. Get up. Gotta kill the little guys, otherwise he will get so much health back. He's spawning a thousand of them. Never seen him spawn this many enemies. That's my guy, calm down. A dog is just tanking right now. I'm not even really playing the game. The dog is literally doing everything for me. The dog literally aggroed all of the boss's projectiles. He aggroed all the minions. I mean, he's just its doing all the game for me. This is insane. That was nutty, man. That was actually nutty. Talratha, metaphysical, is such a fun fight. Talratha is... Yeah, he's, he's pretty fun. Better than Shahala. <laughs> yeah, the doggo is being crazy, man. Really enjoy being off for the day and getting called into work. Oh, that sucks in one. Thanks, catch, uh, sticking around. Wither, I'll catch you next time, man. That was one of the better Nerud runs we've had. That was, what, second try? On that boss? Kind of crazy. Second try on that boss. That's a first. Actually, getting through the game pretty easily right now. It's kind of crazy. Firestorm's definitely a better mod for what I'm trying to do. That's what I want to know. Why? Someone tell me, please. Almost home, Rick says. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This uh, build's pretty freaking fun. Pretty freaking fun. I always thought the statuses had a lot of potential in this game. But the first couple times I played it, I just straight up went into guns instead. I was like, I'm going to just go into guns full. But status is actually really cool. There's a lot more ways to play around with them than you might think. And we got Nightweaver, which 
is actually a good test for this build because I think the king would have died too easily. The thing about the king is after you realize that his weak spot is slightly above his head, you just aim above his head the entire time and he dies instantly. Like, he's actually not that bad once you've gotten beat up by him many times. Nightweaver, on the other hand, is always tough. No, like, no matter what you do, she's going to be at least a challenge. That's how I feel. Nightweaver, yay, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, the dot, dot, dot really gives it away there. Hate her so much. She is tough, man. I am... This place gives me the I am with you on that. The dog's really gonna help here. These guys aren't gonna be able to shoot me as easily. She's punishing? Yeah, definitely. Not unreasonable. I've lost count of the times I've played a Souls like and wish I could have had a shotgun or a Tommy gun or any gun. <laughs> yep, I feel you, David. Wow. Oh, uh, you know what? Not even mad. That freaking firing squad. I walked around the corner and my gun ran out of overclock at the wrong time, bro. The wrong. They just said, nah. You're not getting past this line right here. That was. In I've never seen anything like that. They both fired at the exact same time together. I am slightly impressed. Welcome to Lawson, they said. Welcome to Lawson. We're going to shoot you instantly. All our grabs are so fun. I love getting one shot even though full tank armor. Yeah. The only way to get through it is uh, medic. Because you can out... She actually doesn't do enough damage to out heal your, your health. If you have medic. Resonating heart. But that's like it. What the heck? My fireball went nowhere. No. You can do that, buddy. You can get out. I believe in you. I'll come in there with you. Uh, we'll die together. Oh, wait. We have kinship on. We can't die. <laughs> one thing about her that is evil is the one-shot grab. Yeah, it's brutal. Brutal. You know what's cool, though? In co-op, you can actually shoot her off of you, the other person. If your buddy gets grabbed, you can actually shoot her. If you do enough damage, she just gets knocked off. It does ruin her alt kill still, though. Her alt kill is freaking annoying. It's definitely the hardest alt kill in the game. Probably the hardest alt kill between Remnant from the Ashes and this game. Probably. Think DLC will be free? No, um, no, definitely not. Uh, Cause some people already paid for DLC. Those of us who grabbed the early access, we paid for the DLC, so it definitely won't be free. Oh no, a big guy! Whatever is he gonna do? Walk through my fire tornado? The only downside of Lossom is, like, weak spot damage. It's so hard to hit weak spots here. Dog saves you from her grab grab, or ground grab, though not the wall grab. Hmm. The dog is more useful than I thought. Also, if you don't revive the dog, he just revives us to a certain point. out of here bro this is a side dungeon 100 percent yep this is the most convoluted world and most like just labyrinth like it's worse than a labyrinth in terms of being a labyrinth this is the crazy thing it is such a maze i think nightweaver is designed more for co-op than solo it feels a lot a lot better in co-op for sure i will say this though aggro in this game 
Like, when an enemy aggro's to you, is very weird depending on the fight. Sometimes it seems like they switch very, very well depending on who's fighting them or who's closer to them. And then other times, they just don't switch off of one person ever. It's really weird. It makes each fight interesting. But it throws you off quite a bit. The boy for the computer for like 20 minutes, you've already cleared Nerud. <laughs> That's how Nerud is, man. Nerud is so fast. Nerud is the easiest one to clear by far. Because especially if you go like speedrunner build and you just run through the main areas, the big areas, you can just do it in seconds. Okay, I walked into that one. I deserve that. Fire tornado. You'll love to see it. Okay, I don't know what just hit me. Of course, it's a gun guy. Look at the crit! Look at the crit from the bleed! Ah, it's so stupid. We could get even better crit if I went into a different sort of play style. If I used the... What's it called? Dang it. Uh, it's the ring that makes you dodge a little bit better. Ah, Akari Warband. Yeah, if we went into Akari Warband, we would be hitting some stupid crit. I feel like Yesha can take the longest. Yesha depends. So if you get Ravager, Yesha can take the longest. If you get the other one, the Golem, you can actually skip one of the bosses, so it's not as long. But yeah, I feel like Lossom is longer every time. And the weird thing is, I think the King, after doing it so many times, I think the King's actually faster than Nightweaver. I think she's the longest run in the game. Because for the King, you can skip a lot of the side dungeons easily. Versus Lossom, you have to walk through all the paths to find where you're at. Man, I love this freaking game, dude. I can play this game for hours on end, and I literally this do. Looks bad. Not the most amazing damage I've ever seen. Get out of here, dude. I'll break that guy. I actually have really good fire resist. I forgot about that because of the helmet. See, hitting these guys' weak spots, it's just complete RNG. There's, there's no way you're aiming for it every time. Not with a turret. Not with a turret. A lot of people, I didn't feel like dealing with it. Alright, that's a little ridiculous. How did we get out of my fire tornado, guys? Someone want to explain that to me? Alright, where is the big lady at? She's down there somewhere. My dog's fighting her, but I think she's directly under me. The crit's just so insane. Acid shot plus that bleed necklace is just nutty. It's generally better to hold the turret and not plant it. Uh, depends on the build. Really depends on the build. So if your build is like mine, 
where I don't have a lot of damage from my guns, I'm just applying statuses, then the gun is better. Because you can more properly aim it. So for bosses that have weak spots, the gun is definitely better to pick up. But if you're not hitting weak spot, Okay, whatever. If you're not hitting weak spots, then it's better to put it down so that both of you can deal a ton of damage. Because it doesn't need to aim. Like, your turret rarely hits weak spots, especially against certain enemies. These guys are not dying to this gun. I don't know what the deal is. They are just taking no damage. Oh, because of weak spot. I can't hit the weak spots. I was going to say, they do sometimes. That's when I hit their head. Is that about running the CC mods and going full cooldown reduction? Yes. Um, so... The only problem with cooldown reduction is that it's currently bugged. If it's not bugged, it needs changed because it's not working properly. So there's an amulet and there's a ring. One of them is the crit. Gives you your mod ener or your skill energy back for cooldowns. So any crit's going to give you skills back. And then you have the other one. This one. Anytime you use a mod, you're going to get cooldown for your skill, right? Here's the problem. There's this weird thing that happens where if you cool down your skill too fast, it will just black out your skill. So it'll give it back. To it, like when it fully would regen normally, it would just black out and then it'll wait a long time until you can use it again. And I'm not sure why. Maybe it's to prevent you from spamming it too fast. But at the same time, what's the point of cooldown if that's the case? So I feel like it's just not working right. And then it doesn't always do it is the other thing. It's only occasionally. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. Genuinely hate these enemies. I genuinely hate these enemies. They're such a swarm based enemy and they sprint at you with no remorse. Like, I literally can't do- I can't do anything. I can't get away from it. What a pain in the butt. And no matter what you do, you're always walking on more of them. Jeez, bro. Give me a break for three seconds. All right, there is a elite somewhere, I believe. Get you back up. Just will not freaking die with this build. <laughs> it is not efficient for killing these guys. Uh, I don't mean the amulet, just like static cooldown, expertise straight, relic fragment, burden of the rebel. Oh, like a general. Yeah, no, I, I, that's what I was saying was in general. Um. In general, it works a little bit better if you don't use the amulet or ring, I think. I think the way to do it is to just use as much cooldown as you can until it almost comes back, and then don't use it again, and then it'll just not bug out. But I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I've messed with it. I haven't done a full build on it yet because I've, I've just been testing things with it. I haven't found the right build. I was using Archon for a bit to try to get the Lightning Havoc form to just be awesome. I never found anything that I really liked to keep with it. I've done at least three to four setups and haven't really settled on anything yet. You can get the Havoc form to come back very quickly, but... If you do, you lack 
as much damage. And I want to make it to where it just outputs an insane amount of damage. But I also want to be able to use it efficiently, you know? So I think I'm trying to find a hybrid between the two. Mm, let's go right. Because if you're able to school, oh, if you're able to cool down skills, geez, that's a mouthful. Uh, you're very powerful because some of the skills are really good. One thing I did try out, I have kind of a build for it. Problem is, it's not good in Apocalypse, so I never, I never actually made a video for it. But if you run Engineer Gunslinger, you can actually spam your skills enough to get the. The first skill to come back a lot. I don't remember what the first skill is called, but it's the one that, like, shoots a pistol from the side. It's guaranteed crit, which makes it very strong. Just can't kill them, man. I cannot kill these guys fast enough for this build. They are destroying me because of it. I'm gonna let Matera do the thing, though. It's got this. Haha, you're stupid. Can these guys not climb ladders? Holy cow, they can climb ladders. That was terrifying. Like, I should have assumed, but... Where's his weak spot? How am I even hitting weak spot? That makes no sense. That would have been the perfect time to die, too. Right at the very end of the whole dungeon. Wow. Talk about brutal. Alright, fire boss. You know what's crazy? I never... Never fight the slug anymore, which I'm totally fine with. Also, I haven't fought the Magister in a long time, which is good, though. I hate that thing. All right. Let's do this. What should I do? I think I'm just going to pop Tornado on her, because if you do that, she can't throw bombs, if I remember correctly. She can definitely still throw bombs. I hate these freaking fire guys. For whatever reason, I literally just cannot kill them with this build, and I don't understand why. I've never had this issue. They just rush me, and there's nothing I can do. I gotta put on a different weapon or something. These guys suck. I need a stagger weapon, like a shotgun. Shotgun would work. I literally just cannot deal with them. They they rush me and nothing I do matters. It's gotta be because this weapon has no stagger. Uh, Bandit's really good on this gun, if I remember correctly. And we want something that does... I don't freaking know. Tremor's not bad. I have no ad clear of that gun. I've yet to get the Magister. Then again, I haven't been re-rolling a loss on that. <laughs> yeah, you got to do that. Yeah, I've been getting Red Prince lately, which Red Prince is harder technically, but Magister can be brutal too. Currently running Engineer Handler with Insulation Driver Amulet, Soul Guard, and Mechanics Cog Rings. Have the turret mostly active, and when it runs out of ammo, I just pop Song or Firestorm. Nice. That was pretty good, actually. Missed. That's classic me. Get 
This weapon sucks for this boss. Can't hit her. What a freaking dumb enemy. For whatever reason, my build just said, nah, we're not gonna fight that guy. Now you die. My dog is dead and there's no way I'm resing him. He is out of luck. They just don't die. I have never seen these guys take zero damage. They are brutal right now. I'm gonna get my fire tornado back. Yeah, you died a weak spot, don't you, you punk? Definitely dodged, but that's... Nice, I nailed it. That's what I was trying to do. Oh, he has Hardy and Spiteful. Oh, that explains a lot. Sometimes I forget to look at the affixes, and they kind of matter. Just a running game right now. There you are. Ooh, I got Tremor up there, too. Where does the fire tornado keep going? It is bouncing off of her hand and flying through the air. Whereas Tremor is actually being very useful right now. That was unexpected. Oh, of course, this guy. He's unkillable for some reason. I have never had this fight be this difficult. It's literally a gimmick fight. And for some reason, I have no ability to kill ads. Doesn't help that the dog can't do anything, you know. They did it again. Oh, I freaking hate this fight right now, dude. Nothing I am using is working. Everything is bouncing off of freaking walls. <laughs> Why? Such a good mod. It's just hitting the corner of the thing. Oh my word. My aim must be so off of this. I feel like the easy fights have been the hard ones for this. Like I, literally, like I can't freaking shoot her! Where's she at? This is horrible. Just the fire doesn't really hurt. Still trying to find the boss. Missing my tremor. I have nothing that use is useful in this fight. It's great. Just got one shot. Now I'm gonna die. I freaking hate this fight. Why, dude? Why? Honestly, I'm irritated right now. I'm honestly irritated. All of that is just sprinting in a... You know what? Freaking... That's it. That's it. I'm over it.
She's dead now. She's 100% dead now. 100% dead now. Where's my other freaking ring? Here we go. Yeah, now I got freaking... Now I got some partner. Now we're just gonna destroy her. Ridiculous. Dog goes there for emotional support, yeah. <laughs> Doing nothing. Okay. I just... The turret was useless. That, that was the big thing, is the turret was complete trash in this fight. For whatever reason, it's just not doing anything. Now we got the statuses going. It's still not good. I can't hit her weak spot. I don't know where her weak spot... I don't think she has one, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Look at the status. Damage bonus. There we go. That was very well deserved after the crap that she gave me, dude. That was well deserved. Good job. Yeah. Wait for it. Well deserved. Hmm. Nice. So, anyway, let me re-explain the idea for today's build. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... Hadriel is running a status build, so he's going to apply all the statuses possible that he can. And then I am going to literally just unload on the bosses with my turret. Now, the problem is, is that... If we don't hit weak spots, our damage is slightly less. If we do hit weak spots, we're just going to demolish everything. So, it'll really depend on boss. But. And the hard part about cooldown builds is that you have to wait for the skill to finish before you can proc them. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I like It was like the build that I made with the gunner skill was really fun, but it, the build doesn't do any damage unless the skill's active. So, it felt really just kind of awkward. When it was good, it was good, but then when it wasn't active, you know, it just wasn't working at all. Which kind of sucked. But luckily there you have, you know, Gunner's turret to kind of help out a little bit, which does put in enough damage to trash bosses most of the time. But I always run Engineer's Prime. I see so many people being like, yeah, I, I run it as secondary. I'm like, how? It's so much better as Prime. I don't get it. Like, you do you, I don't care, but, like, it's just, how? It's so much better as Prime. Alright, I can go back to using my orb now. Electro orb, where are you at? Where are you at? There you go. Back to Lawson we go. Through the streets of death. Company. Feels inappropriate. There is a guy up here. Very irritated about it. Yeah, Rick's finally here. Let's go. Now the real damage happens. Because now this ring that I have on gives me 5% damage for every status applied to the enemy. Which is just dumb with how many statuses we have. You guys are coming out of nowhere, literally. Also, statuses do really good damage over time. So you're just overall dealing really good damage. He's got, yeah, he's got the little, the fart gun going on. I love that thing. It's hilarious. Yeah. 
Oh, shit, I nailed him right in the back. <laughs> that was perfect. Perfect aim. A lot of people. All right, we got a monster somewhere. What's up, Alex? Hey, man, I love your root medic. Freaking awesome. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy that, man. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, that build's crazy. My brother still runs that build to this day. It's the only thing he'll run. He said, why run anything else when I'm unkillable? And I said, fair enough. Three forty crit, no weak spot. If he has status is applied. Three forty crit, no weak spot. That is crazy. We tested this against a couple enemies. We didn't get to test it against anything and lost them though, so it'll be interesting to see the difference here. Dog is so helpful right now. Yeah, awesome, Alex. Like the follower thing for Remnant 2. Reminds me of Skyrim, because when you press right analog stick to crouch, your follower will do the same thing as you. Huh. Whee! Fire tornado! <laughs> Why is kinship this strong, man? It's crazy. I'm actually glad it is, though. There's so many things that'll insta-kill you if you don't have kinship on from your own team. Yeah, don't stand in front of Sheen when he has an axe. Hey, listen, I'm sorry. If you're in the way, it's, it's coming through the air. That's all I got to say about it. Ow. <laughs> through an accident. Oh, enemy. Okay. At least we're not in hardcore now. We can actually die. Restart. It is kind of weird, Handler being in Apocalypse, because before it was so bad, but now it actually it feels really good with the turret. That's kind of nice. Oink. And since he bleeds, if it's perfectly here. Be time to pull out the Meridian since you have kinship. Oh, yeah. Yep. Only reason I don't run Meridian is it is easily one of the most powerful guns of the game. Uh, if you have mod regen, the thing is just dumb. It's mod does so much damage, like it's ridiculous. How did that guy aggro? Aggro the dudes underneath us. That's hilarious. So weird. Kind of weird that it took them so long to scale dogs and summons on difficulties. It's kind of odd. At least it's better now, though. Summons actually feel pretty good. Summons don't survive long. Especially against AoEs. They st still die instantly to AoEs. Um... But they survive enough that you can bring them back after they die. They feel very balanced now. Handler is just... That dog doesn't die. <laughs> they made him a tank, which is really what he needed to be. He's only died a couple of times. And really, it's only when, like, a massive damage hits him. And there's nothing... I, I'm just not helping him. Displacer. Crap, I hate Displacer. Nine eighty. There you go.
For some reason, I'm not getting crit right now. I think it's because his axe is on me. That's nothing I could do. He was just spamming me right there. I forgot how long his, his wind up for that thing is. Yeah, the elements is just dumb. And I get such a huge boost in damage from it, too. Joe, what's going on? Hi, those are my two starting archetypes. I'd be interested in your Archon loadout. Is this Apocalypse mode? Yes, so this is Apocalypse mode. And I have an Archon build coming out tomorrow. Stayed up late, finishing it last night. It is done. Uh, but I have to check over it again after I get done streaming today. And then I'll post it. Tomorrow. Turn him into the unhatched version of Dog Me for Fallout 3. <laughs> Beast. Go eat the enemies, Orb of Doom. It's like aggroing all the enemies at one time and then stopping them from doing their normal actions. It's really weird. What's a good way to raise DR damage reduction? Uh, honestly, the best way that I've found is relics. You have two relics that can do it very easily and uh, rings. Relics and rings are a big way of doing that. There's a there's a ton of rings. I don't know which ones are which, but there's at least six that have a variety of things for damage reduction. Uh, bulwark, stuff like that. Bulwark's actually really good for damage reduction. Before the patch, he was unhinged. Literally thousands of HP due to some error or another. Huh. Interesting. See ya, axe. I don't like the looks of this. Met this current loadout with Handler Engineer, or were you supposed to have to get? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, no, I have Archon build separate. This is this one we're still testing. Uh, so I'll I'll mess with it today in the stream. I'll probably post it. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do like a co-op build format for this one because it is kind of oriented towards it i might i might do that that way uh this one i won't be out for a couple days but i will attempt to post this one yeah i think the best relic in the game is tranquil heart and salvage chart tranquil resonating I have never used salvaged. Mine would be tranquil and resonating. Uh, I see the benefit of salvaged, though. The innate speed boosts for using it is the real kicker there. I agree. But yeah, I have two different setups for engineer, handler. This will be more of a co-op setup, and then there's definitely going to be a solo one that's different. Because you'd want to use... I don't think you... You might actually want to use that since the dog can bleed. Oh, this one right here. Savage Art is as good as Enlarged Art without having the capacity. Yeah, because of... Because of having, you know, gray health regeneration. I, I didn't think about that. A lot of the damage you take is gray health. And then it does heal 30 regular, too. Hmm. Yeah, I could see the advantage of that. Uh, yeah, we'll see, Rick. I don't know what I'll do. I don't know what I'll do yet. I got a lot of bolts out of that. I may just use stream footage and then... Oh crap, forgot about that, Lee. And then post both builds. We'll see.
Why is she not hitting weak spot? I know where her weak spot is. There it is. Wish I could get my cast to sell that whetstone. I know, she shows her pain and she. I just now got it the other day. Crystal Hearts give her tanky. Yeah, Crystal Hearts really give her tanky too. It also heals 100%. It's the ones that don't heal fully. You're like, yeah, I don't even know if I want to use this. There she is. She's down. Nice. The heck is she? Ah, right there. Of course, I had to fight this ding dong. Like, what don't we have on the screen? That's the real question. Tell you, this game here, the difference between Remnant from the Ashes and Remnant 2, the biggest difference is that there is so much more potential for co op synergy than there was in the first game. So much more. It's not even funny. Like, there's just so many things you can do. Is there another path down here? There is. Hardcore co-op up to three or can only be played solo for awards. Still learning about these loadouts. First time playing this type of game. Me and uh, this guy right here, Hadriel, just did Hardcore Veteran the other day in my world and he got the rewards. So you should be able to do it with up to three people and get them. Uh, but yeah, three people's max for the co-op in this game and then... Dude, I can't even see what's fighting us. That's the honest truth right now. Now I can see it. The, the fire tornado is blocking it slightly. <laughs> Got him. But yeah, so you could do three people in hardcore, which makes hardcore a lot easier. A lot easier. Just in case you get down, somebody can res you, something like that. The snipers? I know. The snipers are brutal. I told you, I walked around the corner at the very beginning and this just got instantly dropped by two of them. It's not ideal. Mm, about to start world hopping to try and get all her stock. Yeah, good luck, man. Alright, this is going to be the test. The ultimate one. Should I pop a relic? Maybe? Mm, probably not. Hey, watch out. Here they come. I think a basic plan is the best thing you could do for hardcore. Yeah, definitely. Yep, because if you don't have a plan, you can really mess yourself up fast. Ah, I can't see. I got stuck in the tornado. Let's just go melee. What is killing me, dude? I got shot in the back. Dude, you have to hate the minions in this area. Shot in the back during all that. Come on. Uh, I was going to say, I'm not I'm not taking any melee damage from her. What am I dying by? I'm getting shot in the back of the head by a gun, dude. Hope that neither the DLCs or a sequel. There's an area that gives organic weapons that graft on with equipped, like, Tyranade guns. Oh, that's interesting. Tyranade guns? Huh. 
I think maybe you were supposed to fight her away from there. Here Not sure. Come. Yeah, maybe don't fire a tornado for this guy. <laughs> maybe don't fire a tornado. Uh, let's see. Buff. Damage! You got Hardy too. Almost had it. Dang it. I was so close. Stupid ads, bro. We have like way too many people on us. Why do we have so many people on us? There's at least eight guys with guns right now. And I have no idea why. There's not that many here. That's so weird. Why are so many of them showing up? A fleshy Mega Man like weapon that shoots acid balls beneath. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. That honestly does sound really cool. Witch fire. Well, I am down for that. She's not doing anything. I'm not sure what she just did there. I've never seen that. Dude, would she get the heck off of me? She's backed me into a wall. That was really good until she literally pushed me into a wall. I couldn't move. Yeah, why did she quarter me right there? That's so weird. That was a good spot, though. For whatever reason, she just kind of stood around. Trouble is I can't put down the cannon to redo my buff. I mean, she has Hardy, which is crazy, and we're doing so much damage, though. I don't really want to be in the fire.
Dude, I can't, bro. I can't see a single thing. <laughs> I have no idea when she's doing that. I heard the sound, but I wasn't ready for it. Once my turret's gone, I'm screwed. Like, I don't have any options. This fight honestly sucks. Because of the minion. You see, I am dot... Yeah, okay. You need a light dodge for that, clearly. It's just this boss's arena sucks. That's all there is to it. The boss's arena is trash. There's so many enemies that get aggroed. There's no way to just fight the freaking boss. Stick on her left shoulder. Most of her moves would pass over you. She'll just stand there. I have heard that. I you forgot about it, actually. Problem is, if I stand right next to her, I literally blind. Alright, let's pop dog. I'm gonna do a little bit of healing in case I get hit. I'm not getting hit with the engineer active. It's when the engineer is unactive that I can't do anything. For her specifically. The damage is amazing. It's just... Actually being able to deal the damage. Her having Hardy is not good. That's like one of the worst affixes for a lot of bosses. Why is that hitting me? I don't know. Backing up. I don't know what Vicious does either. That might not be a good one. Running out of stamina fast because she's doing too much crap. Oh, it's Reloading. not good. I'm gonna feel that, later. that was crazy. Okay, I got the turret back a second time, which is nuts. Let's go. That boss is tough. Wow, giving her Hardy is so much more health is crazy. Thanks for that. It actually went pretty well. We were doing some really good damage here. Vicious deals 15% more damage. Ah, that makes sense. Curious, where can I obtain the relic heart you're using? This one is... You're going to need to look this one up. Um, Tranquil Heart is a bit of a, a quest. It's the hardest heart to get in the game. Not really difficult, per se, but it's just going to take a lot of grinding. You got to get the worlds to match up and stuff like that. I, I definitely recommend checking that one out. There's no way I can tell you exactly how to do it. You have to get two different worlds to roll and then... It's a, it's a bit of a, a grind. Pain? Yeah, that boss is pain. Yeah, for sure. With with Hardy, man, it's just a brutal experience. I think this is the way we're supposed to go. Vicious is also not great. I'm not going to lie. That was a pretty good boss to test that on, though. It, it means it works really well. For bosses that are less... The thing about some of these bosses right here, why she sucks, is she's aggressive. So if she's doing anything at all, you can't shoot. Freaking Lawson, bro. Uh, you you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Getting shot from four different directions at once. You, you gotta love Lawson. It's the best. Yeah, you gotta have Shahala's override pin, and then you gotta bring that to the web in this world here. It's not super easy. It is kind of nice, though. It's just passive regen. I don't even know how many there were this time. There were at least two. Yeah, this is bad. Look, there's a fire guy, an elite, two gunners. This was just, this was just bad RNG. Bad RNG. I 
I definitely was not a fan of the orb for the boss. I need to find something else that works. Like, something that can just do damage. What about this? Fires projectile attaches to enemies dealing 40 damage. Enemies within 7 meters become bound to the primary target after impact and share damage. I feel like this is complete garbage, but I want it to be good. Actually, that looks pretty cool on my gun. I feel like it's complete garbage. Yeah, well, the problem with overload rounds is I'm really not using my secondary gun that often. Although it could be good with the sure shot. It's actually not a bad idea. We died literally right here. As soon as we entered the area, it was like, you're done. Stamina? I may go for a stamina potion. Because with Engineer, you're using a ton of your stamina. How many more we got? I heard, like, at least three other enemies. Dude, oh my word with these guys. Actual pain. Lo I'm telling you, I literally refuse to build test in Lawson. Lawson is horrible. It is the worst. Ra like, Hunter is the single best class for a Lawson, regardless of anything. It's the only one that actually tells you where enemies are. Which is all that matters in this area. It it's it. You need to know exactly where people are and then to be able to kill them instantly. And that's what Hunter lets you do. Hardy's so rough for glass cannon. More room for error. Ex exactly. Yeah. Hardy's also just rough in general because some bosses already have highly inflated health. Like Annihilation gets a huge health inflation for Apocalypse. So if he gets Hardy, which I've had before, it just takes a long time. Regardless of how much damage you're outputting, it's still going to take quite a bit longer. Oh, he's slow, that's why. I was wondering why I wasn't doing anything. Currently on Veteran, does it matter if I do that on Survival for the Tranquil Heart? No, you can do it on whatever... Um, if you're trying to run and just go get it. Yeah, Survivor's gonna be easier just to quickly get through and see if you got the right world. Jeez, man. He just did all of my health in one shot. And the other thing about Lawsome is that the areas are way too long. Not that they should be changed, just that they're really long. So, <laughs> on top of enemies being able to insta-kill you, you have to be here for an hour and a half. Oh yeah, look at that. They actually take some damage. That's not a bad mod. I always thought that was kind of crappy. I guess I was wrong. Not particularly good, but maybe for boss fights where there's ads near him, you can just kind of soul bond him together. That might be potentially good. This is the wrong door. We walked this direction for absolutely no reason. Dang it, dude. Blossom, you are the worst. Oh, my Annihilation won't have Hardy or Empathy. Empathy is another bad one, too. The thing about Empathy is that it actually doesn't change the gameplay in terms of you dealing damage. So bosses can die at about the same speed and whatnot. But it does mean you can't mess up. It's it's no hit. Pretty much no matter what. You can't... If you have enough damage output, you can heal. Yeah, I mean, I've done it. But it is very annoying because the boss just gets, like, a huge chunk of extra health back. And you just sit there going, why? Yeah, no problem, Joe. He's been invited. Oh. 
This has to be the right way, yeah? We can pretend. We can hope. I like how the extra, like, deer... Oh, this is another side dungeon. Fanta oh, wait, no, this might be the right one. Yeah, this is actually the right one. No? Let's double check. I think it's Pasha's parlor. Uh, okay, yeah. I, I don't think it is. The one we're looking for has, like, a giant courtyard. But I don't know if the... Because there is that bug in Yesha, so I don't know for sure. Empathy Regenerator Venom is pure evil. Yeah, definitely. 100% for sure. That's horrible. I think Bleed also helps, too. So if you have Bleed Fire build for Empathy. Yeah, anything over time is great, but Bleed also reduces healing. So it's kind of the ultimate strategy for Empathy. To apply a bunch of Bleed. Still, regardless, it's tough. It is tough regardless. Either way, man. Definitely makes it a little bit easier, though. Mm -hmm. Dude, look how big this area is. Just maze after maze after maze. For the tread. Eyes. Okay. For the tread. Oh, don't stop now. Are you serious right now? I seriously, I genuinely think Lawsome is the worst. You know what it is actually? If you play, you get the king. Right? You're in this area a lot less. And so it feels a little bit easier. But if you're stuck in this area, bro, be in for the grind. nothing better than just holding a turret, firing the button over and over. Peak gameplay. Peak gameplay. The other thing is that in Apocalypse, they spawn a thousand of these guys. It is insane. Well, I missed. I made it look really good. So hard to hit these guys' weak spot. Like, it is just insane. I'm really trying hard. Oh, crap. Oh, he's on the dog. He's on the dog. I might have a chance. Boom. Look how much more damage we get when the elements are applied. It's just not even fair, man. It's not even fair. Not fair at all. In a mini country? Exactly. It's so huge. Handler revive coming in clutch? Dude. The handler revive is actually so much better. It's so much better. If you paired up Medic and Handler, you'd be able to revive in like seconds. And there's also rings that buff it too. You could be the ultimate reviver. Just boom, one second revives. It's probably about as long as it would take. It's like one second. He's under, like you said, it's a lot better, but I hate the Root Earth with a burning passion. Ah, a Root Earth is hard. Root Earth is not easy whatsoever. I definitely agree with that. There's actually a part towards the end of Root Earth that you should just always skip. There's absolutely no reason to fight it on Apocalypse. It is too difficult. This place is like nothing I've yeah, Revivalist seen. trait too. 
I'm going to go ahead and say we got Magister. All right. I'm going to say this because I haven't gotten Magister in a long time. I just feel like it's going to happen. I really think this Soulbind's kind of interesting. It doesn't really do much overall, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, the ribbon's there. I don't know if you need it. Magister would be dark area. Oh. Gotcha. Well, guess we don't get Magister again. Magister sucks anyway. No one wants to fight him. I do you to run Hunter here with a friend. I remember that, especially in Apocalypse. Yeah, definitely. 100% remember that. It's a game changer. Yeah, thank you for that. If you plan on doing any co-op, you gotta get that handler trait. Gotta get that handler trait. Magister always in the shadow side of the palace areas. Yeah, I, I that must be why I never find him. I just never get that. Bet you he shows up more often in the king then. More question: Does the end of the first game suggest that the root got into the world through the dreamers? I believe so. Yeah, I think the end of the first game is supposed to let us know that humans experimenting with things. They weren't meant to experiment, is how the root got here. Essentially, the root tricked the humans to let them into Earth through the Dreamers, is what I gather. Soulbinders stack the damage of Firestorm in the turret? I don't know. I think it just makes it so that whenever you shoot it on an elite, everything else around it dies. As far as I could tell. Maybe, though. Yeah, we definitely got the Red Prince, which Red Prince will be... It'll be a test for sure. I'm getting a little bit of lag in this area, but... Have to head out. Have fun, Sheen. Hey, catch you later, 81. Have a good day. Man, this thing is so much fun. Really, the only thing we had don't have that you would usually want in co-op is a little bit of extra healing. You know, someone being able to get the team up faster from... Not not get them up faster, but give help to everybody with medic skills and stuff. So if you had a third person, that's what they would run, really, because we have damage covered. 100%. So you just have third person running the medic build that I have, and then... Or any medic build, really. Just have them be able to heal everybody. Tank as much as possible. You're running the medic ring, and how do you get corrosive rounds mode for the primary using? The corrosive rounds is awesome. And it drops from the magister that I was talking about. Uh, unfortunately, my brother... Uh, my brother and I have run through the game several times now, and he still doesn't have it, because he hasn't fought Magister one time. But it's the... He's the guy with a giant tongue in this region of the game. It's one of the best mods of the game by far. By far. 
Because it increases your crit chance. So anytime that you're doing crit, you know, it just massively improves your ability to deal yellow damage. Or giant red damage, either one. Alright, here we go. The fun part. And when I say fun, I mean this is going to be brutal. This guy's a pain in the butt. Ugh. This guy doesn't play. Meanwhile, I fought Magister five to six times in our Night Weaver story. Yeah, I just, I don't know what it is, man. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. And then right now, he's not showing up for me at all. I never saw the Red Prince the first, like, six times I did lost him. Now that's all I get. Why? I don't freaking know. I like this look I have going. No, strange one. It is my... Now that we... If you shall not offer... You got a big one coming our way! Yeah, that's not good. I owe you one. My kingdom will not suffer the mockery of thieves. <laughs> I gotta be able to kill these guys fast. Oh, he has empathy. That explains a little bit. Dang, I can't shoot him. <laughs> oh, my buddy died. I didn't see that. Well, that's a lot of my damage gone. Ow. What? Alright, where's he at? That's really all I care about. Aw, oh, crap. Dang it! That's where I die, because I just took that off, and that would give me a better dodge, but whatever.
trying to pick that back up. It didn't work. What? I pushed the dodge, but oh, I was out of stamina. Wait for it. Dang, this is really trouble when I don't have my turret. I got a little bit of corrosion left. I'm gonna see if I can hit him with it. Okay, don't have my turret anymore. Sad about that. One, one wrong dodge. I died. Ah, I got spammy, dude. I got. It's the fire. If you if you get scared of the fire, you die. If you get scared of the fire, you die. You can't be scared of it. You have to just tank it. And ah, that's fine. He died. He died a long time ago too. So I. I've, that's crazy. I made it that far. That was crazy. I needed my potion back. I should have taken it beforehand. Let's see. Increase evade distance. See, this is actually a double-edged sword. You don't want evade distance in this fight. You do not want it. It will kill you. What is stamina? My back, I'm guessing. That was close. That was pretty close. I was, I was really hoping we could do it first try. I was kind of excited. But I, I really got just too spammy with the dodges there at the end. It's so hard to see so that because if the fire cyclone is just messing with you, you, you really got to focus in on him. It is my hallowed now that we should. Okay, I'm not your subject. Without proper Damage is pretty good. It's not the best I've seen against this guy in particular, but it's only because it's really hard to hit his weak spot. That's inconvenient. Being a pain in the butt right now. Thanks for that. Okay, just stopped my revive for some reason. Not really sure why. Dude, why? The wall should be hitting that. In protecting me, but I guess it's not. These guys not have weak spot. That's not good. That came out of nowhere. You see, it's co-op. It's bosses like this are immediately twenty times harder in co-op because. The boss needs to be on you for you to properly time all of his dodges. Okay, 
Okay. That's good, because the minion... This is the best phase for damage, because the minions freaking suck. I... I was able to easily kill him the first time, but now I'm having trouble. Okay. Good damage. How did I get that revive off? I'm crazy. That is such a good revive speed. <laughs> Wrong move. All right, give it there. Dude, what is he? Do? I've never seen him do this. He's placing down the swords, running away, and then activating them. I've never seen him do this. It is making the fight 20 times harder. <laughs> Why is he on me? I have no idea. This fight is like a million times harder in co-op. Luckily, we're getting... Oh, okay. No, I was going to say we're getting lucky. That was not lucky at all. Yeah, we're dead. Unfortunately. Dang it, dude. He just he's doing weird stuff cuz he keeps switching between me and him. We're we're doing so good though, too. Now you're maining engineer for overclock, but maybe maining handler for real auto revive. If you're grinding co-op, yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. But because I'm using it for my main source of damage, I kind of have to kind of have to overclock it. It's so good. All right, jealous of the crown. You're right. You're right. Definitely. Yeah, wait a second. Let me this mod is actually going to I don't want to say it, but, like, it's trash. <laughs> it's trash. Uh, I need something that can kill the minions faster. I'm thinking Tremor, actually. It's just to do overflow. So I can shoot faster. Let's try that. It's just the second mod. I gotta be able to kill the minions faster, and they're, nothing I have is really easy to kill them with. Where's he at? When we're able to do damage, I mean, we're doing damage. That's... Time for that. Man, it's you have no room. Yeah, it, it's so hard for both players to dodge because this is really just a solo fight, to be honest. Oh, 
I'm out, dude. I'm not messing with those blades again. Hate his I hate this attack. This is his worst one because he'll rush you and then you're like you're like, where is he at? He's on your face. Oh yeah. Good to know. It really is a really bad role. Spiteful and empathy. Brutal. All right, I got the overclock. If I can just get some damage in in this phase, we're good. We just stunned him. We just stunned him. We got so much going on, we were able to stun the boss. That's crazy. Now we're doing it. That blood draw he put on. Look at that thing. It's shredding. Oh, my word. What a tough fight. What a tough fight. Blood draw put in work there with the bleed. Really helping out. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, bro. I'm telling you, any of the bosses that it's harder to hit their weak spot, this build... It's not bad. It's still good. It's just so much harder to to work with because the gunner really has to be hitting the least spots. Yeah, finally we did it. That was a tough one. That's one of the tougher bosses we're going to have to come up against. Stuff like Cancer, Venom, Annihilation, it's just so easy to hit their, their damage spots. That we're going to be fine. I honestly think Root Earth is going to be easy. That's my opinion. Nightweaver could be trouble, though. I, I'm kind of excited for Nightweaver because it could be rough. Lived in you both the whole time. I know you did, David. I know you did. It's kind of funny using Blood Draw against him because, like, you know, <laughs> that's his item that he gives you. You know what? Concussive Shot is not bad and comes back quick. I wonder if I should use this for easy just knockback of stuff. It could take out minions really well in the Nightweaver fight too. We're not really using our secondary weapon for anything other than utility anyway. Because most of our damage is coming from our secondary player applying statuses and then us using the turret. So really, I think you use whatever. Only use two hearts? Did I really? I was trying not to use any. It was so... Uh, so much healing coming back from the dude. I did not think yeah, that was a crazy fight for sure. Kind of stun locked him with explosive relic. Yeah, you could have done that one. I love that build. That's so fun. That build is pretty great. The build I'm talking about, or Rick was talking about, there's a relic that, okay, that explodes when you use it, like a giant AoE, and it can stun lock, like, everything in the game so easily. It's not the best damage dealer, but it is really good stun. We have a free roaming Why are they showing up? I've never seen them come down here. Weird. They must have aggroed us when we were upstairs and followed us down. Still using the Tommy gun. I am still using the Tommy gun. I think it's a good option still. I don't know if I should switch to maybe Bone Saw or something for more damage, but it's been working and it feels pretty reliable. The only problem is reload speed, so as long as I just push through that, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, you, it, not, it doesn't really matter right now, but yeah, definitely... Probably actually when we beat Root Earth, yeah. Because we should be able to beat it right after this, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Because I already did Root Earth, or the Yesha. Here we go. The Nightweaver.
trouble with this fight is hitting her with this. Oh, dang, he switched. Nice. Dang it. Always got to reload on that part. We're okay, though. That's what I'm talking about. Add control so I can deal damage. I like it. Where's she at? Yeah, it's the ads that really get you in this fight. Weird. We're having a tough time of it right now. We're just getting in bad situations over and over. Yeah, like that right there. I can't. I literally can't. The, I, the fire tornado, the thing about it is it's great, but it's so bad for visual. Like, it's so hard to play with it. That's why I stated in that one video, I think it's slightly overrated, because like when you're using it, you can't see anything. You know? So good for ad control, but you just you're completely blind. Oh, you got back up. Oh nice. I guess the handler's really getting him back up a lot. Okay, let's completely reset here. Get some ammo. I would highly recommend not using the fire tornado in this next part. Yeah, dogs, dog is great for getting you back up. That's kind of cool, actually. I think my overclock's back now. Oh no, my dog's dead. Thanks. Let me get him back up. Okay. I, I guess we're doing that. Oh, he does have empathy. I didn't see that. I hadn't checked with the uh, gaver. Two different healing. That's what they gave her, was two different healing things. Oh, of course. Regenerator is actually a pretty bad fix. Gives him a lot of healing. Oh my, we're engineer is just stupid overpowered for this. Your dodge is so good, she can't hit you. Is that up or down? Ah. Whoa, that was close. Ah. Oh, that's insta death. I forgot about that. That's not great. Her not being able to hit the weak spot is a problem.
this is the problem. You need Hunter for this part of her fight. You need to be able to find where she's at. And I, I have no way of finding that. Yeah, there, there's no way to find where the stupid thing is. Luckily, his dog can revive me after I'm down. That's insane. Wow, time. That's crazy. I had no idea that was a thing. Literally dead, still helping me out. Like, <laughs> yeah. I the turret's actually tough on that part right there. I didn't have enough space. It doesn't kill you. It no longer kills you. What? Bro, why is she showing up on top every time? Oh, there she is. She's down here. These stupid bugs, man. Ah, you gotta have ad control. This build has no ad control. I think I need to switch off of this sniper pistol. It, it just does not have ad control. There's no way to support yourself. There's no way. I'm going revolver. I'm going to go revolver because it has impact. And I think that's what we need here. I honestly do. Uh, what was I running? You know what? I'm going to go tremor for this, actually. I'm going to go tremor so that it does... It kills the bugs. That's a genius idea. Let's go... Do I want Slayer? I don't want Slayer. Bandit would be pretty good here. That was first try, though. For first try, not bad. Not bad. Did you say you have a problem with Solver and its name is Revolver? <laughs> yes, I would. What's up, Connor? What equipment are we running today? Ah, I can show it real quick. We're using elemental build damage. So he's doing elemental damage, and then I am basing all of my damage off of that. Unfortunately, this ring right here is not helping me much here. Crit, high crit and high elemental damage, essentially. All right, here we go. Let's see who she's on. Luckily, she's on me. Now she's not. See what I mean? Without weak spot, it's just so hard to damage her enough. Ow. Can't see! Can't see, can't see, can't see, don't know what's going on. Alright, not can see again. Okay, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. We were doing fine. I'm gonna eat it. Nope, she's doing that, that's good, that's good. I walked into it. How's that even happen? She must have switched targets. Oh, 
Oh, we can get you back up already. Nice. It's the bugs, man. We are having so much trouble getting rid of these bugs. It's not even funny. Even with Tremor, I just, I don't have time to get it off. Oh my word, that was all jacked up, dude. It's the bugs. The bugs both throw off your timing. They kill you. They do, they do the, they're worse than the boss. I don't know what's going on with that. And maybe like better mod regen on my secondary. That might help a little bit because I just, I'm not even using it enough. That's the one downside of the turret is that when you're using it, you're not getting your mod back. I think maybe feedback. Mod damage generates. Yeah, that'll be good. Because I the, the tremor is amazing for the bugs. I just can't shoot it off. Yeah, we were using Firestar. Problem with that is that you can't see her. And so then if she does her lunge, you just die. <laughs> we were just using that, though. It's very good for the bugs, but not great for my eyes. Ah, uh, you don't see that one often. I forgot it was delayed. That's an attack she almost never does. Because I was a little too close. She has really bad effects. Regenerator is such a bad effect for bosses. It's so awful. Blind people would like... I, yeah. <laughs> We've had, I think, two or three with Regenerator this time, too. And it's just impossible to do it. It's stopping my revive, dude. It's stopping my revive constantly. Yeah, Empathy and Regenerator is... It's tough. It's tough. It is tough. Didn't want to give it the satisfaction. Uh, no, the dog is picking up. It's just... It's getting him, and it can only do it for, I think... Two minutes. It, it can't do it infinitely. It can only do it for a certain amount of time. See, it's going to pick him up now. I was ready for it that time. There's such low damage at the turret. There's where our damage phase was, and that was nice. That was probably the perfect outcome there. Why did I get hit by that? I'm in the middle of my iframe. That doesn't make any sense. I heal up. Damage! Where's she at? Can't see her. Why is she completely invisible, man? She's getting so much just protection from our own stuff. Just absolutely melt her. Here we go, here we go. Reload the gun, reload the... Alright, let will just do this, whatever. <laughs> whatever, we'll use our ability. Am 
Einmal. I haven't had practice with dodging the grab with this thing, so that's the scary part, is that she tries to grab. Can't find her. Ah, this part sucks about Hunter. It's honestly just trash about Hunter. So hard to see her. Nice, he did throw Hunter on. I like it. Heck out of here. Wait for my overclock. Let's get rid of that. Oh, back up. Oh, nice. What an awful roll for this part. For the first part, you can constantly do damage, but since we can't constantly do damage anymore, these these affixes have become a huge problem. Regenerator, especially. Yeah, she's just fully healing right now. for the overclock on that thing. I don't have enough ammo yet. Alright, there was the dodge. Got her off. Nothing I could do. I was in the middle of overclocking. I'm literally the only time that I can't be hit. Darn it. And it wasted my overclock, which really sucks. Okay, where's she gonna show up? Where's she gonna show up? Up top? Okay. There's the grab. The only time I couldn't be hit was when she hit me. That was so unlucky. And she did her hardest hitting hit. Handler's revive speed is insane. It's insane. Woo! That was absolute chaos, man. That was absolute chaos. Oh, we always get the worst affixes on <laughs> Nightweaver, man. The worst affixes. Listen, I'm not going to lie, I think the dogs are actually pretty darn good. Pair them up with Engineer, this is a very solid build. Together, we're just... We're putting out quite a good amount of damage. Man, that's a, that's a brutal one. Regenerator seems to only show up on these bosses that you can't shoot all the time. And that's like the only time you don't want them, you know? How inconvenient can you make my life?
How inconvenient can you make the gameplay? How much you want to bet? Yeah, but empathy too, though. That's crazy. That is the fun thing about this game, is I like the affixes. I both like and hate them. Because otherwise, the bosses would just, you know, they'd be the same every time. And because they get these affixes, they do actually feel a lot different per per run. Because one affix can really change how a boss plays. Yeah, you're good, Rick. You're good. I'll go back to Ward 13. I gotta use the restroom anyway. I ran Handler Engineer for a while, and it was fun. Yeah, I could see I could see Handler Primary being fun um, for co-op play. I probably wouldn't run it solo. Although an extra revive solo is not a bad idea. Yeah, I'll go back to the word in it. Dude, I should buy... Should I buy ammo boxes? Maybe I won't go back to the word. All right, guys, I got to use the restroom real quick, and we'll get back to doing Root Earth right after that. So give me about three minutes or so. BRB. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. All right, so I'm gonna check out my inventory real quick while we're waiting on him. Uh, Nathalia, just imagine venom or annihilation having regen and empathy. Oh, I can't imagine it, and I'm really hoping it doesn't come to pass. All right, so do I want to change anything here? I feel like no. I feel like I have the setup that I want. Although. Yeah, we'll use Tremor. The problem with Tremor is it has high mod requirement, so it doesn't come back easily. But it does have insane AoE. Technically, Song of Aethir is... Hmm, I guess that doesn't come back faster. Grab Shop. I never really use this thing. Venom could do the one... <laughs> Venom could be a one floaty prick. He causes me so much pain. Venom, Venom is rough, man. Thing about Venom is he has so many attacks. It's not like he has a couple attacks that can just destroy you. He has so many that it feels brutal. And he's got the spear thrust, the giant laser beams from the sky. He's got melee attacks, laser melee attacks. And he always does it in succession. He just keeps looping all that stuff. I wonder if Helix would be bad here. No, Helix wouldn't be good. You need explosion for Helix. Boar wouldn't be terrible. Eh. Problem with boar is it just... It doesn't last long enough. It really doesn't last long enough. And it's too hard to hit on bosses. Certain bosses. There are some bosses it's actually really good with. Do I want familiar? Nah. It's too many moves in his kit. I, yeah, he's definitely got more moves than almost any of the other enemies in the game. Almost all of them, yeah.
thing about Nightweaver is, yeah, Nightweaver's tough, especially with the roll we got. That was brutal. But Nightweaver doesn't have that many moves in her kit. She's got her first phase where she has, I think, let's see, she has her projectiles, the four that she could throw at you, right? She has the dark blue orbs, which she does not, she didn't do hardly at all today. I don't know what that was about. She only did it once. Weird. And then she has her second phase where she basically just grabs you or runs around and does her bug face. But it's not too bad. Blood Draw was working for Rick. Maybe double down on it. Yeah, I think Blood Draw was actually pretty crazy there. Not a bad idea to have two of them. This gun has just enough stagger to keep us going. Versus the other guns I've been using that just don't have stagger. Look at the... T this, I'm telling you, man. You can literally play tower defense in this game. It's awesome. I love it so much. Swap down a turret and hope that it does all the damage. You know what gun does suck? Can we talk about this for a second? Anybody enjoy this gun? A plasma cutter. Okay. I really like how this gun works. I like the idea behind this gun, and I like how it plays. The damage on it sucks. It sucks. It has the plus 75% weak spot damage bonus. You know what regular guns have? A hundred. A hundred. hundred and fifteen. A hundred. 105. This thing has so little weak spot damage. It just doesn't. It's bad. The range is bad, too. I agree, Jamal. The range is pretty rough on it. Only about 17 meters. It's a. It's more of a short, a kind of a mid-range gun. I really like it, how it plays, but it just doesn't have enough stuff. Like, it's ammo is its best part. It has a ton of ammo. But the fall-off range is too bad. The weak spot damage is horrible. It has zero stagger whatsoever. I feel like this is good. In... Crit, maybe? It only has five crit, though. Like, this thing has 115. I need to make the savior build. I forgot I was going to use that. 110. I mean, even Twisted Arbalest has 100 weak spot damage. You're never hitting weak spot with that thing. Let's see you do the exploit with it. I don't know. It just, it just feels like it's... I think they need to buff it. I think they need to bring it to 100. It doesn't doesn't match any of the other guns with only 75. That's personal opinion, though. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it does do good damage. Oh, my lucky day. Let's shoot how many bullets it has. Maybe it is okay with crit. I don't know. There we go, baby. Those are the damage numbers we've been looking for all day. A thousand. I'm telling you, we just haven't had the right bosses for it. We haven't had the right bosses for it. Now that we get to these guys, we're going to be outputting some stupid damage. I know there are some overheat rings, so maybe it's a matter of finding the right ring combo. I, that could be, too. The problem is, I did throw on an overheat ring. And if you do, it, it just doesn't overheat that fast. It really doesn't even overheat that fast, so I, I don't know. I feel like it's a tricky weapon. We could make it good, but it needs a lot of work done to it. Definitely ring combinations. You're going to have to work at it. The mod on it helps a little, but it's only covering for innate shortcomings. Yeah, definitely. That's the thing. I agree. I think it's actually good when it has its mod, but it's just covering up for how bad it is when it doesn't have its mod. And that's the problem. Especially since you can't take its mod off. Right? And make it do something interesting or different than it already does. Yeah, I should have I should have been using revolver the whole time. I don't know why I wasn't.
Fuck out of here. Melted. Melted. Anybody else? Anybody else want dead? Hoorah. Oh, dang, I get a shield now? He put on a medic. This dude be switching everything up. Twenty seconds till I have my overclock. I really love that we can shoot each other. It does nothing. It literally does nothing. It's awesome. Oh, pick that back up. Look, he aggroed the dog. And he got slow. Wow, this is this is abuse. This is abuse. That's what this is. It, the thing about this build is really the trouble is when you get to certain bosses that have tough of fixes. The ads are done. Like Root Earth is going to be probably easier than most of the game, just because. Our control of the game is so high. Our overall control is just very, very good. Mainly his, especially now that I put a tremor, my controls are a little bit better. But I think sticking with the dog and his attack damage is actually helping us quite a bit. How much of a damage boost is it anyway? It is a increase of 20% damage for all allies within 20 meters. Last 20 seconds. Yeah, that's a pretty solid boost. I, I think this build does work solo. You just need to switch up two rings. Really. Because the dog's already bleed. That's pretty much all you have to do. You'd have to take off this ring and this ring. And then it would work solo. Singed is probably not even the best option here. I think we could do better. Probably go for crit, maybe. Kari Warband. I actually might throw on a Kari Warband. It is stuttering bad right now. Kari Warband would actually be really good there. Way more crit. Using the guard dog now? Oh, awesome. You have a medic summoner ally, you go on autopilot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Tremor. Just spray and pray, dude. That's actually so much better. Because the way that I'm playing the game, I cannot revive. Like, turret is just not an easy way to revive. And so he can just get himself right back up with the dog. We have an audio glitch right now. Yeah, that is an audio glitch for sure. Luckily, we are at the end, because it's kind of annoying. You know what this area reminds me of? For those who uh, played Dark Souls 2, do you remember the lake area? This giant tree reminds me of that, kind of. Like, right before the lake, there's this kind of big tree area. I I don't know why. I don't even know if it looks that similar at all, but it reminds me of Dark Souls 2 area every single time. Okay, please get rid of this stupid sound. Oh, my word. Oh, it did not get rid of it, so we are fast traveling. Try and have a mana. Yeah, that place. Reminds me of that for some some reason. I don't know why. Okay, finally, dude. I don't know what that audio was. That was really weird.
have to say I did not enjoy it. I was not a fan. I have never seen this. I have never fast traveled to Root Earth. That is weird. Ow, I have no idea. That map layout looked very different from anything I'd ever seen. And now I know why. All right, this is going to be a really good boss to test this against. Like a really good boss. There you go. 1000 damage. Ah, I can't see anything. Fire damage be like, you're blind. Afraid of this guy? I'm not. He's scared of me. We're actually doing some really solid damage to this guy. I'd love to not be on fire, but hey, I'll take it. Four o'clock. That was too... There was no way I was touching that. It's a weird spot. Kurt's really good for killing all this stuff, too. Tremor's awesome, bro. It's killing all of the stupid weeds. First tried him. I knew it. I, this build is so perfect for this guy. I knew it was going to go that well. I didn't even get to see what affixes he had. Kind of a mind was Dark Souls 2. I was thinking of Dark Souls 1 Lake with the Hydra in it. Ah. I was thinking of Dark Souls 2, but I guess, yeah, the number one works, too. GG, thanks, Jamal. Yeah, that was a really solid... I, I'm i telling you, I had this in my head the whole time we've been playing the game, that Root Earth was going to be the easiest place. Because the turret really starts putting in work here, and statuses are so good for these guys. So good. Get more pipe bombs for another bleed stack? That's true. I could actually... I think I have some. I don't. I have these, though. There's actually a lot of throwable items. Problem is, the only time those are super useful is early game, and you can't use them early game because you have no freaking money. I'm using pipe bombs? Okay, you already use them. Gotcha. Let's do this area because I want to see how well it goes. This area sucks. This is the hardest area in the whole game, so let's see how well we can do. Kind of. I, honestly, it, it, when you find the right build, it's just so great, and this build... Both of them work so well together. So well together. I 
Like, he's got control. That's what he has. He has complete control over the battlefield, and then I have damage. But his damage isn't bad, either. It's not like he's doing nothing. He's doing good damage at the same time. Get wrecked. The crit numbers are so high, my dude. Look at that bleed crit. Yeah, I don't think Singed Ring is actually the best here. I'm thinking of switching to Akari Warband. Because we're not really getting a huge bonus because it's not always burning. Perfect dodges increase critical chance by 15% and critical damage. That's a 15% bump in damage versus a 10. Yeah, this is just better. Now the trouble is I haven't actually had to dodge. Because when you're playing a co-op, Sometimes the enemy's just not on you, and it comes into play. Ow. I don't even know what just hit us. I, I guess we got hit by the... Oh, there's a plant there. The guy blew up the plant and absolutely smacked us in the head. Maybe a mod ring? Mod ring couldn't... It wouldn't be a bad idea, but... The, the thing is, when I have my turret up, which is where my damage is, I'm not getting any use of it. There is an audio glitch here, and it is extremely frustrating. I think it went away. Look how slow he is. Yeah, look at that crit. Yeah, crit's our main damage. I think we want to play into that. Ah, oh, it's still doing it. Why? I missed both those shots. It looked really good. That looked really good. Okay. Look at this, a beast. Wow, that has more range than I thought it did. Alright, I'm not getting perfect dodges, so I don't think that's a good ring either. These things just don't die, do they? I don't know what's going on right now. Why is it doing that? I did it like three times. I don't think it's supposed to do more than twice. I'm being really stuttery right now. Really stuttery. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to switch off that ring. It's not benefiting me because aggro is weird. If aggro was only on me, it would be good. But since it's switching back and forth, it's not working. Let me see if I can fix this audio problem. Nope. I don't know what it is or why it's doing it, but it is extremely annoying. I think it's that effect right there or something. Just got locked onto my screen. Well, it wouldn't be my screen, obviously, but whatever. It won't go away unless we travel. Weird. There, finally. <laughs> It's one of the creatures. It's one of the creature effects. It's doing that. I don't know why. Ring of Crisis is a safety net. Let's take a look at our rings here in a second. We'll we'll check some some options out. There's some there's some stuff we could throw. On. Singed ring is basically the best option right now because if the enemy is burning, we're getting a huge damage bonus. You know. So, I may just want to go back to that, but... Plenty of other things that we could use. Better dodge. Increase range damage, we don't want to do that. Is there anything for skill cool? No, eh, skill cooldown. Like, I wish we had a ring that upped, like, skill damage. That'd be nice. The standard sound glitch? Gotcha. Okay, I'd never heard that one before. I was wondering what was going on. That's not that big a deal. We'll, we'll, we'll push through it. Definitely annoying, but that's okay. Just want to pop in and say thanks, because I'll be using your Root Doctor build for my co-op playthrough. Awesome, Northern Gears. Glad you enjoy that. I am glad you enjoy that. Thank you very much for uh, stopping in, man. Burden of Destroyer. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, actually, hold up. That's a good idea. Burden of Destroyer. Where's that at? That gives me an extra 15 damage, doesn't it? Yeah, 15% damage. What a good call on that one. 15% damage. That's better than Singed anyway. Nice call on that. Forgot about it. Sometimes, it, I use that ring constantly. Sometimes it's just easy to forget. Uh, what other utility ring? This wouldn't be bad because crit. We're getting so much of it, but it's not really great either. Statuses. We're not applying statuses anyway. Yeah, that's our best option. I like that. That should help us out quite a bit. Payron mod. Yeah, that one too. I don't know. I'm not really... That's not a bad idea either. Problem is, I would like to go into mods a little bit more, but they're just not... They're not as easy to access, especially when I have the turret going, so I've just been kind of using them when I can and staying away from it otherwise. Do Reload reload my gun. Oh hey, what you doing? Check out of here, buddy. Time for the fun part. Sends also the skill damage. Yeah. It does all damage is a thing. Problem is I'm not doing more than one set of damage at a time. I'm, if I'm have my turret active, I'm only doing skill damage. Crap, that is a lot of people. Get that mod going. 
I got some insane control over here, man. It's nuts. I don't know if he was on me or not, but... Nice. One down, one to go. Dang, that fire lasts a long time if you jump into it. Wouldn't recommend. <laughs> Both are ducks. There he is. Yeah, ads are nothing. We can just slow them. It did the sound glitch again. You gotta be kidding me. Why is it doing it every area? That's whack, bro. Whack. Don't appreciate it. Can't even get rid of it either because it's not music. I wish it was music and they could just turn music off. Oh well. What are you gonna do? I like how the visual effect on this when you overclock it just turns into absolute lasers. It's awesome. The other thing you gotta realize when using turrets is that if you're playing in co-op, or even solo play, the turrets shoot you in the back constantly. Very easy for them to do that. And since we're using Handler to downplay that, it's actually very, very good. Helping quite a bit. Should I just end it? I'm gonna end it all. Or wait, maybe it's good now. Ah, I'm gonna end it all. Here we go. Thought that glitch was just the normal area music? Uh, no, it's very annoying. It's definitely not normal. Definitely a glitch. I gotta get rid of it. I can't play with it. It's too distracting. I guarantee you it happens again in Venom Fight, though. I'm having hope that it doesn't happen in Venom Fight, but we'll see. We'll see. The chances are high, you know. I need to use a stamina potion. Or consumable. That is something I do need to do. I'm pretty happy with the build. Uh, it's worked out really well. A lot better than I expected. A lot better. I mean, we were testing it. I, I think what we'll do is when we beat Root Earth, we'll go back and do Yesha. And we'll get the Golem again so that we can do that co-op this time. Because we didn't get to do it co-op and show everybody. The, the Golem fight is so good in this build. It, it just gets wrecked instantly in co-op. It's crazy. I beat him, what, second, third try? I can't remember. What's the glitch doing? My son is loudly listening to Star Wars music, so I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Uh, it's creating, it's like, there's a data effect that does this weird, uh, like, rumbling sound, and it's just staying the entire time. It's very annoying. Gene learning that Root Earth has a map is hilarious to me. I had no idea. It's crazy. I mean, I guess I assumed it had a map, but... Get on me, punk. I'm the one you want to fight. Come over here! So I can punch you in the face. There we go. Switch to me, you son of a gun. <laughs> There's no way. What the freak, bro? I dodged that perfectly. It's because the uh, the turret doesn't have distance, and so I actually got stuck with it. I needed to dodge again. He has Hardy, though. Big surprise. Talk about getting wrecked. 
Okay, that's not what he usually does, but I appreciate that. See, that time I got out of it, so I didn't need to dodge again. Oh no, you threw a ball at me. What am I what am I gonna do but run? Get wrecked! Just start melting him. There's nothing I can do. He's spamming too much stuff over here. I can't dodge that because of the turret. I think maybe I'll just put it down. I'm not sure. It's just, it's not possible to dodge it with the turret. You can iframe through the damage, but then it sticks to you and you can't dodge fast enough. I'll have to put it down, I think. Yeah, Venom does have some decent ones. They're not horrible, though. They're not horrible. It's just that one thing. I need to be able to back... Maybe if I run towards him? Is running faster than the... I think it is, because the dodge with the turret's really slow. That might be the play. We'll see. We'll, we'll mess with it a little bit. These freaking uh, spear thingies. I don't know what you want to call them. It was really good timing on that heal. Why are they spawning so many of these? I've never seen this many spawn. They are goofing me up big time. This dude would chill out. For like a second. Oh, he wasn't on me. I feel like acid rounds make the screen a little hard to see anything on. Yeah, they're spawning more because of co-op. That would be why. He spawns so many of those things and he does this phase, crazy. attack right there. I gotta get out of this. Yeah, him and he's spawning a lot more of those in co-op and it is kind of brutal. Oh, he got up. Nice. I didn't see that. Going all the way around. Ooh. The risk, and I'm going to take it anyway. He's right behind me. That's terrifying. Right. 
Yeah, dude. If I can get his weak spot, I can do so much damage. He likes to turn around, though, a lot. Has to specify hopping, not evading. <laughs> Turret evade is different thing to normal evade, so I want to say it wouldn't apply. Fair enough. Don't have one of the amulets. You can let have the shadow step dodge. Ah, that's what we're talking about. Okay, I do. I have a bunch of them. Um, I don't know if it works with turret, but I also have to wear the amulet that I'm wearing, so I can't wear it. The amulet I'm wearing gives me so much crit that that's what allows me to do the damage I'm doing. Thanks for GG's, Jamal. Yeah, that's a pretty a pretty tough one there. We got really lucky on the fixes, though. Those weren't bad. I don't know what drain does, actually. I thought it drained your life, but I've never seen it drain my life at all, so... This is the real test, though. This is where, this is where we really see if we can deal some damage, or if we can't. Those are both options. But you know what I am doing? Song of the Fear, because the only thing we can kill those orbs. And if Hadriel happens to die, I need to be able to kill the orbs. It does not work with turret. Okay, I figured it didn't. It wouldn't make sense for it to, because yeah, it's just a completely different thing. Drain is regen when you get hit. Oh, I see. The life steal? Gotcha. Do so you actually have to get hit for it to work? Oh, I have, I have plenty of ammo boxes, trust me. I never leave home without like 50 of them. Yeah, I have 73. Uh, no, we're not gonna end here. We got more stuff we got planned. We're gonna we're gonna go do Yasha for sure, and then we're gonna maybe mess with uh, a couple build ideas. What, what has happened? Oh, he's too far back. Party and regenerator, bro. No way. It's the worst two affixes. Oh, it's not actually that bad. It's not the worst, but it's pretty bad. Not great, guys. Not great. My damage is crazy! Oh, we got this. Latency's really bad for him, just a heads up. They did modify this fight a little bit to give you more time to do that. Saving my turret for second phase. It's gonna be really good there. Oh, he got you. Okay. There we go. Second phase. It's really hard to get out of. Can't duck with the turret. That's unfortunate.
Alright, take Relic. Yeah, he's taking way less damage now. Second phase is brutal. Way too early. Don't know what I was thinking. Not a good place for me to be. So hard to hit all those. Look, I can't freaking hit up. Thanks. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I got data corruption. I don't know what that does. Hardy is literally the worst to fix for this guy. No joke. Hardy is seriously awful for this dude. He gets so much more damage. Or health. I'm allowed to do damage. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. That was awesome. We are outputting some really good damage there. Really good damage. You know, I've never died in this part. I wonder if you have to redo the whole battle. That would really suck. That was awesome. I mean, that's one of the best... The best runs of that boss that I've ever had. Definitely the best for co-op. By far. That fight sucks in co-op, and that was way better. That latency? Yeah, no, I, I'm fully aware, dude. I'm fully aware. It's brutal for you. Like, there's no way. There's no way. It's brutal for you, for the, the latency. That was amazing. I love it. That's crazy. That was really nice. Really, really nice. Yeah, his regen and more health is definitely not great. Definitely not great at fixes. At least he didn't have the one where he insta-kills you, though. That's that's pretty bad, too. There we go, baby. That's That was a good run. I like the setup we have here. I think all these rings... This This was the big thing. The burden of the destroyer was the big change that we made. And the other big change is the silverback. The silverback allows you to stagger the enemies that you cannot stagger with this thing. It's kind of the perfect setup for that. And then we're going to run Tremor as our support. To keep enemies off of us when we're trying to reset up and stuff, you know? That was awesome. I love it. That was great. Definitely one of the better runs we did. I think the king would have been way easier than the... Uh, what's her face? Nightweaver. Nightweaver was kind of just a bad boss to get. She was just a bad boss to get. For this setup. 
It looked like a Brotherhood of Steel paladin with that armor setup. It looks awesome, doesn't it? I really like it. I was surprised by how like a how much I enjoyed using it. All right, now we're gonna go do Yasha because we didn't get to co-op through Yasha, and I really, really want to because I want to I want to show off how just crazy this could be. Also, if we get Kaula again, that'd be awesome. I would really like that. I got Kaula this time. If you get the the stupid disc thing, it's it's horrible. It, it just <laughs> this build doesn't doesn't finish it off. Uh, we don't want Ravager, although we could test it against Ravager again if because we never did that the other day either. As far as I could tell, I don't think we could change anything. I think we had the perfect setup here. I like that he switched over to Medic. I think Medic is pretty great here since we're running co-op. It lets him get healed and then, you know, get healed by the dog if he gets downed or heal both of us if we need it with the Medic skill. I, I think it's a great pairing. Great pairing. Also, I think you get more damage. Yeah, should get more damage instead of using Engineer. Medic should just be better uh, for the statuses. Like just melt them. That's the other thing about this build. Look how fast I, I have on this skill in particular, this trait, Flashcaster. Because one thing about engineering that I noticed is that plopping down the turret, carry like activating the turret or putting it away is a huge part of your gameplay. And if it's slow, you're going to die. Not all the time, but you're going to die more often. You're going to make more mistakes. And so I wanted to minimize that as much as possible. Just boom. Use flash caster. You're good. Just pop everything instantly. I think it works really well. I do need to use a consumable though. You run the Leto 2 chest and hands with any regular head or leg piece. You can cosplay as gear from Gears of War. Ooh, that's cool. Leto, Leto 2 chest and Leto 1 chest both look really awesome. I like both their chest plates. This is my favorite set right here, though. This, uh, what's it called? The Red... Red Widow. It looks awesome. I love it. Yeah, you have an exploding heart build, for sure. For sure. Yeah, I just want to do Yasha at least. We'll do the exploding heart thing after that. That sounds fun. I should be able to set it up too now. I have it. Oh, we can both do it. We could use it on bosses and see how well we can stagger them. That's what we can do. Because if we're both using it, that could get kind of crazy. See, that's the thing. This is the thing. The only reason that the hero sword is better as a sword for applying for deceit builds, specifically deceit, right? Some people like to use the Krell Axe. I think Krell Axe is worse. One reason being, if you're coming out of a running animation, the axe will not throw. No matter what you do. It always melees. Versus the hero sword that doesn't do that. I'm pretty sure the hero sword doesn't, if I remember correctly. I need to test that again. I just found Krell Axe to be slightly less efficient for the. Yeah, we're just blasting our way through, man. Stagger them in before unstoppable fix. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a fun one, right? Some of them have fixed. It's really funny to just make a build and then go and be like, "Oh, I'm gonna test this," and you get the one boss that has the one affix that you can't use. I still think Shahala is the worst about that. Shahala with the wrong affixes is the hardest boss in the game. Carry any more of that? By far. By far. Because no matter what affix you get on him, he's hard. No matter what a fix you get on him, he's hard. 
But if you get the wrong ones, it is brutally, brutally hard. Especially Spiteful. Dude, you did not want to get Spiteful because you get halfway through the fight. Because this fight takes a long time no matter what. So you get halfway through and then all of a sudden anything that touches you just delete you. Stick by Venom being the worst. Venom is pretty rough. I, I, I don't disagree with anyone thinking that he's the worst for them. Venom is pretty bad. Venom for me though... I actually started to get a lot better at his fight when I tried to stay up close against him. When I did my Scorpion build playthrough where I was testing that stuff, I actually fought him pretty... Okay, really? They just showed up. How'd he shoot already? I fought him pretty well because if you stay up close, you can kind of control what he does a little bit better. I had no ammo in my gun. <laughs> I was basically useless to my teammate. Yeah, the revive is fantastic. I really like that. It helps the flow of battle so much because you don't have to go and, and do that. That one thing, like if I had that annihilation, that would have been super helpful. I wouldn't have ever had to stop doing damage. I could have just been like, okay, dog, go do it for me. Pretty cool. I bet you we get to us a chantry. I bet you we do just because we don't want it. That's what usually happens. That is what usually happens. Oh, Paxotec. Oh, no, 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 no. Very interesting story, buddy. I also think that if you're running the turret, you kind of have to wear engineer gauntlets because they look so darn good with it. What do we get in here? So you get two of his puddles on top of each other and they stack. Dang it. I got melted before I could react. Yeah, that one's that one's tough. That one's tough. For sure. Of course we got Twisted Chandra. It's, it's do you switch main classes often? Uh, what's up, the king? Usually what I do is I do a full playthrough of one specific build setup, and that build setup has a prime okay, class that I don't change. So, for me, not necessarily, but I'm trying to create builds constantly. So I don't... I want to see what kind of damage or survivability a certain prime class has. Um, if I was doing a full run, there are certain bosses that are just easier with certain prime classes. So, yeah, maybe I'd switch more than... Like, Archon. Archon is definitely the best for this fight here. Just spam mods. Really good for this boss. Uh, but I like to play with a different main, or main prime class for all of them. The only one that I'm not 100% enjoying as prime is Alchemist. Because concoctions really aren't that strong. They're good. They're good. But they're not nearly as strong as a engineer with just 50% more skill damage. Like that alone makes it better than alchemists right off the bat. Depending on what you're doing, of course, but I did make a alchemist primary class build already, so I don't really have to go back to it. Although Alchemist's last skill does have me intrigued. I'm very excited to mess with that and see what I can create with it. Basically, it just makes you immune to death for a one hit. Which is kind of a cool idea. Which means you could technically get three of those. Challenger plus the... Challenger plus Alchemist plus the Cat Ring. Like, that's kind of cool.
Invader Prime also doesn't feel as strong. Invader Prime definitely doesn't feel as strong. But the reason that I think Invader Prime is fine as is, is because that class is so strong as a secondary support class. And you can make it good as a prime class. It's just really tricky. You gotta mess around with a lot more stuff. You gotta be way more creative with Invader. That's kind of how Invader works in general. Is, yeah, you can use its first skill to just generally be really good. And not take damage. But overall, you gotta be very creative with how you set that class up. Other than the teleport. I mean, the teleport gives 300% more damage, so you can literally just say, hey, I'm going to do a bunch of damage, and that's all I want to do in one shot. But even that, I mean... The third skill is the one you got to watch for. The third skill. The first two are actually very usable. It's this, the third skill you got to watch for. All the passives are just... Eh. That's why the Prime class isn't great. It's, it's passives is just like, eh. More damage. I think maybe they need to give a damage buff. Or maybe make the damage buff last longer. To the prime perk, possibly. Doesn't last very long. My prime is medic, and I hate how my traits get mixed around. Yeah, I don't blame you. I really don't. Uh, messing with the traits is kind of annoying, for sure. Whenever we hopefully get loadouts, we'll have to worry about it. I think Alchemist flushes out other classes with concoctions, strengthens what the other classes do. Yeah, that's kind of what you use it as. It's a very good support class for Everyone other classes. Okay. Uh, you just gotta, you know, you gotta pair it better than other ones. We have shocking? I freaking hate shocking. Shocking is one of the worst of fixes that these guys can get. I don't know why, it's just very annoying. There's a bunch of guys. Oh, he died. What? What the heck am I supposed to do? There's two of them, and they both they they both spun bladed me. What is that? What just happened? They just both turned into whirlwinds and wrecked me. That was nutty. Four buffs for two hours is very strong. It is. It's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. It's nice to have. There's kind of no reason to run Alchemist at all until patch it out. You could just apply all the concoctions and switch off. Don't lose them. That actually doesn't work 100% of the time. Uh, but I agree with you. I think it's still working on... I don't think it works on PC anymore. I've tried it a couple of times. If it does work, maybe you have to wait a couple seconds to switch still. <laughs> they just destroyed me. Got downed in the deep water. Oh. Gotcha. There's a bug where if you have Alchemist's Prime, get your buffs, die and swap, you'll keep the four buffs active. See, I had that buff before... Or that bug before. I've had it happen. But I've never had it happen since. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know. Got a big one coming our way. Yeah, I freaking love that medic shield. That is awesome. So much better for just supporting your team. It doesn't last that long is the only problem. I just feel like we're in an all-out war, <laughs> you know? He's spraying elements everywhere. I'm blasting with my machine gun. It's pretty cool. I like the setup. It's it's a lot of fun. It's going to be interesting against this boss. It sucked last night when we tried it. Because we tested it against the Yeshu. And it was not great here. Mainly because it just doesn't take damage unless he's open and shooting you. So. Medic Shield is probably one of my favorite skills in the game. I'd agree. I would 100% agree with that statement. Medic Shield is very, very useful and strong. It does not last that long. 
but whatever, you know, it gives you just enough to survive a hit, usually. It also, the other advantage of it is that it's a heal that you don't need to stop for. You know, you don't have to do, oh, I'm not doing anything right now. You do it, just go, boom, I got a heal, I'm moving on. A very, very quick heal. Where's the thing at? We're just, it's over here, I think. I want to do that again. I want to kill that guy. I need those items. I would definitely rank this amulet as the number one amulet in the game. Like, because crit's so good, this amulet just outclasses everything. It's hard to use, is the thing. You can't use it with every build. Because some guns don't crit as often, or... You know, you don't always want to be using the bleed mutator, or stuff like that, but... It, because the bleed mutator exists, and it's so easy to put bleed on everything, it becomes such a good... Such a good amulet. That's the problem with Ravager's Mark, is this one's just better. Because crit's, crit's better, overall. Even with a 50% bump of damage, I think the crit still... How does it? Kind of crazy. I don't know if it's actually faster. I think it's only faster with the knuckles. It's slightly faster. Eh, it's about the same. This guy, this guy walked straight by me just to kill our dogs. It's very disrespectful. Can't hit his weak spot. Dang it, this lightning is annoying. Keeps hitting me, I can't see it. You got max cooldown reduction with hydro hydrogen core, it's kind of fire. I could see that actually. You know what? Maybe that's what I need. Maybe that's what I need to pair with my other gunslinger build. Just get two of those at a time. The potential there is pretty high. I like that idea. Maybe run Challenger instead. Do Challenger Gunslinger. Use both skills that come back quickly. Double the usage. You could have four skills for Challenger. Are you kidding me? That'd be crazy. Up your skill damage. And the cooldown. That would be a cool way to play. I love the Tommy gun. This thing's amazing. It just puts out so many bullets so quickly. <laughs> I need to stop standing in the fire. It's not really the most genius idea. But... Yes, Tremor, do all the work for me. Oh, we made it already. Nice. We did it. <laughs> of course. There's always one person that can't sit down. Well, then there was an immolate style buff in here, like in Dragon's Dogma. Ooh, that would be cool. Like, just run around enemies and burn them to death. That needs to be a melee ability. Or something like that. That way you could try and melee up close and get fire damage. Intriguing idea. 
Here we go. Thick skin and drain. All right, I thought I had teammates keeping these off of me, okay? I was trying to do all the damage. What are we doing back here? This guy. Shh. Think your free revive makes up for that? <laughs> Doesn't. All right. I expect more. <laughs> Fire Tune is just the best thing for this boss, like, no matter what. Other than my other build, it was pretty good for this. Coughing. Okay, I can't can't revive him in there apparently. The root rod be getting to me. My turret is down, isn't it? Yay, status effects. Watching us. Oh, 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 nicely done. Godfire said they have three planes so far. Ah, DLCs? Yeah, three of them so far. Three total DLCs. If anybody bought the pre order, you already. Purchased them, which is awesome. I love that deal. 70 bucks for a game and three DLCs is a good deal. One try Legion? Yeah. Yeah, the Tranquil Heart's awesome, zoned out. What's up, man? Tranquil Heart is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The biggest advantage of Tranquil Heart is the fact that for empathy based bosses, you can still get some healing. And if you pair it with Medic's perk, you just heal so much faster. Pair it up with healing effectiveness? Ooh, that's even better. Right, the far woods. What do we got here? I was really hoping we get the other boss, because the other boss is so much better, but whatever. Let's look for the other boss. There's a side dungeon that has a boss in it. Let's look for it, because I actually want to try and find it. I don't want to just skip straight to the boss. The final boss, I mean. Ah, uh, what's up, Smoky Ninja? I made the mistake of buying the regular version and not the deluxe. Ah, oh, that sucks. No more room. Yeah, I remember them saying they were going to give us the DLCs with the deluxe, and I was like, what? I got to get the deluxe, man. But if you didn't know about that, you know, you really should never buy deluxe for most games. This was one of the very few instances where it was actually worth it. Most games be like, you buy the deluxe, get a get a skin for your character. Ha ha ha. Like, uh no. No, thank you. Oh, this is my first remnant game? Oh cool. Yeah, so you didn't really know what to expect, right? No, that's awesome. Yeah, we, we've seen a lot of people at their first Remnant game. Which is really cool. Really, really cool. It'll be interesting to see people go from Remnant 2 and be like, Oh, I want to play the first one. And then what they think of the first one. Because Remnant 2 is definitely better. 
it's definitely better. There's way better build customization. There's a lot more options for you. Uh, it's just better overall. We're going to do this. <laughs> it's just better overall. The first game is very good, though. And some of the builds in the first game are just so freaking cool. Like the flop build, there's no way to get around that. That's an awesome build. Oh, all right, I see how it is. That was rude. Why, just waiting for DLC? Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. All right, don't know where we're all coming from. I think it's because all of the enemies on the left side aggro for some reason, and they don't really have a reason to do that, but they do. Huh. That is the most of them I've ever seen. What the heck? There was three of them. That's crazy. Alright, you ready? I'm gonna make him mad by shooting this thing. No, not shooting yet! I was ready! What are you doing? Fair enough. damage, boys. Okay. All out war over here. Dang it. They spawned in the second wave of enemies too fast. Because we did too much damage. I want to know how that grabbed me from that far away. wreck this thing. Look at that. That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> Hopefully they have like a $25 season pass deal or something. I'm sure they won't do anything too crazy with it. We'll see though. Uh, what's up, Mabu? Never finished a Souls-like? Gears most I played and don't like looter shooters except Borderlands, but Remnant 2 is certainly my game of the year. Awesome. Oh, full. Nice. That's good to hear. Yeah, no, Remnant from the Ashes uh, was amazing. And Remnant 2 just massively improved upon it. So it's nice to see everybody really loving it. It's not really a... It's got a different feel from Souls Likes, you know? Because it's got a very different... The random generated loot is... Not loot, but areas kind of changes things up quite a bit. Wish more shooters would come out. The L3 was a big letdown. Division 2 got abandoned. What's BL3? I'm sure I would recognize it if... if uh, I, I just can't think of what the thing is for. I'm thinking of Diablo. Is <laughs> that's the only game I'm thinking of? Borderlands Three. Oh, okay. I thought we were talking about something current. I got you. I played Tiny Tina's Wonderland. That was like after Borderlands Three. I thought it was okay. It was kind of fun. I never finished it. It was fun though. I enjoyed it. Board land three. <laughs> DL two always be better simply because of the tiny Tina DLC. D four is pretty much dead. Blizzard didn't know what to do. Yet yeah, Blizzard, Blizzard's in a downfall. That's the truth. We've all known this for years, but it's really hitting them hard right now. Look at the state of Overwatch two. 
I don't play Overwatch. I never played Overwatch. I don't enjoy games like that. Uh, but I did... I do keep up to date on it because there's some people that play it that I watch it every once in a while. It's hilarious just to listen to them talk about it. It's sad because Blizzard had some great games. World of Warcraft. Starcraft 2 will always be one of my favorite RTS games. And they're just, they're too big of a corporation now. It, it does not matter what they do. They have to care about money. They have to. They're too big of a corporation. Yeah, let's try this door. I bet you this is extra. The other two, the writing was amazing. That, that's the unfortunate truth is that once you're that big, you have to only care about money because you're so big. You need it to stay alive. I think Gearbox messed up because they wrote a near-perfect villain in BL2. Jack and Calypso twins are just bleh. But yeah, having a good villain is very important for sure. Remnant, Elden Ring, Tiny Tina's Wonderland was different, but I felt they didn't nail the guns. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do this one. I want to do this. Tiny Tina's Wonderland was... I, it was a, kind of the first Borderlands I played. Like, I started three, didn't get very far into it. I thought the abilities were cool. It was really the only thing. Shrewd should die fast, I would assume. I was hoping for the other one, but Shrewd's fine. Root Mother would have been much more... Mm, interesting. <laughs> we'll say that. How? That thing curved behind me and hit me in the back. Gotta love the flyers. God, I love the flyers. I'm actually pretty happy with Gunfire. They, they did a really good job with this game. No monetization crap, and other than some very minor dialogue at the very beginning of the game that was stupid and shouldn't have been included, uh, it didn't have any crap in it, like, you know, just political garbage. And really, that's the big thing now. You, you just gotta watch for that, because so many games have stupid garbage in it for no reason. Political messages that they shouldn't have, and... Just want to have fun playing the game, you know, and it, it, that's what this game lets you do. You can go in and out of combat constantly. I do like that there's not forced dialogue either. That's the other big thing is when you're playing the Souls games, what's the biggest advantage of the Souls games is that after the first time you beat it, you don't have to do any dialogue. None. You don't have to the first time if you don't want. You can just play the game and Remnant has always done a very good job of that is just having you be able to Continue the loop. Continue the gameplay loop. Keep going. What they say about that? It was that Halo dev that said that. It's like the have two minutes of really good gameplay and then just have that over and over, something like that. Can't remember. Yeah, the old white guy. Yeah, it, it's just stupid dialogue. It's stupid dialogue. Like, why did they include that? Who knows? It doesn't even affect anything. It was just pointless. I switch primary arc and respec my trace. Will my trace be my old primary? Stay saved like a loadout. Uh, whenever you switch, it will take all of the traits out of your primary class and subclass traits, and it'll take it out of those, and then it'll put it. It'll just give those back to you. Then you have to put those into something else. It'll save all your other traits though. So like anything that you have and just like extra health and all that stuff, when you switch. Uh, classes, it'll, it'll give you, keep those, you don't have to reset all those anyway. A little bit easier to do an orb of undoing, which resets everything, so you have to redo it all. Even if you don't feel like watching the dialogue scene the first time, you can watch it during an adventure or campaign reroll. Exactly. Yeah. If you just want to play the game, and other times you want to chill and get some story, you can do it all over again and get the story. And it's kind of like Dark Souls in a way where there's a lot of lore around the world that you can, you know, 
data pads, especially in Nerud. Nerud has a lot of data pads. Obviously, it's not nearly as fleshed out as Souls games because those are very fleshed out. The freedom to do what you want, you know? Pretty great. Pretty great. They actually did a better job of that than they did in the first one, which the first one they did a good job of that too, but in the first one, if you did Earth, if you re-rolled the campaign, you had to go through the Labyrinth. And the difference between the Labyrinth in this game and that game is that in that game, there was nothing to do in the Labyrinth. It was story-based. Other than finding the, the, uh, what was it? The Labyrinth armor, which, but that was a later game. You couldn't even do that at first. Which it was still cool. It was just you couldn't avoid that. So after you ran the campaign like eight times, you're like, okay, we'll just run through this. Waste of, waste of space, you know? Beam rifle is awesome in the first I, Everybody loves it. If you bring up any gun from the first game, everybody's like, ah, the beam rifle. <laughs> yeah, Earth Labyrinth, ROM, Corsus, yeah, shit. Yep. I love Corsus. Corsus was definitely the best for me. The one pan who's stuck to the root nexus with the 30 minute dialogue. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. We should have a really good setup for this fight. Like, really good. Quite have my thing back. That's fine, though. I should have used Tommy Gun. I don't know why I didn't do that. Regenerator and Drain. Drain becomes more of a problem the more minions you have because they'll hit your minions and then life steal. It's a really fun fight, actually. Yeah, actually switching aggro pretty well. Yeah, that was easy. Easy mode, man. Easy mode. That was a good fight. Good overall fight. I don't like that. What's up with nightmare mode? I feel like that's not necessary. I'm not trying to lose my character forever. Oh, you mean hardcore mode? <laughs> Hardcore mode? Yeah. Uh, it's tough. It's tough. It offers an interesting challenge. Usually you do like hardcore veteran. It's not too bad. It was in the labyrinth. I was underwhelmed with the beam rifle. Love the hunting rifle and typewriter though. Nothing else I got really seemed as good. Well, the beam rifle was actually in the ROM. Uh, it's in one of the ROM caves. You need to go all the way back over here. 
Was there another gun that we're thinking of? That was in Labyrinth? Gotta take a look. Okay. Get you in a bit. Rook. I'm trying to think. I'm I'm no, I'm 100% sure beam rifles from ROM. But I'm trying to think if there's another weapon that looks similar to it. What's this way? It's gotta be extra, right? Because I'm thinking right here. Yeah, that's got to be the door. I feel like we're not even using relics that much. It's kind of awesome. Seriously, dear. He's trying to go all the way back over there. What a punk. I was definitely right. I got mixed up. Yeah, I was. it's it's all good. I just tried to figure out which one, <laughs> if there was anything in the labyrinth. That had me confused for a sec. I remember because that dungeon to get it was kind of annoying. <laughs> I, I remember very clearly. I've done it many times. Many times. Telling you, I love this gun. I think anyone who has not used the revolver is definitely missing out. This is easily one of the best secondary weapons. Its lack of ammo is its only problem. That's it. It's the only problem. It's so good otherwise. Okay. Got great utility and high damage. Ah, uh, yeah, adds is just additional Thanks. enemies. So, like, little minions would be adds. Or in a boss fight, you have adds, which would be the... A anything extra on a boss fight is pretty much considered an ad. I got all this stuff going on. I still can't deal with minions or uh, the little dudes as well. A lesser man would have died. <laughs> Stand by. I'm glad that's over. Yeah, let go of the double barrel shotgun. Oh, double barrel hits nice. I'm not gonna lie. Double barrel hits nice. Doesn't have a wide enough ammo for me. Uh, but you gotta run gunslinger. Oh, I have to run gunslinger if I run it, but it's pretty fun. Does AOE size multiplier work on heal bubble size? Also, does it up the meter of certain moves? Like, I'd say 21 plus meters. Uh, heal bubble mean the heel like thing it puts on the ground the heel circle i think so this is definitely the main one right i'm not 100 percent on that one i know it does up archon's bubble archon has a bubble ability it'll up that has to be the right thing right we'll clear more up heel bubble oh heel bubble mod Healing shot. No. Uh, it's not actually an AoE. It is a... It's an orb. And then the orb... The orb does explode when you go over it, though. Explodes on contact. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. It doesn't matter, though, because it only blows up when he... Like, your buddy touches it. 
So they have to touch it first anyway, so I don't think that really helps that much. I think the answer is yes, it does, but it's it's not really useful. If that makes sense. Usually run refunder, but the engineer refreshes the ammo. Yeah, dude, I love engineer so much. All right, there's nothing up here. I need to go back this way. I need to double double check this back end over here. If I can need to squeeze another R1 playthrough in before getting R2, as I know there's a bunch of stuff I haven't gotten yet. There, pro yeah, there definitely is. No, there definitely is. Uh, do you have the labyrinth armor, David? If you don't have labyrinth, you probably don't. There's no way to get it without a guide. Because you would never know. You would never know how to get it. Um, that would be something to go for. I don't know if you can get that in one run. You may need to do several adventures or something, but that is by far my favorite armor set. It's really, really cool. Um, especially because mods in Remnant 1 were way more powerful. Darn. The wrong one. They were way more powerful. Unless someone opens the door. That's, that's true, too. That's true, too. They just, because you didn't have all these rings and things, they were just generally more powerful. We gotta teleport to Root Nexus, because that's where the thing is. Think, where's the door at? Closer to this. So if I try using AoE trait, what would that be good with? Uh, a lot of different things. So it's good with Song of the Fear, if you have that. It's one of the better mods in the game. It's really good with that one. Good with Archon for the bubble. Good with anything that explodes. Anything that explodes. Uh, guns like Meridian, the Hellfire SMG. AoE works with the Firestorm. Makes Firestorm huge. It's going to work with Tremor. AoE is very good with Tremor. Very, very good with Tremor. It basically covers the entire arena. Uh, those would be the big ones. Tremor, Song of a Fear, Firestorm. I imagine it affects Scrapshot, but who's using Scrapshot? I don't think it's a bad mod, but I just who's using it? I, I don't know. I think this is where we need to go. We need to go behind this door right here. Does it affect Skewer? I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely this way. Oh, yeah, right here. Two pieces of lab, one cultist. That's why I ran an R1. That's, that's fair. I ran all three lab, and I just... had high mod regen for whatever reason. I can't remember. But yeah, it was awesome. Works with exploding heart. Oh yeah, it does work with exploding heart too, doesn't it? Basically anything that explodes or has a massive AoE, it's going to work with. Because you want to lay it as a trap on the ground? Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, it's Indari's End. Okay, so Skew. I, I see what you mean. Yeah, I never use Skewer that much, so that makes sense now. This is another side dungeon. Where the heck is the main one? I am all turned around now. That's the last... Ooh, there's one more, I think. There's one more path. That's cool, though, Jamal. I might need to try Skewer out a little bit. Skewer has potential to crit, though. That's the thing. That's the really good advantage of it. I might need to set it up at that. Because it hits, like, 15 times or something, doesn't it? Hmm... Aha! Uh -huh. There it is, right there. That is a lot to go through. Eh, we'll suck it up and do it anyway. That's it. I don't know how we pass that, but whatever. Time warp mutator strong. Oh, is that the one that adds slow? I would assume. Generally, all the mutators have some some utility, which is cool. I don't know if every single one of them is amazing, but generally all of them are somewhat useful. 
The bleed one's just overall good because, I mean, who doesn't want a little bit of bleeding? But also, it works in tandem with a lot of other items and things like that. In Remnant from the Ashes, there was not an easy way to apply bleed. That's one of the biggest differences there, is that it was actually somewhat difficult to apply bleed unless you used, like, two or three items, I think. You had the Devastator, and you had the Knives. Those are two. I think there was one more. But the difference also being that bleed was way stronger. I think status effects in general were heavily nerfed in this game. Not in a bad way either. They were just they were just the, kind of the main source of damage in the first one. It seemed like, although it's been a while since I played, so I don't really know for sure about that one. But statuses definitely seemed like they were way more powerful. Yes and yes, yeah. Trying to use feedback loop mutator, but I don't truly understand how to use it. Well, allow me to help you out there because I love that thing. I'm just spraying. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm shooting. Alright. Feedback mod. Or mutator. Using this weapon's mod generates 20% of single charge value as passive mod power for 10 seconds. Mod damage generates 10% of damage dealt as mod power. You want a simple explanation for what this does? It gives you your mod power back. Faster. So, essentially, you would use it on a gun that you want your mod more often. Right? Uh, in my build that I'm going to post tomorrow, I used it with Helix. Because Helix has a low mod power requirement, and using it with that mod allows it to come back really quickly. But it also means that you don't have to deal damage to get a little bit of mod power back, and also makes it so if you're doing a bunch of damage, you get it back instantly. So, it kind of... It's, it's similar to... Uh, what would you, it's like a cycle. Essentially, it just makes it so your own mod regens itself, is really what it does. It's actually very, very strong. Usually, you go with Harmonizer, because Harmonizer provides 20% damage, which is just, in general, damage is, you know, better, sort of. Um, but for particular mods, Feedback Loop is, is definitely going to be really good. And using feedback loop on one weapon and then harmonizer on the other is really powerful. Because they kind of feed off of each other. Because I think... Let me go check. I'm not 100%, but I'm 90% sure harmonizer does... Generate 25% additional mod power for stowed weapons. So if you put this on, say, your primary gun, and then you put this on your secondary gun, you will be generating a massive amount of mod power for your secondary weapon. So, it makes it so that if you have a primary gun that can spam mods often enough, then you can spam both of them without any, you know, pretty much any mod that you want. Really good with Song of Ifir, uh, so you can use it more often. Helix, I'm telling you, Helix, it's amazing with, but uh, unfortunately, Helix sucks unless you use uh, Explosion Build. Because it needs that amulet to really buff it. Or Critical, it has good Critical, too. But I think if you want to go for critical without explosion, you're probably better off going skewer. Skewer would... Skewer hits more often, I think. I'm just not a big fan of skewer. I don't, I don't know the heck I like how it works or looks or anything like that. It is good, though. Kind of a more tricky mod to get used to using. I was using it at the beginning with healing shot, but it didn't seem like it was doing much. I have to level it. Well, here's the other thing. You don't want to use it with healing shot. At level one, if you don't have the mutator maxed out, it's fine. You can use it on any gun. 
or with any mod. But if you do have it maxed out, that maxed out trait, make sure that when you deal damage, you get it back. So you want a mod that actually deals damage uh, to get the most effect out of that. It is something that can be used with other mods too, so don't think you can't use it. It's just, it's definitely set up so that with your when you're dealing damage with only mods, it's going to be like looping itself. Rotted Arrow with Meridian. Yeah, that's a great way to go. Rotted Arrow's got three charges, so it regens itself over and over. I really like that one, actually. I just have not found a build that I like it with. You can get it to work that well. Try to get cocky. It's not working. <laughs> well, now we're both dead. This is so cool. If he dies, his dog can res me. I can't believe that's the mechanic they included. That's awesome. I fell through the floor. <laughs> that's awesome. So it's a good default mutator with any mod, but a level 10, it works great with damage mods. Yes. Yes. I can't believe the dog revives. Like, that is awesome. Even when your other player is dead, he's just, I'm still here, so like I might as well do something. That's really interesting. It actually makes it so that if you go down more often, you're still useful in combat. Like, if you know you're a bad player, right? If you just know you're not going to play well against a certain enemy, it's still great. Be back on Nightfall. I don't know how that works because I'm not sure if that's considered mod damage. Uh, I'm not actually 100% on those either. Like Nightfall and the Plasma. I think it's considered mod damage. It does not? Oh, okay. So it's not considered mod damage. Gotcha. <laughs> Dog Prime perk's kind of crazy. It is kind of crazy. I think it would be too overpowered if it counted as a mod. These are more... I think they're supposed to be more utility mods than anything else. They just buff your gun damage. That's why when I was running Archon, this sucked. Because it didn't do anything. So, okay. It seems like you cannot. Alright. We good. Does Tremor work here? Tremor might not. <laughs> the dog is king. Dog is the best. <laughs> new, new best class, guys. It's the dog. Dog is amazing. Well, he is not taking any damage. I don't have my uh, turret. I need to save my turrets while I'm not. Holy cow, is he going to do that for 30 minutes? What the heck, bro? He has hardy and thick skin. Bro, these affixes today have been brutal. That's not good. I moved him. I moved him. I saved your freaking life. I'm gonna kill myself though, that's... <laughs> oh, I saved him and I killed myself. <laughs> I tried really hard to get over here so he wouldn't laser you. Uh, almost worked. Is it cooldown reduction on some of your revive skills? You might keep the team alive at all times? Yeah, that's kind of cool. 
Got slapped. Darn. I thought I saved you, man. I really tried hard. I should just I should just let you die. That's what I should have done. <laughs> I should just let you die. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Do it as a tank. How come sometimes you can hit his weak spot and then other times you just can't? When he's not even open. Sometimes you can when he's closed up. It's weird. Alright, if you can keep the butterflies off of me, that would be great. Okay, you're doing a terrible job. Thank you. <laughs> I did it again. I'm a machine. All right, I failed. I'm trying to figure out what the heck is going on right now. This is different in co-op because they're not all on me. Oh, you can kill him during that. That's cool. Really? You're going to stomp on me? You have no arms, bro. Get your arms back. Why? He's gonna jump again. This guy makes no sense. Charn's back, you nerd. Hey, okay, jumping over the. Why? He jumped on his head. Ha! He jumped right on his head! Not great. Ooh, that was close. I can get him, I can get him, I can get him. We got to get getting though. I'm almost out of bullets. Oh, come on. That's baloney. Nothing I hate more than these stupid butterflies. Nothing. Nothing! Yes! The doggo! The doggo does it again! Ah! I'm gonna freaking die! I did it! The dog is king, bro! The dog is amazing! I love this freaking dog, bro. He's the best. Remote John? Oh, yeah, Apocalypse, sorry. The dog is amazing, man. Does this mess up? Dog's like, I don't think so. I don't think so. What a guy. What an absolute unit on the battlefield. That, that fight is so bad because the butterflies, man. I need, like, Song of a Fear to keep them off me or something. Anything that would keep them off of me, the turret would destroy. But because I'm just staring straight up, it doesn't work very well. Yeah, you can't name it. Emotional torture. Yeah. All right, let's set up the the heart build. Let's set up the heart build. Uh, I think I remember how to do it. Let me take a screenshot of my... Okay, screenshot taken. Screenshot, and I think... All right, all those are done. So, for this build, we run Invader Primary, which is the crazy thing. 
we run, I think it was medic? Medic for faster use speed. This one was the better heal, if I remember correctly. Tormented heart. Um, We want... I think elemental damage, yeah. Bottom skill cast speed. Consumable duration. Consumable, consumable use speed. Damage reduction. Elemental damage. I think it does... Yeah, it does elemental damage. Healing effectiveness would be nice, not gonna lie. Melee crit, melee crit, revive speed, recoil, fire rate, range damage, mod duration, shield them out. Shield duration, reticle spread, none of this helps us. Ooh, stagger damage, there we go. Okay. Now, we don't need guns, guns don't matter. We won't be using guns. Guns are not important for this build. What we want to do is find the explosive amulet. Ta da. We want to then go probably run that ring still. Do we want elemental damage or no? Singe to work. Um. This one. And we need one more ring that ups damage. Honestly, I'm thinking Stone of Balance, but that doesn't really help us that much. I think it's all we have, though. Get you later, Ra the King. How do I get the Wild and Black Cape in Dragon's Magma? What's up, Mob? M-O-B? The White and Black Cape. Uh, I'm not actually 100% sure on that one. I don't think I ever got that myself. The white and black cape. I don't remember getting that, unfortunately. Skill duration. There we go. I don't think I ever grabbed that one. I'm sorry to say. I guess it doesn't matter what we wear, does it? Alright, so does anyone want to know how this build works? Well, of course you do. Because it's absolutely insane. What? Not that. We want amplitude to increase AoE size. We want siphoner as a lifesteal. That's kind of what we're going for here. Vigor, duh. Stamina, duh. Don't care about these two this time. Because we're not using either of them. We want Glutton. We will use... I feel like I'm explaining a bit. It has white fur and the fabric is black. I saw it on YouTube shorts you posted. Oh, really? Um, That's tricky because I'm blanking on it right now. Oh! I know what you're talking about. I think. I think I know what you're talking about. I believe it is in Bitter Black Isle. I think it's one of the tier twos or tier three gear. I can't remember exactly, but I think it's one of those two. What triage for that? I, th I think it's one of those two. I don't know for sure. Kinship doesn't matter here. You know what? Let's go armor effectiveness, actually. I think it's a tier 2 or tier 3. It's hard for me to tell without actually looking at it. Alright, I think it's all set up. And then we just unequip. Equip. There we go. I have my relics back. You no, know, would be good as cooldown. Duration, I don't think is that good. We need cooldown.
That's how it works, by the way. So, <laughs> thought I was going crazy. Yeah, I sorry I can't be of more help, but I think it's uh it's a tier, tier two or tier three gear. So essentially, <laughs> we blow everything up with relics. All right, uh, where do we want to test this at? What would be a good boss for this? It's gonna be tough because thing takes forever to come back. Is there a way to get this? You know what? Actually, um, hold up, hold up, hold up. Skill cooldown. Take it back. That's what we want. I think there was another one. Skill duration? Yeah, we don't need that. At 55% reduced cooldown? I can't remember how you set it up like that. How much do I have? I think I have 20. Well, well, well. I did it wrong. I put on the blast, though. I don't know if I need that. Was it the crit? The crit we had on? It's something. There's something I'm missing that adds, like, cooldown for this. Actually, it might be one of these. Where, where you deal damage, you get, like, cooldown or something. Mm. Increase revive speed. Ooh, Ooh that's amazing. Burden? Burden of the Gambler? Oh, it's a Burden one. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, Burden of the, of the Mariner. Increases skill cooldowns. No, it's this one. Reduce skill cooldowns. There it is. Okay, that's all I really need. I think. Blasting Cap Ring that good for this? I use something else. I think it's fine. Stargazer? Which one's Stargazer? Soul Link. Stockpile. Stargazer is like a weapon, isn't it? I'm gonna I'm gonna run with this, see how bad it is. It's going to be rough because I don't have, like... You know what? I might throw in one weapon. Weapon. I will use the Western Classic. <laughs> because it's so bad. <laughs> ah, it's so bad. Oh, you know what would be good with this? is actually Soulbinder. We could Soulbind people and then blow them all up. No, that would be trash. That's actually trash. That was a terrible idea. Healing shot on the weapon. Oh, that's a good idea, too. Maybe I will put on weapons. That's not a terrible idea. Like, you kind of do need weapons in general. Doesn't suck to have them. I don't think there's any other... Mutator. I want. Increases weapons reload speed. Yeah, we'll do that. I guess because we're running Apocalypse, we have to have some weapons on. Boo. Lame. <laughs> lame weapons? Oh, you know what I'm going to run? I'm going to run this. What's this do? Applies slow. No, I'm gonna apply. I'm gonna use. Ooh, hero sword, actually. There you go. I'm gonna use this garbage setup. This is actually trash. This is actually trash. <laughs> All the weapons I'm using are actually bad. Uh, let's re roll what would be good. You know what would be really fun? I'm not gonna lie. Nerud. Nerud, the first boss. We're not doing the last boss, okay? That's stupid. It's not even possible. But we could do the first boss. Like, Hatchery? Hatchery would be fun. He says loss. Bro, loss him? That's so basic, though. <laughs> no, we gotta do... We gotta do Nerud, dude. I'm picking Nerud. <laughs> this is gonna be horrible. <laughs> this is gonna be horrible. I think it'd be cool for Hatchery. I think it'd be really cool. If we get the abomination, it's gonna actually suck because he has too much health. But it could, it could still work. Either of those bosses is fine. After that, we just quit because the, the, it's not working on either of the final bosses. Definitely not Shahala. I mean, maybe Tall Ratha. Maybe if we get lucky. Why does this gun exist? I truly wish I knew. Oh, I need to change the melee, don't I? 
Overdrive, Misfortune, Disengage, Dervish. Ah, I don't have that upgraded, unfortunately. This is going to be cool. Is it optimal? No. I bet you on lower difficulties, though, you can just wreck the game with just your relic. We should try that next. We should try going from Apocalypse to freaking Survivor and use the relic. Be hilarious. Can you imagine the chaos? It's actually a cool gun. I feel like with better reload speed, it's actually a pretty good one. It just has a bad reload. It needs like one second slower or faster. It's to flip back up. If you didn't have to flip it back up and it instantly reloaded like that, then it would be good. But it takes a little bit too long. There. Reload. It, it should be right there where I said it. What is essential? You tell me. No, no. You. On the speed. Fine. You must bring me the six. Goofy shenanigans we're about to get into. I don't even want to know, guys. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know what's going to happen. I guarantee you we don't get hatchery, though. You never get hatchery when you want it. That's the thing. Whoops. That works for most bosses, but 100% for hatchery. Kind of glad that I got hatchery my first time, though. I can't imagine getting abomination. That fight is rough. That fight's actually rough until you kind of learn it a bit more. It's not that bad now. It's still pretty tough, though. I should have put this in my top 10 rings. I should have changed out the vestige ring for this one. This is definitely better. That is a big mistake on my part. For some reason, I just forgot about it at the time or something. All right, right or left, do we think? I'm guessing right. But who knows? Who really knows? How big is the AoE? That's what I need to figure out. Oh my word, it's so big! What? It got the other robot too. <laughs> this is awesome. This is actually very effective for mobs, I'm not gonna lie. That is so weird. I feel like he was slightly out of my range. Okay, this is definitely side dungeon. Eight hundred and fifty five damage. There's no way it's any good against bosses though. Like we'd have to be in the fight for so long. Yeah, I can't see it. Yeah, it's side dungeon, okay. Yeah, this is kind of interesting. I bet you for specific dungeons, it could be nice for some easy clears, but that's about it. It's really the only reason you'd ever use this relic. I cannot see there being any other reason to use it. Maybe if you wanted to heal... Actually, you know what? I take that back. Maybe it's useful for explosion builds, because if you're already upping your AoE, it's possible that using it could give you enough damage. Because whenever you deal damage with the relic, it life steals. That's how this thing works. So it might make it actually useful. It's gonna get really funny when we start spamming it together. It's gonna be really funny. Oh crap, I'm out, dude. That's not good.
Guess we did need the guns after all, didn't we? It's almost back. It's almost back. Boom. <laughs> That's ridiculous. This is uh abomination. So this is the boss we didn't want. How are the relics replenishing? Ah, so I can explain that too. So, actually, might be hatchery. It's hatchery, let's go. So, this ability right here creates a backup of yourself, right? A backup of yourself. And it's a timer of, I think, 30 seconds. In that 30 seconds, you can do whatever you want. You use your guns, your mods, whatever you want to do. And then once you activate the ability again, it will give you everything back. This does not work for skills, but it works for mods, ammo, relics, all that jazz, which makes it the only thing that can make this work. So watch, I activate it. I use a relic. I activate it again. There's a timer underneath my health, 24 seconds. Boom, I got the relic back. It is the invader skill is how it works. And what's, what else is useful is that because relics grant you a decoy when you're running invader, it actually creates a bit of a distraction. So it's somewhat doable. Could have got the tormented heart in my first campaign, but I didn't know about it. I haven't been able to roll it since. Ah, that sucks. Yeah, that first one is rough. I had Meridian my first playthrough, and I forgot to grab it. It took me forever to go back and get it. It's really cool, Connor. The reason being is that ability is... Not very good. That skill is actually pretty bad overall. It's not great for a lot of a lot of builds, and this makes it very useful. <laughs> Just real it's honestly really funny. Uh I did this. Rick made this build a while back, and I ran it with him, and he was able to stagger. I think it was what's that? The Red Prince. He was able to stagger the Red Prince, which was cool. Now the other person needs damage, but <laughs> I wanted to try it with both of us to see if we can just blast everything. Nope. Not like this at all. But the taking the relic increases your movement speed, or uh, using the ability increases your movement speed. So it actually makes this useful even more because you're able to run to the enemy and spam it. If I had a little bit of extra skill length, that'd be nice. There you go. All my relics are back. And you use healing shots so you have some healing because it doesn't heal that well. Okay, but not great. Kind of what you can do is just take turns. Each of you just take turns popping it. It kills everything. Yeah, by the time he uses his, I have mine back. Oh, shoot. We don't want to go down there. I don't think. Do we? No, we don't want to go do that. That is Aberration, and he sucks. Don't let it run out. Right. What happens when it runs out? It just doesn't do it? We got a big boy. But see, they'll fight the decoy. Which is the biggest advantage Invader has in the first place. Ouch. My face. Reloading. 
Super cool. You get nothing back? Gotcha. It can crit is the crazy thing. It can crit. Maybe switch to Meridian. You know what? I'll take that back. I'm not going to run this. I'm going to run Meridian. Because that'll actually make this possible. All right, here we go. This is the boss we wanted to test it on. Let's see what happens. Why is this actually working? This can't be good. That is insane. That's so weird. He can't even come back fast enough. Look at this. We're killing the hatchery boss like this. This is insanity. There's nothing to even fight. Everything is dead. This is the good part, though. This is when all three show up. This could be tricky. They literally can't even show up fast enough. It's crazy. It does way too much damage compared to what I thought it would do. Look, he's literally just blowing everything out. This is insanity, man. This is insanity. Dude, imagine three people? If you had three people, you could keep it active 24-7. This is nutty. Just controlling the battlefield with freaking relics. He's gonna die. He's, he's so close to death right now. I'm gonna wait and kill him with the relic. I'm gonna wait and kill him with the relic. Love and hate how this works. Might not be insane, but it sure is hilarious. Yeah, it's hysterical. Alright, I got it back. I got it back. Wait for it. Boom!
We beat the hatchery boss with this. That's so dumb. That is so dumb. Why is it so fun? Okay, I gotta figure out how to optimize this because it's actually really cool. This is actually really cool. That's funny. It's my dumbest build. Why does it work? That's the thing. Why does it work? Why does this work, man? Okay, we could we should try and see if we can get um another boss. Uh, this another dungeon boss. Like if we get one of the side ones, like the custodian eye or the ghost, that would be interesting. It actually is kind of perfect for hatchery because there's so many enemies and you don't really need to dodge that much. It's honestly the perfect build for hatchery. Like, you thought your build was the best. Listen, this right here. This is the ideal way to play Remnant, apparently. <laughs> Why, man? That is nutty. I've got a little bit more damage, but I can't use it as often. Imagine this in Terminus Station. Oh, yeah. For sure. What if we did... gotta be a way to make this crit you know gotta be a way to make this crit like blasting cap rings actually kind of weak i wish they would have given it a slight bonus problem is there's so many so many aoe's and they're all so good critical hits have a 10 one percent chance to reset skill cooldowns only one percent chance unfortunately uh yeah let me check discord real quick do, 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 do. Let me check it and see if it has. Oh, you do use blasting cap ring. What the heck? Hold up. Wait a minute. What is your, uh, about to set this up. I'm not even gonna lie. This is hilarious. It's the greatest thing that ever happened to me. Hmm. I don't know what that ring is. Let's see. Blasting cap uh, is at the top. I have that. I have the cool get the skill cooldown ring as well. I don't have this one. What is this one you have? I don't even have it. It is a Nerud ring. I don't have this ring. What? There's a ring I don't have. Baloney. I know it's this one. I don't want to use this one, though. Although, it is kind of... Nah, yeah, let's use it. I am missing a ring somehow. Somehow, magically, I'm missing a ring. Alright, I went for damage. You went for consumable. Consumable use speed. Dagger damage. Let's see. Skill duration. I don't think I need skill duration either. Burden of the Stargazer. Reduces skill cooldowns. Activating a skill costs health. I don't have this ability somehow. Huh. Bay Shaman for use speed. How is there a ring I don't have? That, that's kind of bonkers to me. I'll need to look that up. Go get it. Here. Burden of the Gambler over Blasting Cap, maybe? Ooh. Now that you mention that, now that you mention that, that is an extra 20% damage. Fair enough. There's so many ways to mess with this, man. That's crazy. And we can run, we can all, we can literally just run explosive weapons. Like... Run... I don't know if I want a Stargazer for that. I'll run a Felion. It explodes. It only has a plus five, though. That kind of sucks. Which one do we want to run? Uh, Spore Bloom has an explosion, I think. Does this count as an explosion? I don't think so. Try Star Killer for now. Since I'm not using anything else anyway. Let's see... Mod damage. I want Harmonizer, I think. 
feedback. All right. Nice. Blood draw and time wave. Is it really sold by Cass? It probably is. It, it probably is. It's probably the one that I don't have from Cass. I thought I had them all, but I guess not. It's fine. I got this one. This is technically better. Or the same. I don't know what the actual stat was. So weird. It does quite a bit of damage. But when we get up to some of those other bosses, I don't think it's going to do hardly anything. That's what I'm worried about. All right, I want my mods back. It's the only reason I care about this. I think I think we can tell which dungeons are which. I think they're towers. We only need to go to the tower dungeons. All the rest of them are underground stuff that don't have bosses, as far as I know. Probably that one, and that one's always extra. It should be this here one over come. here. <laughs> oh my word. This is a hilarious idea. Rupture cannons underground? Ah, we'll get it later. We'll get it later. I'm not worried about it. I didn't even kill him. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Whoops. Thanks a lot. That one's on me. Reloading. I will take the blame for that one. It's definitely not the best explosion build because there's other stuff to set it up with, but it works and that's all that matters. I doubt this is boss. I would assume this is one of the goofy ones. The thing is, I feel like the ability actually should go back a bit faster. If we look at the other perks that Invader has, like 22 seconds, 48 seconds, 35 seconds, I feel like 30 seconds would be better. But, eh. Not really that big a deal. Length's 26 seconds. Nice. It's quite a bit better, actually. I'm going to need to go get that ring and see if I can optimize it for sure. Power of the Unseen, let's go. Wow. This is the perfect boss. Is I think place? this is the guy, isn't it? Actually, this might be nothing. I thought it was Robot. It's either Robot or it's nothing. So, one of those two. Burden of the Stargazer is on one of the Tower Dungeons in Nerud. So, it's either on Terminus, Tower of the Unseen, or Spectrum Nexus. Yeah, the ghost is Astro. Drink the cooldown concoction? That's true. There is a skill cooldown concoction, isn't there? Hmm. I guess we will check all the dungeons then. So it's possible it's in here. Okay, we'll look around. This is skill cooldown right here. Alright. I'll, I'll look around. It may, it may actually be in here because this is one of the more convoluted dungeons. I believe. This concoction is 21 seconds. Dang, that's crazy. That actually makes it viable, though, as a thing. And you're reducing your skill cooldown of your heal, which is the big one. I think this is the dungeon you can squish with the elevator. Oh, squish an enemy with an elevator? Oh, squish the boss? Oh. Uh, of course. This 
is ridiculous. And now I'm not using all my relics at 100% of the time, which is good. The black hole. Oh, nice damage. Big one incoming. Here they come. I don't want to say that was my fault, but it was definitely my fault. Wow, that's something I didn't know he could do, is spam balls on your head. They gave me my skill back. Oh no, it was using... <laughs> it didn't give me my skill back. I wasted my relics. Ah, that's bad. Oh well. Yeah, I already had that one, so it wasn't that one. It could be in this one. Keep looking off the side of the bridge, and you'll see a walkway that's not on the map. Okay. I appreciate the heads up on that. I did not. I had no idea that was how you found it. You know how are you today? What's up, Endless? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Oh, this is going to be good. When it crits, it actually does some serious damage. Unfortunately, Black Hole is not really great because it kills teammates too easily. Dang it. Ah, it's on me. I mean, I'm getting 1100 damage. It's actually viable. It's not good, but it's viable. I really like how this weapon feels. Try not to kill my teammate. Any more than I already have. See, he fights the decoy. We actually have a lot of decoys going with this. We have to remember to dodge, though. If we don't dodge, we don't get the decoy. Dang. That's crazy. That boss is actually hard sometimes, and that was really easy. This is weird. It's weird that this works so well. This is what good bosses have three traits. Every stream I've watched of yours, they only had two. Uh, bosses get two. Aberrations can get three. Uh, aberrations are slightly weaker than bosses, so they get one more. Ah, oh, you have no relics, I see. Darn. 
I think aberrations tend to have three traits. Yeah, they usually get three to give them a little bit extra power. And it makes them pretty difficult at times, especially if they get some really sucky affixes. Yeah, I can't pick that up for some reason. We need to find the world zone. Do we know an easy way to do that? Watch this. Wait a minute. Can we get over there? No. Hold up. Nah, it's an easy way to get a world stone. Watch this. Yoink. World stone. <laughs> world stone central. <laughs> What's up, Dark Soul? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Oh no, we died. Oh, darn. Imagine if you lost scrap when you died in this game. That'd be horrible. Apparitions are a weaker sort of boss that gets buffed by more traits, is what you're saying? Yeah, they're a weaker boss. They have a lot less health. A lot less health. They're actually not even really bosses. They're basically a mini boss that's been upgraded to sort of a... No, they're elites that have been upgraded to mini bosses, is what they are. They have a decoy, so now they don't even fight me. It's actually crazy. Right, I'm still looking for a bridge, right? I need to look off the side of a bridge for this thing. I use blood drop because it boosted my explosions, but doesn't kill you. Hmm. Fair enough. Whoops! I don't want to say that was on me, but... Still wanting Rattleweed, even though Invader's good? Oh, Rattleweed would be awesome to have. Did you call this build the Quick Start My Heart? That is amazing! Quick Start My Heart. I like that. <laughs> I'm using Starshot. You know what else Starshot does? It does kill your teammates, so... Be ready to die some more. I'm gonna try. It's gonna happen, I guarantee you. Sheen destroyer of allies. I'm sorry. I feel bad if that helps. That is a ledge. What what are we doing dead up here? Yeah, okay. I tried so hard to get out of that and then get a revive. I was like, nah. That lightning thing is so unbelievably annoying. The Hive Cannon 2.0? Yeah, exactly. That's pretty much what it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He be lagging. He be lagging. Server gave out on my guy. Sorry, dude. It can't be that right there. There's no way. Doggo's sorely missed in this. Yeah. Yeah, blowing up your buddies for sure. I think someone lost connection. That's what I think. I'm gonna have to check every inch of this place. I really do need this ring. It's gotta have something to do with these side dungeons. Hello. How did that hurt me? Oh, I have the AOE trade on. That's gonna kill me no matter what. That sucks. Oh god. Sounds good, Hadrio. Alright, um, let me go check and see if I can find this real quick. Is it down there? I feel like it's down there. Way too far. Way too far. 
I could jump that. I feel like I shouldn't. I could. That's really all that matters. Yeah, the thing is, we're trying to get up close to enemies, so I think all these explosions don't really work because they're killing us. Ah, you know what? Let's run Harmonizer with, um, yeah, let's just try blood. No, I don't want to use blood drug, and I've been using it a lot lately. Explosion base? Helix isn't bad. Oh, that looks like a cannon. What the heck? That's a cool look. Why he's attacking me, I'm not really sure. That still hurt me? That radius is insane. We're about to get helixed. Yeah, this is a really bad weapon for this because its radius is way too big. I can't believe they upgrade radiuses that high. It does feel slightly crazy. What would be a good, like, just overall gun for this, you know? The tech, the hunting pistol, actually, this might be good. All right, this has to be where the bridge is, I'm thinking. I think it's down below me. I think it's right down below. Oh, crap. The last five seconds. But I think upgrading untouchable maybe it would be better. Something for more dodging. Not a bad idea. So we do need to dodge to get that one little help right there. Decoy so no one shoots us in the freaking face, man. Doesn't feel good. It's gotta be right around here. What is that up there? Here they come. Light roll, maybe? Light roll, maybe. We don't want to give up too much defense, though. We got to get really close to the enemy. Oh, yeah, he looks putting in work. That's where I came from. Never seen this one. That right there? Nah. This is the stupid puzzle. I almost guessed it was the stupid puzzle. Excuse me. Could be right at the start of the dungeon. It's just below one of the walkways you're on. See another walkway below you usually if it's there.
It's a guarantee is what it is. No? Can't make that. I thought maybe I could make it there for a second. But... Hmm. Problem is, I don't really know 100% what I'm looking for. I don't vaguely what I'm looking for, right? Like it's that or something. This is a sucky dungeon anyway. You don't want to do this. This dungeon is like one time thing only. <laughs> time thing only. Music is cool though. It's got a very space adventure kind of hell pointy type of music. Better make a video on this villain. Yeah, I, I'm going to for sure. This is awesome. It's actually really cool. Is it that? Dude, I can't tell. I don't know what it looks like. It's a random drop. Might not have spawned. It is meant to be in this dungeon. Okay. So it's like random in this dungeon. Yeah, but uh, I just don't know where it would be. I'm guessing it's not in here. We didn't get the drop. That's what I'm guessing. Then a corner? What's up, Almer? Okay, it's in a corner. I don't think I would have walked by it, but I don't know for sure. Hmm. Just gonna run back through and double check, and then if we don't find it, it's not here. All good. It's weird that we have we found the dungeon that I need the ring for, though. That usually that sometimes happens. It's like, well, I'm looking for this ring. All of a sudden, people will be like, "Uh, well, you're in the dungeon for it." I'm like, "What? <laughs> weird." I'm guessing it's easier to see than I'm making it seem. This is all the way back up here. There's no drop-off points in this area, is there? I don't think so. This is all the way back at the beginning, so... Yeah, I don't think we got it dropped, unfortunately. I've been in this dungeon many times and have not found that. How is it a random drop that I don't have? Maybe unlucky? The guaranteed in one of those three dungeons. You may have Terminus or Spectrum 2 in this role of Nerud. Okay. Well, I guess we'll check all the side dungeons to see if we can get it. Before the room with the two statues. So we don't have it then. Alright. I would have seen it. We're just leaving dungeon then? Yeah, I guess we'll just leave dungeon. <gasps> Because that was the room with the two statues, so. That means that the other tower is, like, across the entire thing, though. It's unfortunate. What are the other ones? Uh, Terminus and Spectrum. I feel like it might be in Terminus. I think that's one I haven't explored a lot of. We'll see. Narud is one that I... There's so much to explore on Narud, I feel like it's easy to just miss stuff. Actually, I know it is. There's several different dungeons that have items. It's like, a, what? How would I have found this? Like, uh, the giant sword? Um, the hammer. Both the sword and the hammer are very hidden. It's crazy. Too. That worked slightly better than expected. Mm -mm -mm. Oh shoot, that doesn't heal me, does it? Darn it. <laughs> I tried to heal. Wrong way. Finish all items of main character with 160 hours to play this game. It's really great. You got all the items. I have most items. There's a couple I'm missing. 
I got to a certain point where there were only a few that I don't have, and then I just quit looking. Because unless it's specific to my build, I really don't care that much. Uh, that's usually the best way for me to find it. It's like, do I need it for this specific build? Okay, finally I'll go track it down. At least I have an incentive that way to actually find the item. But yeah, great game for sure. I can make it. I just just so much fun. <laughs> Weird thing. Yeah, that light roll. Mm. Brutal. There we go. What relic you using? What's up, Ryan? This is the Tormented Heart. Has 20% relic use speed bonus. On use, deals 487.5 explosive damage to enemies within 15 meters. And life steals 30% of damage dealt. Which means... Blow everybody up. <laughs> That's pretty much all it means. Really? That was close. I almost used my thing too soon. Oh, it's dead. I thought it was alive still. It's definitely not an easy way to play, but the more people you have the more usable it becomes. Oh, that kills you? Alright, that's on me. I didn't know that killed you. Whoops. I'm really good at killing my teammate today. How are you getting relics back so fast? Yes. Okay, so how am I getting relics back so fast? This ability is the last ability in Invader, and it basically creates a clone of yourself, and then if you activate it again, it gives you everything back when you, you know, that you used during that phase. And so I can use it, pop all my relics, and then it'll put me back at where I was. So now I'm gonna have, wait for it. Zero, boom, now I have six again, because I reactivated the ability. There's a stone in here, isn't there? It's actually kind of insane. And... Yeah, okay. Maybe not the best thing for... Apocalypse. Especially not by yourself. But lower difficulties? Totally do. The acid with swapping weapons is the coolest this build? Oh yeah, it's not a bad idea. I mean, we lose our blast damage. 25% bonus, but... It's true. That, it could be something. And we get a decoy whenever we do that, so we're basically just invincible, as long as you use it properly. Could have done without that. Why'd I die? I had the shield active. Okay, I don't know what just happened there, but uh, we got the crystal, it's fine. Yeah, the toxic release valve. Why are we going down here? Ooh, a chest. Am 
lot of ads. Gotcha. Wait for it. Man, when it crits, it really crits. 1100 damage. You know what? It's working on Apocalypse, so I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. This is the weirdest thing. Yes, actually, that is where you get this pendant. If you go down there, you get the detonation trigger and the blasting cap ring. It's one of the best amulets in the, gra the game, for sure. So you should definitely go check it out. Yeah. Shock stacked with the lightsaber hit. Ah. That is how I do it. I was going to say, I felt like I hadn't gotten hit yet. And then I just melted all of a sudden. Gotta find some of these side dungeons. I don't know where they're at. <laughs> this is some of the most fun I've ever had. This is hilarious. Why is this so good? For ad clear, because it stuns everything, you could just keep using it in the invader skill. What? This would be really good if you were trying to play with a friend who's a lower level. And you don't want to absolutely destroy the entire game, but you do want to actually help him a little bit and not, you know, be garbage. You could really keep ads off of people. And deal some okay damage. Alright, here's a dungeon. Let's see what this one is. You heal your team doing this as well? No, that's cool. Shit. Yeah, if I can get that ring just to cool it down a little bit more, it'll be pretty solid. Gonna be pretty solid. Oh, because we're running Medic. Yeah, we are healing our teammates. I was gonna say, why are we doing that? And then I realized, yeah, we do have Medic on. I forget it's not for one of the prime skills. My man wants that 20 second cooldown. Yeah, I do, man. I do. Terminus station? Okay. Could be here. Could be here. Maybe. Everyone want to cross their fingers for me? Please. They don't just <laughs> that shock is horrible. Oh, I should have waited. Could you still do good if you had Handler Prime and Invader Second? Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, the only thing that it gives you is it gives you a little bit extra damage when enemies are on your decoy, but I think it's... You get a 15% damage bonus to enemies if they're on your decoy. You're really not losing a ton. So you can kind of just... Th what's nice about this one, you can move it wherever you want. Really. You don't have to use it as prime. I like to use it as prime because I do actually like the damage bonus, but... Handler wouldn't be bad, especially if you were trying to play more into AoE. For sure. When he's blasting cap ring. Burden of the Gambler work with Deceit. Uh, yes, if you don't want to use its mod. If you try to avoid using weak spots altogether, then yes. But its mod will be useless to you then. Just be aware of that. Um, anyway, I'm using Blasting Cap... I was trying to use Blasting Cap Ring, but that one... Burden of the Gambler provides more damage. It's 20% damage boost if we hit critical. And so, we're actually hitting critical pretty often. That's the only reason, really. I I think it's a little bit better. We were messing with the Blasting Cap Ring a bit earlier. I think this is just slightly more damage. You could go either way, though. Burden of the Gambler is really, really good for explosion builds. It's basically built for explosion builds because they can't weak spot anyway. So it just feels perfect here. This is kind of a weird view I'm getting. Looks creepy. Huh. This kind of... It kind of gives you a halo feel with how big the world is. The ring. Looking at the ring all the time. There would be a way to optimize this to get more damage, but... The thing is, do you want more damage or do you want more skill cooldown? I think skill cooldown is a little bit better. Or more stagger. Well, I am not over there, apparently. More of a Mass Effect vibe? Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. I never played Mass Effect, so, you know. That would be why I wouldn't say that, but I get you. Okay, well, how do we get over there? Weird. No wonder I've never seen this thing. I'm about to get the ring that I need, though, which is kind of crazy and exciting. Definitely should. I have heard that at a couple times that I should. <laughs> I, I really have. I bet I said it's really good. I just never got around to it. Figure a blasting cap ring over the power saver ring since you get the relic back from Invader's Guild. It's not a bad idea. The only reason we're using power saver is to get as many relics as possible. Um, I may take it off for blasting cap. I might actually do that. Aha. Uh -huh. I have that. So I have seen that before. I just didn't come out here and jump down. It's weird. Another elevator? Huh. Don't touch Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were just using it to keep, like, make sure we had as much damage as possible from using them over and over, but you may be right. Getting more damage out of less relics might be a better idea. Where the heck is this thing at? What the Is anyone else as lost as I am right now? I have never seen this before in my life. Where are we? The whole area down here. Let's go ahead and move that over. Which one was it? Blasting Cap Ring?
Or we up crit damage. Ooh. Let's try that. Because if we just up the crit and we're already hitting crit, let's see how much it can do. Crit chance is 15%. Let's see what that does. Guess we're going back up. Back for work, you beat the game and now we're using a new build. Yep, sure am, Lucas. Yeah, we're goofing off with some messy, just fun stuff. Just a bunch of goofy stuff. Yeah, we we beat the game. Um, I think Annihilation was what? First try? It was really easy with that build setup. Really easy. Right there, right? Yeah. The heck do we get to that? That is confusing. The heck. No wonder I've never found... Oh. Well, maybe it's in this building. Oh, you know what? It's it's at the top over here. It's gotta be. Very confusing. Right around this corner. Dude, what the freaking heck is happening right now? How do you get there? This is very confusing. There's an enemy right there, I think. Can I target like that? Back in the elevator and corner to down. Okay. Love to see a build for Meridian. Any suggestions? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, just everything that does explosive damage. Literally everything. It's it's actually very easy to set up Meridian to be crazy. Um, You can use pretty much any explosion build and then throw on Meridian and it works. Uh, I want to make one that's based on crit damage, so I haven't posted mine yet. But you want blasting cap ring, detonation trigger... Uh, burden of the destroyer, and then probably burden of the gambler too. So it's in the, oh, it's down here. That's the elevator we were on when we jumped over there. Got to be this way then. I wish the mark would stay, because I have no idea where the thing was. Yeah, you bet, Lucas. That goes down. Wrong. Are we missing something obvious? feel like actually this doesn't go up that high hold up oh crap this one sucks this one sucks yeah there's like 30 enemies up the elevator dang it bro uh, where is this freaking ring at? Now, why can we not find it? This is very confusing. Why do they deal so much damage? I'm get I have armor effectiveness on. I'm getting two shot by these guys. I think it, maybe they do electric damage and I have weakness to that. I don't know. Step on the elevator and then get off and drop down. Oh, okay. That somewhat makes sense to me now. Mess with us, man. There we go. That's 1,200 crit. It's a lot more crit, but we're not hitting crit as much. I uh, don't know. Damn. 
Hmm. Give a bill for the invader medic. I don't yet. Well, I'm messing with this one, but this is more of a goofy build. Uh, I don't have one of those yet, though. I will... What would I do with Invader Medic? I'd probably do Medic Invader for more Relics, I would think. Yeah. I have done an Invader build, but I haven't done one with Medic yet. That pairs with Invader. So it's not this one. That's Death. It's the next elevator. Yeah, Bobby, I don't have that specific build yet, unfortunately. I would probably do Medic, then Invader, though, and then run... Um, Honestly, I'd make it a support build, where you're popping decoys, trying to get relics back or something. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. This is probably the best Invader Medic, just because they don't really pair that well together. Got an Indiana Jones vibe going on right here. I like it. I don't know what I have. I have... You look like a freak type of thing. I'm a freak. There's the secret door. No problem trying to figure out a good veteran build. Gotcha. If you can run... Medic is primary is never bad is the thing. Medic primary is never bad. Well, that seems to go to the Infinite Abyss, so I doubt that's good. Jump in mid and in corner out of room. Check up middle of the elevator back there? Because we already tried that one and there wasn't anything in there. Oh, crap. 1400 crit. Well, I did freaking nothing. Talk about guns that don't work for this guy. Jeez. And then it was this elevator, yeah? I don't think anyone knows where this ring is. All these elevators lead to death. Ironically enough, Plasma Cutter works great on his shields. Huh. It is ironic. Yeah, I have no idea how anyone found this. This is literally just... It's so hidden, apparently. We've been up here like three times. I know that the heart is actually pretty great for some of these... Some of these enemies that have a lot of little minions... That you just can't quite kill. This blows up all of them. Supposed to be something in the corner of the room. Thinking about a good explosion build, but I have got the Brightstale ring. Uh, explosion... Explosion builds have a lot of... 
a lot of, there's a ton of stuff you can do with them. There really is. All you really need is the blasting cap, ring, and then the detonation trigger amulet. Those two are really it. That irritates the crap out of me. How, was it that easy? We just didn't see it. No wonder I've I've been here and I've done this. I just didn't do this elevator part here. Yeah, okay. Oh, that is death. Hmm. Nothing we've done in the last 30 minutes has made any sense to me. Not one thing. I'm very bad at mazes and puzzles, though, so it kind of makes sense. Why did we come down this elevator just to go back up the elevator? I'm, that's what? Propulsion loop? I think so. Isn't this the elevator we rode last time? 90% sure of it. What build is the invader medic? What's up, Christopher? Um, you want to see it? Give me, give me a minute and I'll show you. It's using a relic to blow stuff up. It's quite funny. No idea how we got here. I'm completely lost. That is not the right ring. Ah. Oh, I don't know how to get this rig, bro. I have that now, though. I will never use it, but nice that we have that. Yeah, I didn't know that was propulsion loop. Oh, well. I'll look it up some other time. Let's just go kill... Is this a boss? Terminus Station isn't a boss, is it? Uh, what is... It's like... It's one that gives you skill cooldown. I, I don't even know what it's called. It's one of the Nerud ones that gives you a skill cooldown. It's train? Okay. Burden of the something or other. It's in Discord. Where's it at? Burden of the Stargazer. That's what it is. Yeah, Burden of the Stargazer. Thought it would be here, but it's not. Oh, it's just Cass? Oh. Well, Cass, all. Apparently, someone told me that all items found in Cass can be found somewhere else, too. Which I don't think it's true. But I know some of them can, though. I know some of them can. Oh, well. All right, so we know it's from Cass. We don't need to do any of this. So we just wasted like an hour. <laughs> we wasted like an hour worth of time. Oh, okay. Good to know. Good to know. No wonder I don't have Burden of the Stargazer. That's... Makes so much sense now. Yeah, they say you eat like five spiders a year or something like that. On average. Anyway, so here's how the build works for those who just dropped in. Pop this skill, which is the last skill from Invader. And it creates like a secondary version of yourself. And you use this relic to explode stuff. Pop the decoy so that they won't shoot you. Pop more decoys. Push Q, and I have all my relics back. And that is how it works. Get it from Tower of the Unseen, there's a drop down. Well, we went there, we couldn't find it. Oh, 
I shall have I shall have to check the wiki. Appreciate it. Right, we did go there, we did find it. We might have just gotten unlucky. It's all good. We'll get her eventually. That's inconvenient. Thirteen hundred damage. Well, it ain't easy, but we got him. I made a mistake. It's not from Cass. Oh, okay. So it's just from that one dungeon. All right. We'll have to go back there then. At least we have the checkpoint. I don't have my thing. I don't feel confident with this. If work. I gotta say, I absolutely love this build, and it is the weirdest thing, but it's phenomenal. <laughs> the good news is we don't have to talk to Cass, so true. So true. Can spawn a tower of the Unseen, Terminus, and Astropath or Spite, all with the same drop down off the ledge. So it could be in any of your... So maybe we have Astropath, and we just haven't found it. Maybe we have Astropath. That, that could be the case. Because we've been to both other towers and it hasn't been there. Yeah, Rick, Rick be uh, giving me the best builds, man. The best builds. It's a long elevator. I'm guessing it would be an Astropath or Spite. How have I never seen this, though? I've been in Nerud Dungeons like thousands of times. It's really weird. I guess maybe I just didn't pay attention to the ledges. I think Astropath is constant everywhere. Uh, it's either Astropath or the Eyeball Boss. Uh, the giant laser. Well, either of those two. One of those two is in your world every time, as far as I know. But not necessarily... Like, it's either the ghost or him, though. So, it's, it's not there every time. Usually, it's ghost, I found. I don't often fight the eyeball. Do we need to do it? Does everyone want to see the train event? It's kind of cool. We can do it. I, it's a fun event. Yeah, Custodian's Eye. That's what it's called. Which, I prefer... Ghost is easier. Welcome. By miles. Welcome. But Custodian's Eye is cooler. So, if you have a good build, Custodian's Eye is better. More fun. Astropath is really easy, though. Unless you have a bleed build. He does not bleed, so that really makes him suck. If you have a full-on bleed crit build, it is brutal. I have no idea who you are or how you came to be in this place. To be completely honest, I do not care. I have spent too much time in the company to converse now with the being of flesh and bone. Yeah. Honor. Do we know who this is? Is this Tal Ratha or Jahala? Not pain nor death. But you, I can already detect an increase in your vitals. But I digress. I am the conductor of this train. And it is. Oh, he's just the conductor. He's an AI, I guess. A little test. My luck is so trash. Ten times in a route, all ten times I got Astropath. Ah, oh, that's rough. Kill everything on this train before it crashes and you die. That's rough. Are you ready? <laughs> I suppose it does not matter whether you are or It's kinda not. crazy. I'm not gonna lie. It's kinda crazy. Let us begin. Hey, watch out, here they come. 
Alright, my turn's up. <laughs> now he wipes everything, then I wipe everything. <laughs> Back and forth. I used mine at the last second there. I ah, should have waited. That's the superconductor, I think. Oh, do you know this is time? Do we have five minutes? I didn't know that. Are you serious? I walked into it. Honestly, I think healer works perfect with this setup. Nailed me. It really does regen your teammates. It's actually kind of good. It's a decent heal. Basically, while you're... Ooh, you could make a tank setup with this, though. Like, you could have your buddy go tank and you just absolutely demolish for 10 seconds. Dang it, I keep doing that. My bad. I forget that concussive shot could shoot your teammates. Oh crap. Darn it, my thing's not gonna be back in time. These things are destroying me. Yeah, almost have it, almost have it. Yeah, look, I'm fully healing him. That's insane. Eh, that's so cool. Is it the train moving or the environment? Because jumping across the train carts isn't making sense. Ah, uh, it's the train. Weirdly, no. This is the tormented heart relic, by the way.
Tormented Heart Relic. You may leave at the next stop. No tricks. You have done what I asked. How unfortunate. I had hoped to see you die. Fine. You may leave. Don't be so upset about it, buddy. Ta-da! That's the train of it. Then if you want the hammer... Oop, over here. We don't need to get it because I've already got it before, but... Timer! I guess we'll get it. Show everybody where it's at. Actually, one of my... F Not one of my favorite melee weapons because I haven't even used it really, but I, I like how it works. Oh, I like that. Atom Smasher. And you get one of the keys, too, for the pulse rifle. I forgot about that. The Decorum Cipher. It's the one you have to use the pin in the web in the campaign. I've been stuck on Apocalypse and boss for two weeks, so I haven't been able to re-roll. Ah, that sucks. Yeah, that is the one you have to do that with. Which, uh, you're stuck at the last boss, you said? What affixes does he have? Because that really tells you everything about him. Sometimes bosses get affixes. It's just like, oh my word. We beat him with... What did we beat him with? He had Hardy and... Regenerator? I think Hardy and Regenerator is what we just beat him as. Hardy's not good. You don't want Hardy for sure. Yeah, Hardy regen. It's really crazy you could do this. Helix is kind of the perfect one to use with the two. For that. Literally launching my game to have a look because I haven't been paying attention to them if fixes. And no issues on Apocalypse to the last boss, then nope, one shots. He probably has uh, some pretty rough affixes, I'm not gonna lie. Usually, if he's one shotting everything, it's because of affixes. Because almost no boss in the game one shots every attack. In fact, I don't think any of the bosses have one-shots on any of the attacks. Unless your build is literally zero armor, which can be the case. Yeah, Vicious. Probably Vicious. Network error, bro. Having network errors. Yeah. I'll turn it back on in a second. I gotta get to a crystal. Ah, I lost all my relics. Ah, it's unfortunate. Whoops. Okay, Rick. Cool. Why is this critting? Hurting by quite a lot, too.
How do you feel now? You feel dumb? Should. Specific attack at the second phase that I can't seem to dodge. Running a Medic Summoner Resonating Heart build. Okay. Ah, so like a Mega Tank type of thing? Hmm. That can be trouble. I, I, the way I did it, when I did my Medic Summoner build, I actually didn't do it. I had my brother run it because he had no DPS, so I, I don't really have a specific answer. I know he was surviving pretty much everything. He was literally just a machine, but I don't know what fixes we had for that. Um, do I want to try and make it to the next crystal? I can see. I once the whole game until I got to him. Don't have any DPS as all the damage reduction and health which got me this far. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, I got you. Yeah, with that specific setup, it's you're basically immortal for sure. You're basically immortal, but until you get to certain bosses. Definitely the last boss can be trouble. Um If you're not using again called nebula can really help um nebula can help quite a bit actually for damage over time from the corrosion sniper i go sniper that's what i always go if i have trouble with the the last boss that's my go-to weapon is widowmaker it's insanely good uh have you done a melee build yet if not do you plan on it i i did kind of i did make a melee build it's called i don't remember what it's called i have one i where i use a corrosion hammer a problem is it's not really good for apocalypse you're unkillable you can't die really but you don't do enough damage so it's fun because it's got a lot of cool stuff but it's not the best oh tech giant it's the tech giant build on my channel it's it's a really fun build, but in Apocalypse, bosses take a long time to kill. A long time to kill. I do plan on doing a better melee build in the future. I just, I've been messing with too many of the guns, and so I haven't gotten around to melee yet. It's a lot worse when you only have one relic. Vicious is making one shot. That's what I figured. Yeah, yeah, no. So, we were all three playing, right? It was me, my brother, and Rick. And <laughs> we got to this boss. And then Rick goes, hey, you want to see something cool? I have a fun build where I can make all of us immortal. And my brother's like, what? That's awesome. And so, then he, he threw it on and made us all immortal. And I'm like, no way. And then my brother goes, I need that build. <laughs> I need that build. And that's always run. He refuses to play anything else. Other than Immortal Medic. So hilarious. He says it every time. He'll be like, Oh, I'm just looking for a build with more DPS. So he'll try something and then he goes, Eh, I'll go back to Medic. The only annoying thing is when bosses have empathy. So when we play together, it's really frustrating and then end up switching off. But the other day we played and none of the bosses we had had empathy and we were so excited. Like, yes, the immortal tank lives. The thick skin and vicious are a bad combination for all health tank build, I'm guessing. No, you have thick skin and vicious. Yeah, that basically means he doesn't die. And... Yeah, it basically means he doesn't die, and he can kill your tank build. That's pretty much what that means. That is pretty much what that means. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's on the wiki. Uh, I can't remember what it is. If you just search up affixes on the wiki, you can find it. I need to go back to the main page to go back online. Oh, 
really? Is it joinable? Thank you. You can join whenever, Rick. How much health do you have? Uh, if you're talking about me, I have 130, but I'm guessing you're talking to him. Found out you can use Dreamcatcher on certain enemies to collect dreams. I was told you could do it on Nemu, but I can never find her asleep. What are the conditions to find her in that state? Just leave and come back and sneak. Yeah, just leave, come back and sneak. We're really hoping we're getting Stargazer this time. We're really hoping, but we'll see. Said it's on like a ledge. Hmm. Oh wait. I'm gonna kill all the robots. Why they don't fight me? Looking for a section with stellar power cells to be on a ledge you can drop off of. Okay, sweet. It has to be here, right? We've been to every other dungeon it can spawn in. Helix is so good with the detonation trigger. It's not even funny. It's just insanely good. Hmm. Hmm. Where are you? Testing melee build with Song of a Fear and the Earthquake mod, but Song doesn't work on big bosses. Uh, it still works on the damage reduction. It just won't slow them. But it will still give you their damage reduction. I'm just going to straight up yeet myself off this ledge. I think we have a good chance, guys. I think we have a good chance. What? That's one in three? <laughs> We're, we're all in two right now, so there's only one chance left. Who said Apocalypse was hard? I did. I said that because it is. <laughs> Don't make no mistake. It's very hard. I think it was just there where you jumped off where you saw the enemies. Could be wrong though. What? What? No way, right? No way I missed it. Zero chance. This is where I jumped. I don't see it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's there. Not seeing anything. Thirteen hundred damage. Fourteen hundred damage. Oh, he found it. He was right here the whole time. We got it, guys. We got it, guys. What do I what do I replace with it? Reduces skill code downs with 15% activating skill cost health. Or 
four. Now what? When I was it? Thirty three second cooldown. Why is it higher? Negative forty percent skill cooldown. Are you kidding me? That's insane. We got her. That was what the entire goal of the last three hours has been. So, congrats, guys. We got it. He was a walk in the park at Apocalypse with that build. Died once to Cancer or Venom. I forgot which one. Genuinely thought I'd do the game without dying at the end boss. Ah, wow. Yeah, no, the end boss is definitely... He's, he's a different story altogether. He really is. He's a completely different story. And... Especially if he has those two affixes, I mean, he's going to be brutal. A lot of people have run into that where they, they do that tank build and they're like, oh, wow, it's really nice. And then you get to the last boss and he just kind of messes you up. That boss fight is really, really tough, but it is definitely one that you can get down easier than others. Some of these bosses just feel really unfair with how their attacks work. While he has a couple that feel unfair, most of them are okay. Well, that was the wrong button. Well, I was trying to get away and I ran into more enemies. It was a mistake. What a machine, this guy. Ha <laughs> ha, killed him. I suck as a teammate. I'm the worst. I am genuinely the worst. <laughs> I am the worst teammate in the world. Oh my god. I'm taking it off. I'm taking it off. I'm tired of killing my own teammate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Every time I use it, he's right there. I just shoot him in the face. It's like, ah. Darn it. Whoops. We use space crabs. It's slightly safer. It's not how you say thank you. Unless I wasn't trying to say thank you. I was angry. Don't revive me. Ridiculous. Now I'm learning about affixes and knowing he has thick skin and vicious. I don't have enough DPS. Yeah. Yeah, the affixes are something you can completely ignore for a while if you don't realize it. And if you're ever having a lot of trouble with the boss, it's probably because he just has brutal affixes. That's something I learned too late, honestly. But once I did learn it, I was like, yeah. It makes sense. Makes sense why I'm dying instantly to this boss that I beat easily last time. Well, we get to fight the ghost with this setup, which I am a little worried. Ghost is very, very troublesome if you can't kill his minions, and we cannot kill his minions very quickly. I guess if you're playing co-op, the star shot can be a little dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Star shot could be uh, pretty much any of the explosions in co-op is like, hey, uh, <laughs> star shot specifically though is brutal. You know why? Because if your buddy's immune to the damage, which you can do two different ways, right? If he's immune to the damage, it'll go. still knock him on his butt every single time. That was a lot of people. I thought that was a big guy over there. I got enough of that. Mm, where are we going? Oh, 
Love the star shot in single player, but even then I'm off myself from time to time. Yeah. I think it's really fun. Uh, it's got a massive explosion. Yeah, I've killed myself many times, even solo. That handler trait's just such a lifesaver when you're running any explosion build. Not 100% sure why he took damage. Oh, big guy? Okay. Now. Where's he going? He's just leaving. The root has some really tough elites. Maybe you can't get a laser sword like the robots have? I don't think you can. That would be really cool. Oh, not enough room. Spectral Blade is as close as we can get, but yeah. It's more of a kind of an energy sword, but not exactly what we're thinking of. All right, I'm lost. 100% lost. I have no idea how we just did a giant circle and got to nothing. The would be confusing sometimes. Now I'm lost again. All right, well, I got lost and then more lost. That's pretty good. I found it. Okay. I'm actually kind of scared for this boss. It really depends on his... If he has elemental immunity or resistance, we're in big trouble. Because that's basically all our damage. Well, blast, but the fire is going to help out quite a bit. Here's my question. I don't know if anyone knows the answer to this. If bosses have affixes, do those affixes apply to the adds in the fight? I assume no. Because it's under their health bar. So I would assume no. I feel like Eyeball Boss would have been more fun for this setup, but whatever. Is that bloody hope not? Yeah, I hope not too. I assume they don't because the minions don't ever seem to either have way too much health or... One charge you. Only applies to bosses. That's what I assumed. Yeah, okay. That is good news. Just just couldn't Damn. just couldn't do it, could I? This ain't good. Okay, this is it. Couldn't walk away without taking damage. Yeah, blood root for a reason. Here we go. I'm gonna try to get Star Shot. I can't believe I played around 500 hours and still haven't played all the events. I haven't done the Coffins or the Rising Water and various others and other maps. Yeah, you could play for a long time and still miss some stuff for sure. Well, there's Drain.
Yeah, I deserve that. Dude, I can't, I can't see him. Ah, it's a little orbs. I am completely blind. That ain't gonna be easy, that's for sure. Someone hasn't died to Astropath a whole bunch. Oh! <laughs> Dang it, the slide didn't work that time. I think you need to push it slightly slow, uh, sooner. What's up, Dawson? Yeah, we're playing a whole bunch of it for sure. Yeah, true enough, shot. True enough. I did speak too soon. That happens every time. That was pretty good. That was pretty good for a first try. It's not bad. We could stun him in the first phase if we both pop it. That was kind of cool. We got a big one coming our way. There's no way, man. I really hate this attack. It's this one attack in the game that I just can't dodge. I have no idea where... You have to be strafing to the side, I think. I'm not 100% sure about that either. Even strafing. How the heck do you dodge this thing? This is actually stupid. Usually I have to have a gun that shoots those things, but I don't have a gun that does that apparently. Maybe the shotgun does actually. I didn't even try. I could just pop the decoy. Yeah, it's killing me every time. How do you dodge this? Why am I dying to this? I've never... It's instantly killing me. I'm literally sprinting to the side and it's hitting me. There's nothing I can do. I think I have to dodge, but even if I dodge, it hits me. Do I dodge into it? Maybe I dodge into it. I think if I get the... The problem is I keep running out of bullets in the shotgun and then I don't have enough bullets to shoot the things. I hope this can shoot them. Sometimes certain guns can't shoot them is a the problem. So I'm hoping this can. Minion? Ah, I can't test it.
All right, that was a little bit better. This is kind of crazy. It's not the greatest thing I've ever seen, but it freaking it's still plausible to do on Apocalypse. Okay, let's reload the gun so I'm ready. This is freaking dumb. This is so dumb. This one attack is randomly going, it's like RNG based. It's just going anywhere, it feels like. It's going in front of me where I would dodge to. That doesn't add up at all. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can dodge it, but it just hits you anyway. I'm not sure what this orb thing is. It's, it's not the one he throws, it's the one that spawned from the cubes. Also, this guy's immune to bleed, by the way. I don't know if blood draws. I guess it mod damage, but. I appreciate it. That. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, we're having the same problem, actually. Thanks for that. I owe you one. Thanks a lot. How I'm getting these revives off, I truly don't know. Definitely a tough one for sure. Doable, but tough. It's because it's hard to tell who he's on. I need to be using that other revive, apparently. I just healed through that by exploding at the right time. Dang, this is stupid. These stupid orbs are so dumb. How does a melee attack from him not kill you, but his orb thing does? What? I can't see where my own teammate is. That's how dark he gets in here. here we go.
I can't do it by myself, I don't think. Why, why are there so many of them? What did I say, though? I said I was worried about the ghosts, and I was right to be worried about them. It's because if you add more people, they just add so many more ads. Mistake. Why don't I only have four relics? Ah, oh, I've been healing. All right, well, this is a problem. Yeah, that's the problem. He's spawning two ghosts at a time. I can't do it by myself. It's too much. Oh, we almost had it, dude. We almost had it. Medic staggering less during relic use. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That was really nice. I think if we, we just get her down a little bit better, we'll be fine. Because we were really close there. Yeah, you really... Co-op makes it so that you can't really finish a battle off by yourself for a lot of these. The, ad, the extra ads is really tough. That was really nice. I can't believe we're, we're almost doing it with just relics, though. It's funny. Well, it's not just relics, but... It's basically just relics. The focus on the relic. How about that? There you go. He switched off my decoy for one second. Dude, this fight, it's, it's only his one attack. It's just such a stupid attack. And that's really what it is, is the invader is messing it up a little bit. Just enough that you can't really focus on it. I need to reload the shotgun. Look at the space crabs go. No way they hit me. You're a punk. This is really good for this phase though. Because there's like a thousand of these guys. Yeah, if we shoot him, we're fine. Crap. That hit me? Okay. Okay. Not ideal. Sha. Shouldn't have hit me, but I... Got into it a little bit too more. You can out heal it is the crazy thing. That's how much damage it does. You can literally out heal it.
Let's go! We did it! We beat it with freaking relics! Let's go! Ah, that's crazy! We beat it with relics, dude! Oh my word, that that's pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty fun. That is not easy whatsoever, but that's pretty fun. Both work got cooldown, and you always have some damage going off with this turret heroic. That I'm ecstatic right now. That is that is really cool. That is really cool. You know what we could try? Okay, I don't have time to do much else, but we can try one more thing. We can try one more thing. There's one boss left. It is going to absolutely suck, but there is one boss left that we could possibly try this against. Astropath is a that's a pretty Honestly, a very doable boss fight with the relics. I, I like that quite a bit. You said the frog? No. No, 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 no. Rick, Rick, listen. We gotta do it, bro. We gotta do it, man. Do it for the memes. Why is this elevator here? Oh. That would be why. Woo! Listen, out of all the people to do this with, though, Rick is hanging in there, bro. He's he's troop. He's reviving me. I'm reviving him. Honestly, we work pretty great as a team. I'm not gonna lie. We work pretty great as a team. Try to do this goofy stuff with most people would be brutal. All right, all right, enjoy, enjoy my slide there. I actually should switch to that, I think. That heal is really solid. Although this one lets us take a hit, so I'm not really sure which one I like better. I think I, want, I like the shotgun for this build. It's pretty solid. I mean, you don't have range, which you kind of need, but... Works pretty well. Going to res without reusing relics? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. I'm only going down about once, maybe twice anyway, so it's actually a pretty good investment. It's a pretty good investment. I've I've been finding it pretty easy to get revives, so I don't know if I'll switch. I like having both of us have the other, you know? Switch it up a little bit. Because I have noticed the shield's really not... I've been, I was taking in a couple of hits because of the shield. Alright, let's try to frog. The frog is going to be brutal. I, I really hope he doesn't have... Oh. I'll tell you what we're not doing. We're not doing his alt kill. His alt kill would actually be impossible at this build. I think it would genuinely be impossible. We could do a challenge run where we do a relic only apocalypse. We can't use any guns or anything. Talk about pain. Oh my word. Problem with, the problem with doing stuff like that is like it's actually not possible. Because if there's too many enemies on the screen and your thing's on cooldown, you, you're just done. You can't do anything. They will kill you way too fast. You don't have enough stamina. Maybe if you got the ring to have infinite stamina, but then again, then you're dying to everything. Infinite stamina does sound nice in bosses. Do the alt? No, can't do the alt. The alt would literally be horrendous with this build. The alt's already extremely hard. I think he's immune to fire damage too when they alt. He said, nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're lucky Rick's even staying on to do the regular kill, okay? We're, we're lucky enough for that. He said, for the memes. For the next three hours. Listen, listen. I don't want to be on here for the next three hours. That's the problem. I don't want to do the alt kill because of that. Wake up at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Why'd you sleep in? Well, I was up all night playing one boss. 
I've done this to myself. Yeah. Found the all easier. No ads to deal with. Nah. Well, usually, but this build can deal with ads very, very quickly. So, understandable though. I just get so hit by too many one shots in the alt kill. The I've only beat his alt kill a couple of times, but I've only beat it on Apocalypse, I think, twice. I refuse to do it. It's so hard. Should have shared this. Listen, Rick. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be taking stuff back now. What are you doing? Our all that remains. <laughs> I want for the yet I did not foresee mm. Think about it though. Any other difficulty? That is your choice. <sighs> and this relic would slap. It's it working here. Spiteful and regenerator. Well, those are not not good. Oh yeah, he's got some hefty regen. Yeah, that's a that's a tough one. He just kicked you. I didn't even know he had that move. We're dead. No way I pulled that off. Oh, he went for my decoy. This is actually not bad. It's not great, but... Ouch. All right, take it back. It's pretty bad. Neither of my guns can kill the orbs. The orbs are such a pain in this fight. Yeah, I can't revive. <sighs> ah. This is this is not a boss fight we can revive in very easily, I don't think. Fortunately. Um I need a different weapon. The sniper pistol is not going to do anything here. I'm probably just gonna go for straight up SMG. Scale ran out? Ah, that's okay. We'll get him. We do bleed. I feel like bleeding to avoid the healing. Yeah. What was I running? Space crabs? Yeah, that's fine. So it was literally a skill issue. Literally. Shotgun doesn't have a lot of ammo. That's a pretty uh, problematic issue with the shotgun. He's fighting my decoy. Ah. It's actually a really good strategy because as long as he stays on the decoy, he's literally not going to hit you. Dang it. He keeps killing you instantly. I can't do it by myself. There's no way. Blade won't work with Gambler. Oh, good point. Well, no, it'll hit crit. It'll hit crit. Yeah, it'll hit crit occasionally. It'll be enough, maybe. You're, you're right, though. It's not the best. 
He is just smashing. As soon as you go down, he's just like, boom, dead. It works on crits too, so it's a bit harder because you're not guaranteed crits, but it'll happen. Yeah, there we go. That was close. I have to sneeze. <laughs> Whew. Bad time to sneeze. I don't know what's going on. Not all of them worked that time. Dang it. It's just one wrong turn and we're screwed. There's no way. He did way too much damage. Alright, I had no idea what he was doing there. Halfway? Not bad. Bless you, thank you. <laughs> that was only weak spot. Yeah, weak spots and crits, luckily. Uh, makes it a little bit more useful. We're doing fine, though. We're doing fine. Actually got him going pretty good. Dang it. It's the aggro that's messing it up. Because there's no way, there's a lot of times it's really hard for us to tell who is he on. Just gets stuck in a corner and there's nothing you can even do. Later. Yeah. <laughs> stuck in a corner is not the way you want to go. Not the way you want to go. That was that was brutal. Yeah, he's definitely tough for the ghosts. He's definitely tough for the ghosts. He can insta kill us, and there's no the pro the difference between this and ghost is that ghost was easy to revive. Uh, versus here, where there's basically no way for me to revive efficiently. Bobby. 
I walked in the way. What? He's doing some goofy stuff, I'm not gonna lie. He's actually doing some goofy stuff. I've never seen him do that before. Thanks. He waited until I was... Yeah. I think the decoy's messing with his AI. Not like breaking his AI. It's messing with it for us. We're having issues reading his attacks because his AI is switching back and forth between decoys. So attacks he would normally do, he's not doing. And he's doing other stuff instead. I'm gonna get my skill back real quick. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Lucas. I need to be able to revive a little bit better. I switched to Redemption for sure. Did I buy pipe bombs? Ah, okay. Well, let's go get some pipe bombs. That's fine. I think we could do it. I think we could do it. We just need a little bit of help here. Handler. Hmm. Might not be a bad idea. For the revive, yeah. Not a terrible idea. Problem is we're gonna lose a lot of other utility. Was that Howdy. You put in there just now? Uh, sure. yeah. I don't think he has pipe bombs, does he? Sure nah. Reggie. How can old Reggie help you today? Scale with explosive damage? Oh, I didn't know that. Keep your wits about you. <laughs> Flex slot here. Did you just lick that spoon and put it back in the bowl? Um, what? No. What? I've never heard that dialogue. When are you gonna come over here and help me? Oh, you ever? don't need any help. You're better at this than I ever was. Some dialogue that I've never heard before. Huh, it does. That is crazy. I had no idea. Very cool. What's this doing here? Ah. We all did. The point. I have one in my inventory too. Okay. When you give it to me, because I have one. Darn. I actually have two of them. SMG is definitely the option, though. I wonder if we should go for Bandit instead. I just feel like... Especially if we're running that. Yeah, let's go Bandit so that I just have as many bullets as possible. I don't think it helped at all. That's kind of crazy, the pipe bomb skill. That's I didn't know that. That's very useful. They're a pretty good tool, then. A very good tool. Press spacebar to vault over ops. That's the tip that I get? Guys, he's a dummy. Oh, it's only on hits? Okay. Fair enough.
Much better. That was close. I survived somehow. I, I really don't understand how that works. Sometimes it seems like they send a bunch at me and then they'll send a bunch at him. Yeah, they're not all going towards me. Some of mine are going towards him. Fine for me, but not great for him. Darn. I don't have it yet. Why does reviving take a million freaking years, dude? Even with the medic, it takes so long. We almost had it. I should have just not revived. I keep trying, though, man. I keep trying. I just can't. I can't do it. It takes way too long. It was a really good run and just... Yeah, some of these bosses, that's just how it is. You can't revive. There's no option there. I messed up my uh, progression there. It's fine, though. My, my guy's getting roasted this time. <laughs> this is... Let me just die. Let me just die. <laughs> that was that was not a good run. That's rough. Yeah, he won 80s. He really does. He really does. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, what's up, Design? How's it going? Yeah, we're uh, we're both using the redemption now. Luckily, we weren't earlier, but we are now. We can get it. It's just it. Sometimes you have a bad run. Really. I don't know what just happened there, but I do not like it. Woo, 
this is terrifying. Oh, he's on me, of course. He literally was not looking at me at all. Dang, bro. It's, his AI is completely goofed, man. He's sending balls up in the air. He's sending them left and right. It don't make any sense what he's doing. I don't think he... Uh, I think the decoy's really screwing with his, his stuff. Ooh, doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. I was hoping he was going for a decoy. You, you can't trust it, though. That's the thing. The decoy helps, but you really can't trust it. Yeah, that 180 ain't pretty. I'm dead. No? Somehow I'm not? such an intense fight and whoever he's on is just in trouble that's basically how it is ah it doesn't work I already used it he's freaking dead he just these balls, man, as soon as he sends them, he's just, there's too many of them. I can't deal with it. Unfortunate. Too many, too many of these balls. Why is he spawning? It don't make any sense what he's doing. So he's spawning the balls. There's supposed to be three per person. And then like five of them are going towards him and I'm getting two at a time. It's really weird. Reminds me of the Witcher 3 toad fight. Just so close and just can't get it. The explosions do work. I think maybe I don't think fire tornado would be good, would it? And the decoys is additional people. Oh, maybe it is actually. You might be right about that. You might be right about that. Did I hit you with kinship that time? Some balls fall at the ceiling. Ah. Yeah, it does make a bit of sense. Yeah, maybe we should go kinship, actually. Wait, I don't have anything that could kill you, I don't think. Oh, Helix. It's true. That is true. So freaking close, dude. I really do think Helix is the best option here. The real issue is the shotgun. I need something that has a million bullets in it. That's the truth of the situation. Let's go back to Chicago typewriter. We'll do... Bandit on this one too. 
what was the mod I was using? I was using space crabs, I think, on this one. No, I had space crabs on this one. I just royally jacked that up. Big time. This one gets bandit, and this one also gets the... Am I running? It's so hard to remember. Don't have a clue. Completely lost. Helix. Which I think are the two best options. Uh, I need a reset. Fire turn now. You wouldn't have to go much longer to have 12 hours to <laughs> David, we're definitely not doing that. That is true, though. As soon as we beat this boss, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, true, the fruit. That might help, too. I forgot about this completely. We can do this. Let's let's go. This is the this is the run right here. This is the run. Got stuck. Oh, that's so inconvenient. Bomb didn't activate. It's the turn that's getting him every single time. The turn is just in a really bad spot right there. I don't even want to know what that was. Why is he on me? He should be on the decoy. I don't think he aggros it all the time. Uh, I got out of the suction? a tough one too. Thanks for that. No way. There's just no way to revive this guy. You you can't revive in this fight. It just sucks. I don't have all my relics either. Somehow that got messed up, which sucks.
don't know what he's doing right now. He's like stuck in a loop. Dang it, hit the button too soon. That's crazy. He didn't do the orbs one time. He did not do the orbs one single time, guys. What? Like, why? Why? I don't understand. Uh, you can officially beat world bosses with your relic. And a little bit of other stuff. But it, it, it's important that we know a lot of the damage came from the relic. No, thanks to the GGs, guys. Yeah, Rick, that was, that was awesome, bro. That was awesome. Jamal with the $50 donation. Holy cow. GG's good, sir. Thank you for an entertaining stream. Thank you very much, Jamal. That is awesome. Jamal, I'd love to see you back, man. Tuesday, Thursdays, man. Every Tuesday, Thursday. I stream a little bit later on Thursdays, though. Amazing donation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. After that win right there, feels great, man. Feels great. Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. Well, I think the good news is we don't really need to go test the build because the build's already made. She works. I love it. I love it. So much fun. Yeah, thank you very much, Jamal. That is awesome. Very much appreciate that. Thank you for watching all day. Been here all long time, man. Uh, let's go back to the wart. And I don't think we need to do anything there, but back. That was a crazy, crazy day. So we beat the game with... What did we beat the game with? Our co-op build. We beat the game with the co-op build, which was status, and then I ran uh, basically as much damage with Engineer as I could get. Beat that. That was really, honestly, an easy run. I didn't... That was not hard at all. Yeah, dual status. That was not hard at all. At all. Um, and then we did this one, which is the relic one. Honestly, this one is hard. <laughs> this one is challenging. Um, but it's a lot of fun. The thing is, we're getting crit now. I, I switched all over. Look, crit is 1100. You're actually dealing enough damage to fight bosses legitimately. And for whatever reason, in boss fights, we're getting more crit than versus the dummies. You definitely need this though yeah that's a lot of fun i cannot believe it's that much fun that's the real thing it's just so much fun so i i don't think before we before we end the stream is there anything i would change i don't think so i want to make sure i have it fortify for a little bit extra armor i do like fortify here that way I could take a one hit. Triage for the better healing. Untouchable so we can dodge better. Vigor, endurance. We don't need spirit. 
Bark skin. I, I actually like all of the traits that we have. And I appreciate the stagger, so I keep the stagger on. I like that too. I don't know about armor. We should change up armor. That's what we should do. Expertise. Ah. <laughs> oh. So dumb. Guys, I'm so dumb. I haven't had expertise the entire time. <laughs> I'm actually stupid. What? I don't want to talk about him. Shh. Quiet, 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 quiet. This never happened. Okay, this never, this never. I was thinking spirit. We didn't. Okay. I don't, I don't have nothing. Awesome stream as always. Thanks, David. I, I don't have nothing for that. That's on me. 100%. 100%. I would... How did I do that? I have literally made a skill cooldown build and then said, what if I didn't get the skill cooldown trait? Mm. I don't think we need Siphoner, actually. Then I was running Bark Skill. Ah, no. Let's go to Endurance. Um, do I want to take a point out of... I'll take a point out of... Amp yeah, Amplitude. Put it back in here. Legitimately don't know what's wrong with me. Because uh, now our cooldown is... What? 16.5 seconds? Wait, hold up. 16 seconds for this? What's our cooldown on this one? 36? Jeez. I want to point out that this would have been a lot easier if I had done that a lot sooner. I do want to point that out. That is 100% a mistake on myself. I might be a slight tad bit stupid, but it's fine. Did I get Glutton? I think I put Glutton on, didn't I? Oh my word. Oh my word. Look how fast it's coming back. What? This is game changing. This is game changing. Look, I haven't been able to use my own ability the entire game. This is crazy. I had it a back already. This is stupid. That would have been so much easier. Imagine the ghost. The ghost would have been a joke. He would have been so because the heart was what was killing him. Oh, you're right. You're right. I don't have the concoction on. You're right. What's the concoction give? Extra 10%. 11 seconds! 11 seconds! 11 seconds! What? And this reduces down to 24! Are you serious? Ah, oh, that's brutal. Look how fast it comes back. That is insane. So, Rick, thank you for the build and your sacrifice going through this. Yeah, yeah. We put we put Rick through some stuff today. Listen, <laughs> I'm crazy, all right? We all know I'm crazy. I'll do this fighting one boss for an hour on a stupid build. But Rick got dragged into this, and I'm not going to lie. This man's a trooper. This man's a trooper. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we'll go with this look, actually. Where's the relic come from, anyway? More of a... Ooh. Ooh. We do want Archon Gloves because they have more armor anyway. What can keep me under 50? Will actually be a helmet. Not a lot. Nice. Oh, there we go. There we go. There, it's perfect. That's perfect. Tell me that's not perfect. Yes. That is beautiful. That is that is amazing. I approve of this 100%. What's my armor at? 44%? That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, he's got the bruiser look. That's not a bad look either. That's crazy. That one doesn't look bad either, though. I kind of like that. It's like a scrapper look. I don't know. I kind of fell in love with this right here. This don't look bad. 50 weight. Let me let me try. I do like Leto's helmet and it's 
pretty good. You have on the bruiser stuff, don't you? A bruiser. No way you're wearing bruiser pants, though. Trainer? Arms are the... I don't actually like those arms, though. That's the problem. Hunter coat cultist hat? Ooh, hunter coat. Let's try hunter coat. Real quick. Oh. Oh, I don't like the hunter coat, though. It has this stupid, uh... Bird feather thing. Darn it. That doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad at all. There we go. Now, if I could find anything that's as light as two, which... Holy cow, that's not happening. It didn't have the stupid feather, man. I really hate that feather. And I don't even know why. It's just a personal thing. I have a vendetta against this feather. Okay. I think I hate that. Actually. Ooh, medic. Medic clips through the mask. We can't have that. We cannot have that. Dang, that's fresh, though. That actually looks really good. Oof. I need to I need to get better pants though, like they're too heavy. Oh there we go. Hold up. Hold up. I actually really like that. What? This is so cool. What's our armor? It's better. It's 45. Change helmet? It's off you don't like the helmet? I love the helmet. Oh, Lido Mark 1, bro. Bro be hating on the helmet. Come on. Maybe Faye. Actually, Faye looks pretty good. Oh, wait. Let's go with this. Let's run this. Mm, that doesn't look right. Like Michael Jackson meets 40k. I don't know. I don't know if we can. Oh, maybe we'll use. Oh, Bruiser? Bruiser. There we go. It's like a lot less. Oh, I saw that much. Let's go, Lido. No, don't like Lido. Doesn't look right. Let's maybe Bruiser. Bruiser looks kind of stupid too. I'm not gonna lie. This is real good for sure. <laughs> um, Holtus hat looks pretty good. We need. We the problem is we actually need a decent amount of armor. Actually. That's what I like. That helmet is so hard to work with. There is so hard to get to fit into builds. It just doesn't look right with 90% of the armors. Uh, that's not right either. Ooh. You know what? I don't hate that. I also don't like it, though. And it's a very conflicting feeling. I gotta say, I gotta say, this looks pristine. Bandit gas mask? Hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah, we can run some better gloves. What if we ran these ones? I think they're a little bulky. What do we think? They're definitely a little too bulky. Way too bulky. We went from bad to worse. That looks stupid. Hello. That doesn't look horrible. It looks horrible. Take it back. What about... Space Engineer? Ooh. Ooh. No. I'm not digging it. All right. High noon? Hold up. High noon doesn't look stupid and gives us a 40%. Ah, it's so low. <sighs> then we could change the pants, maybe? I do like the panted trousers, though. They look solid as heck. There we go. We'll wear the tank. Let's go back to Bruiser. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. This actually looks really good. We have the same setup. How did that happen? This looks really good, but we're one over. So instead of Survivor... 
Yield medic looks kind of stupid too. Boltus? Dang, with it. Fashion, man. Fashion is very difficult. It's very difficult. What about these? Ooh, that does look good, but it's too heavy. These? Oh, I found it. Maybe. Are you seeing this? So, like, I, I gotta take off. The Fey armor has this weird cloak thing that, like, covers up the arm. I think I need to take this off. Okay. Okay. I can work with that. I can work with that. Then, then we go back to Bandit. Oh, ruined it. Ruined the whole thing. Archon? No. No. Yes! Yes! Oh, this looks pretty good. This looks pretty good, and it doesn't clip through anything. I like it. I like it. I 100% am in. I am 100% in on this. This looks good. This looks good. And we're at 50. What's our armor? 42.1. I'm, I'm digging it. Not going to change nothing. Although, ooh, that doesn't look bad either. Now we're gonna go with bandit mask. We're gonna just stick with this. This looks pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. If we have anything that's like less than that, maybe I'll try it, but uh eh, most of the armor is more than three. Five. 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 Ooh, the crown weighs more than the bandit mask? Huh. How did I not know that? Ooh. Try to use that helmet. Fortunately. Or these. How is that hat heavier than a bandit mask? Drives me nuts. Yeah, let's stick with bandit mask. Yeah. Or I could wear the caster gear. That does look pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. That right there does look pretty good. I don't know. I'll mess with it. I'll mess with it. See what I could, uh, end up with. I might end up with that because that looks really solid. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have made the most ridiculous build of all time. It's awesome. It is hilariously awesome. And what's crazy is imagine this amount of cooldown with other skills. You know? What's Archon look like? 18 seconds. 18 second cooldown. Are you serious? That's not even the best cooldown setup. Because you could take this off and get a different ring, I think, that does cooldown. Yeah. You could take this off and put on the crit one. Boom. Skill cooldown. Talk about freaking nuts. What's the engineer overclock? I don't know if that pairs with that. Uh, if you're asking what it does, it gives, just gives you more damage. Gives you more damage. It's, that's why I was running as Prime. I don't think it changes with this, though. Cooldown doesn't seem to work well with that. Or you could just run... We could spam freaking heals. Gunslinger, run those. I mean, there are so many options with this setup. This setup works for way more than just this relic. It has such good cooldown. Why did my cooldown go up? It was 11 seconds. I don't appreciate that. Let me go back in. Now it's 12.1. What the heck happened? Gunslinger Big Iron? Let's see that, yeah. Eight seconds, bro. That's actually pretty good. What? What? Okay, that's pretty darn good. What if we max that out? Eight second cooldown, right? I don't think it feeds itself, though. Dang, that's really fast.
Well, there you go right there. That's the best cooldown setup. Double charges would be 12 seconds. I don't even know what we just did. We just broke the freaking game. Broke it. Why does the cooldown keep going up? What? Um, did I have anything in here? Oh, trade points. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's why. I took it out of expertise. And then I had it in bark skin, didn't I? The crazy thing is we don't have spirits. So our mod regen is actually kind of crap, and we were still able to use them pretty often. We may actually just go into mods, because if you're using explosions, you kind of need mods. Well, that I think about it. You know what I mean? Like, we are using mods. Nah, I like defense a little bit better. Oh, it took it out of fortify. That's what it took it out of. That is what it took it out of. Now if I go back in there, I have four traits. Now I'll mess with it later. I may switch it over to mods. Uh, I'll see. I'll see. But my final boss has hardy and thick skin. Ooh, yeah, that's tough. For sure. Engineer had a 12 second overclock cooldown. It shows in the middle. Oh, did it? Oh. That is really good, then. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's got to be it for me today. I uh, I streamed way over my time. Because um, we were having so much fun. Honestly. But this is really, really good. This worked out really well, so I'll probably make a build with that. And then we'll mess around with skill cooldown probably Thursday. That seems kind of crazy. That you can just have skill cooldown. FS? Like, alright. We might be able to make a really good damage support build with that. So, thanks everybody who's watching. Like your, yeah, it does look good actually. That's not a bad setup. I like that. But yeah, thank you for everybody for watching. Thank you Jamal for the donation and hanging out all day. Appreciate that. Uh, thank you Rick for hanging out and playing. Uh, it was really fun. We beat the whole beat the whole apocalypse again. So we'll probably do a skill cooldown build on Thursday. Now that I know, and maybe me and Rick will. Uh, I think Rick's busy on Thursdays, uh, but we'll. Maybe play a bit, or it'll just be so. We'll see. It was awesome. We got another another build idea in the works, so we'll we'll get on it. Uh, as for me, I'm working on a video tonight. It's almost already done. I just gotta watch over. It'll be out tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. And I'll catch you next time. Have a good week, guys. I'll see you on Thursday.